Ooh, what's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is Dragonlance Shadow of the Dragon Queen Session 2 Battle of High Hill. They won't always have a title at the beginning. This one just does because our players uh, decided to, the, what they're going to do. They've already uh, they've already said yes. We are good. <laughs> we are good to do the thing. And so uh, to learn who those players are, let's go around the table really quickly here. What's up, everyone? I'm Rob Russo Music. I am the Sylvan SD Half High Elf Lunar Sorcerer, Caligero. I'm Brian Kling. I'm playing Bannon Lewind, the Paladin who does not have a subclass yet. Sorry, so who does not have a soul? <laughs> he doesn't have a you soul. Know the ginger's next. Yeah, no, it's, uh, that's actually that's me. Uh, uh, hi guys, I'm Clarus Polaris. It's your boy. Uh, go follow me. Um, and I, uh, I'm playing Harvest, and she is a, a blood hunter, um, Eladrin, but she doesn't actually really know what the fuck that is. So that's fun. Delicious. Delicious. Sorry. Delicious. Yum, 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 yum. <gasps> Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. How's it all going? Uh, my name is... My, who I'm playing is Teller, or Storyteller, to use their full name. Um, they are a Qualanesti. Got that right. Uh, <laughs> a high elf, a bard of eloquence. Eloquence bard. Mm. Oh, yes, I'm shocked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Nerdy. That's my name. Yep. You, you heard that right. <laughs> and I am the Dungeon Master. Hot. Which I hate. <laughs> <laughs> you to it so bad. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather it come from you. Uh, <laughs> she has to say that. We're married. Uh, I, I don't have to say that, I actually. I do love the number of comments we get that are like, are these two a couple on our on our on all of our YouTube videos? Yeah. They're talking about us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 On the videos you're not in, they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah but what about Rob, though? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but like, what, about, Rob? what about Rob, though? What about Rob? Um, <laughs> uh, this is an actual play show where we sit around a table and we go through a module. Uh, maybe. We'll see. Uh, we're starting with a module. This is Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen. How much of this module we do depends on how much we enjoy it. Uh, Hell yeah. Or I'll just start making shit up. Sorry. <laughs> Whoever the fuck wrote this? Dungeons and Dragons. Dun -dun -dun -dragons. <laughs> sorry, Dungeons and Dragons. I'm so sorry. Sooner or later, they we're going to really break the the outside, so much like. that this is just going to become... It's not going to be a module anymore because like, we're just going to go like I'm get smiled off the Misty Mountain. I'm sorry, F. Wesley Schneider, <laughs> production Great. lead. Solid lead. Yeah, sure. I mean, is the production lead the writer? Who I have knows? no idea. No, there's like ten writers. You know what? I'm sorry, sorry Justice for the... Armand. Yeah, name sorry, it. Sorry, Ryan Lance. Cortijo. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ka Kelly Diggis. <laughs> sorry, Dan Dillon. Dan Just Dillon's reading a good name. Reading a bunch of names. names. <laughs> These are all the writers of the, the Dragonlance. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ari Levich. Sorry, Renee Knipe. <laughs> wow. I love that you're reading Knipe. and also dyslexic. <laughs> sorry, Ben Petrosor. Sorry, Mario Ortegon. Sorry, Aaron Roberts. Sorry, James L. Souter. Oh. Anyway, uh, <laughs> why are you saying "sorry" so angrily? I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. That is the, 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 the first time, time that all of these writers have been named on an actual play, and it's to it's to be like, "Sorry, we're not playing your game." Yeah. <laughs> we're going well, we off might off module. If it's good. Yeah. Here's what I want to start with, just to speak on having now experienced doing a module. Yes. The thing that I find so fascinating about the experience of it is that the module inherently cannot take into account that all of your backstories have to be important to the story. Mm. And so the module is just lacking in real reasons for why your characters are doing this. And so it replaces that with the module telling the DM to just make sure the players are involved in what the module wants you to do. Yeah. It's a little bit railroady, right? Mm. There's only so many options that the module can have. And so I am, the, the thing I'm mostly trying to replace in the module is those railroady intentions that they have to have because they don't know what you're going to be, right? Mm -hmm. With mm. the way the book is written, they, they can be anything from yeah. another dimension. Who gives a crap? I'm trying to replace the railroady stuff with your intentions that you've given me with your backstories so that there's a better reason for you to do this than 
Well, the book says that this is what happens next. Yeah. yeah. Um, Which, and I don't fault the writers of it for because how, how else, could they know? Yeah, but what, yeah. what, what, what else do you put in that place, right? Yeah. But you've been doing a good job on that because there's certain moments where... We, you don't know. You haven't read the book. <laughs> we, 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 we recall, excuse me, episodically being like, how was that session for you? But like, you, you'll know something and you don't go like, are you sure? You know what mm. I mean? It's really a really good job. Be like, are you sure you don't want to talk to that person? <laughs> Just like, hey. sort of like... The, yeah. only time, the only time I did do that last week was when I was like, yeah, there's a fishing competition. And you guys were like, nah, we're good. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, yes, I, I actually guess remember. you just won't like, do this. Because yeah. it's like, all of us were like, now nah, we're good. And then like the third time in yeah. a different conversation, yeah, the fishing, fishing competition is like, I guess we'll do the fishing yeah. competition. <laughs> I, I'm excited for it. I just didn't speak up. <laughs> well, I had a new shield. It was like, oh, well, you know, oh, what? Oh, Engraved, it just says there's a fishing competition. <laughs> <laughs> it says, this last list, you need to go fish. <laughs> Actually, uh, the scroll that your dad gave you is just an invitation to the fish. fish. <laughs> my you dream is to be a prized <laughs> fisherman, my son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Son. A sorcerer fisherman. If you don't win the fishing competition, you're dead. That was like the only time he's called me my son is because I won the fishing competition. <laughs> oh, God. I've never been more proud of you, boy. You got two, you got, you, you got one letter that turns into two letters. Yeah. One is if you won the fishing competition, if you exactly. didn't. And then the knows. first, they're the same letter, but one of them starts with my, my son, son and the yeah. other one is just like full name. <laughs> oh, all the daddy issues. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Just to make you sweat a little bit. Uh, already yeah. there. <laughs> yes. You're a disappointment it's cold down here. by your name. It literally, yeah. Uh, anyway. uh, my father loves fishing, and I don't. don't. Nice. Yeah, I successfully fished one time at Callaway Park because they, they starved those fish so that they bite for the kids. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, uh, do you like golf? Um, no. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what's the quote? The quote is, uh, golf. golf is a good walk ruined, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, like, I like golf with the right people. Yeah, because it's... Much in the same way that I like any event with, with the, the right, right people. people. Yeah, but yeah. I would rather be playing yeah, right. Dungeons & Dragons. Hell yeah. Speaking of which... This Dungeons & Dragons actual play live show slash podcast slash whatever we have to do to get people to watch slash listen to it is brought to you by Misty Mountain Gaming. MistyMountainGaming.com <laughs> That is right. Misty Mountain is the one-stop shop for all the accoutrement you could possibly need for your... Okay, guys. Okay. Sorry, okay. It was, it was I'm not trying not to do an ad. Three Ambiance. It, it ASMR. Was, it was not even one. No, shut up. It was Mountain Gaming. It was three net plays. We do not lie about dice on the show. <laughs> that is one thing I promise. As DM, I never fudge dice rolls. You're right. Um, I will it murder you all, even though the art for your characters was very expensive. Um... <laughs> MistyMountainGaming.com. This is an ad. Stop it. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me. Look over. Look at. Look at Robin. Uh, this is an ad for MistyMountainGaming.com because they're the best. Uh, you can get dice. You can get dungeon master screens. You can get dice jails. You can get miniatures. You can get all the things that you need, and you can get fifteen percent off by using code NerdyNightly15. That's right, fifteen percent off at MistyMountainGaming.com. Thank you, Misty Mountain, for being an incredible partner from Relay One all the way up until now and into the future and beyond. <laughs> what? You're all. Fired. <laughs> I'm so if you would like to replace in the show, uh, we need three players. <laughs> Robin, you're safe, but the rest of you are fired. <laughs> So I broke you. I, just, on, I was trying so hard. And I, ever, I would look away and I'd look back. I and got confused. I knew that would happen. <laughs> I was like, I'm getting one of the main cast off so I can slip in. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bannon laugh first. All right. And with that, is there any are, are there any other announcements? Anything you guys want to plug for yourselves before we get started here? Anything you want to tell the world about? Great. <laughs> no. I'm like no. In the town of Vogler, there is a festival, the King Fisher Festival. It was yesterday, and it's also tomorrow. It's two days. It's very exciting. <laughs> the town has come together to celebrate. Uh, they've also come together to mourn. Uh, as you all attended the funeral of your friend Ispin Greenshield the night before, and you drank well into the night after your friend, your new friend, Harvest, went on a date, maybe? Question mark? <laughs> Question mark. Yeah. Yeah. I never know. Uh, a, a hiring practice. You learned that Gregonis apparently uh, doesn't look at the clothing of the people he's talking to very often and did not realize asked them to be bandits. that he was speaking to a knight of Salamia. <laughs> He did not ask her to be a bandit. Sorry. He asked her to a join a mercenary group. He here. asked if my morals were questionable. With some questionable, yeah. They're, they're a, a group that's uh, planning on 
prioritizing money over maybe doing the right thing. Yeah. How do you say we're a bandit group without saying you're a bandit? <laughs> what are your morals? What are, what your, are your morals? I think bandit groups work for people, though. I no, think bandit just... groups work for themselves. And fuck shit up. And Gregonis mm. wants to be like a mercenary group that works for other people. I think that that's the rich kind of people. the I also don't think bandits yeah. call themselves bandits. No. Do they? I don't think anyone's like, Does it you guys want to start a villain corporation. I think <laughs> thieves call themselves thieves, and like that's, oh, that's true. close to bandit. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I know. I think people call themselves bandits. Maybe. Yeah. I, I bandit think... is a good word. Yeah, isn't there like I'm the bandit king? I don't king, know. You know, like I'm the uh, leader. That's, <laughs> I feel like that's the king of something thieves. you kind of fall into. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't call yourself <laughs> that, otherwise it's awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a slippery slope. First, you're a mercenary group that works for some that's questionable morals. Mm -hmm. Then you start working for yourself. Yeah. You become you, you're self-employed. You know, your private income. Here we go. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And now you're a bandit. No, yeah. I feel like it goes the other way, though. I think that you're a mercenary group, and then you are the leaders of a local village that you've raided and taken over. <laughs> you know, I, I, I feel, like, I think, I feel sure. like bandits become mercenary groups if they have a certain level of skill. You know, it's the... Skill uh, is right. important. Sure. Anyway, I was recapping last week. You met a variety of characters. Becklin, the local knight of Salamia, who's been stationed in the keep here to keep the peace. Derrett, a squire to Becklin, who is a charming young lad who just wants to be a knight of Salamia and help the people of the village that he grew up in. You met Mayor Raven, mm -hmm. a woman of some fishing renown, who is the leader of this town. You met Cudgel, the leader of the Ironclad Regiment, who are going to be playing the Istarian forces in the Battle of High Hill, uh, a battle that you agreed to participate in. A fake battle. Yes, it is a reenactment of the it's not real. battle where the Salamnic Knights defeated the Starian forces years and years and years ago in uh, the very place where you stand now. You uh, trained a little bit in the courtyard. You fought each other. <laughs> you fought a half-ogre. And you, you, you did all of this while meeting a local populace of lovely, cheery, fishermen-type people who are just living their best life at their favorite time of year, the Kingfisher Festival. You went to bed at the Brass Crab, having drank and ate all of Yalma's great wine and food. And... Yalma. Ruffles and cleavage. Ruffles and cleavage. <laughs> just before dawn breaks, in Harvest's room, uh, asleep in her bed, you are suddenly awoken by something hitting you in the head. What the fuck is that? As you open your eyes, uh, do you want to give me a perception check? I w do. <laughs> That's Ooh. a five. Woof. Can't. There is, uh, there is a dark hooded figure in your window uh, who is like on the windowsill. Like sitting on the windowsill? Uh, he was more like crouched on it with the window open. Uh, okay, uh, Harvest immediately goes into, like, um, uh, fight mode and, um, grabs where she thinks the throat of this this person is to throw them into the room. It's, it's a crossroom, so you want to get up and, like, rush at yes. them? Yes. Okay, uh, as you get up and rush at them, uh, they, they throw back their hood and they're like, whoa, 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 now. Uh, you immediately recognize this as, uh, a mansion rattleskin. Like okay. Person. You know this person. Mm hmm. Um, and they're like, Harvest. Sorry to approach you in the middle of the night. I just didn't want anyone to know I was here. Oh, uh, why? Well, we keep our secrets, don't we? Yes. You know where Mansion is from. I don't, okay. You do. Okay, uh, where is Mansion from? This is uh, a member of your order. Gotcha, okay. Um, and he just goes, how goes the infiltration? Uh, well, um, not much to report, to, to be honest. Sorry, I just woke up and got uh, my head. Um, not, not much to report, to be honest. Um, just going about my business and... Um, no one, no one seems bothered at all by it, so I think we're good. Happy to hear that. I understand you're here for your friend's funeral. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. How was that? 
Uh, well, you know, there was some fuck who uh, just thought that he was better than the whole situation. You know, one of those uh, rich, rich boys. Um, yeah. You, you Did know. Did you kill him? Uh, no, there were a lot, lots of people around. Okay, it was, yeah. it wasn't, wasn't worth it. And you know, it, he, he might be an asshole, but it's like, d did he deserve to to die for drinking too much wine? Eh, you know, that's that's not up to me. So, um, no, he's 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 alive. Uh, he's fine. The funeral was, it was good. It was good. It meant good. a lot to people. I'm gonna need you to head to Calamon soon. K-A-L-A-M-A-N. Uh, that That's a city? Yeah. Did you spell it uh, right, the, the city of Calamon. It's the big yes. city nearby. Yes, yeah. of, of course. I've, uh, I've been there many yep. times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and he just says, our work is going to start in earnest there. War is coming to these lands. There's forces moving about that are... Wait, do you know something about the um, the, the, the lizard folk? Yeah, uh, dragon things. What can you tell me about? The, uh, how are they here? This, they're just... <laughs> to be honest, they're everywhere. They've been uh, riding forth out of Tam and Busick in every direction. Sylvanesti fell. I don't know if you know about that. I found out yesterday, yeah. Yeah, that was almost a year ago now. Moving out of there took the elves time, and, you know, it's it's hard to get members of our order in there, so... We didn't know either, but that's gone. Uh, you said we don't know what's going on east of the mountains at all. All of our operatives over there gone radio silent. So we've sent people to check on them, but that means getting through the mountains or taking the waterways to the north. So it's concerning, but the chaos that it has created has opened up some opportunities for us in some of the greater cities on this side of the mountain. All right. If did, you can... Did, did you say you know where where they came from? Tam and Busick seems to be the central point of all of this. The mountain ranges? They're coming from the mountains, most likely. I, we believe so, yeah. It makes sense. All the dragons left to there, what, 350 years ago? It I, makes sense that if that's where the dragons managed to disappear too, maybe that's where the dragons are coming from. They don't seem to be dragons. No, they're like weird, like... Uh, you fought lizard. them? Yeah. Um, where? Just outside this city. Um, there was um, a group of them. They had a, a, a leader figure. They had a structure, and um, they killed a bunch of knights. And my friends and some folks that I met, we fought friends. them off. <laughs> All right. When you get to Kalamon, you and I are going to work to infiltrate. Maybe position our order to have more influence over the city there. All right. Come when you can. Hopefully we'll see you within a couple weeks. The, the usual place. Yeah. Right. I'm going to head there now, begin preparing, but get there safe, okay? I, uh, I will probably head out. Um... Tomorrow, there's there's a thing here today. There's a like mock battle that you know. Yeah, it, yeah whatever been... you need to do. It's it's not it's not the most pressing thing in the world. Just sure. We're not sure how safe it is to send magical messages right now. Why? Well, we don't know what these people's powers are. We don't know what the scope of their operation is. And they might be intercepted. Well, you never know. We're trying to keep the movements of our order in this time. A little bit under wraps. Sure. If we can rise up in the world, a little bit of chaos might be worth it. No, it, uh, it makes sense. It's uh, good to see you. Good to see you too. And he just jumps out the window, and you see him disappear into the darkness. Of the Before night. he goes, we do it like the like secret handshake. Is that what it is? Yes. You can't, like, tell what it is. It's so fast. Yeah. But, um, you know, we, we clock it. We clock it. Roll a performance check for me <laughs> on how well you do your secret handshake. Please. Performance? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, he's not quite one. ready. He didn't think you were doing it, so he's like perched on the window nice. ledge and not quite ready. I rolled a net 20. <laughs> oh! oh yeah. You, you fucking like wrap him up in this like the joy. Of, you see him smile for the first time. You've ever seen this man smile because the like <laughs> wow. fluidity of your secret handshake is I'm greater committed. than anything he's ever felt in his life. <laughs> Love that. So you know like you go to snap your fingers sometimes and like you just don't do it and it makes no sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you like, but like sometimes like it just nails it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. The perfect cupping on like the hand. Wow. Like, it's, like, <laughs> Where it like reverberates. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and so uh, you see, you see out the window, Dawn starts to peek over the horizon. Who's Dawn? Um, <laughs> Dawn. <laughs> Go away. How, are you, how are you not a for you. <laughs> How are you, like, with, with the quality of your humor, how are you not a dad? I have two cats. <laughs> there, you there you go, there you go. Millennials. I right. am a fur I'm daddy. A, I'm a fur daddy. <laughs> which means something different in communities. Oh, God. Uh, has, it, um, has it been um, four hours? Like, has Harvest uh, yeah, you, you've fully rested? Yeah, rested? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then, um... Four hours? No, eight hours. No, uh, Elf. Oh, right. Half the time. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Nope, nope. That's, right, we that can one. meditate. That's on me. Well, she's got a little bit of a headache, but... You guys are all... You know, you're the only one who needs to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> out of the They're always like... Harvest can, can, can carry you. I can carry you. It does, it does actually... Your shield. Mean, I can't carry it for you. The three of you guys can long rest, and like you never keep watch. Because no. the most efficient way to do it is four hours, four, 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 four hours, four. get on the road. Yeah. 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 I'll always. That's so funny. Just, I like, that. In his room, like, his sheets are, like, thrown everywhere. He's, like, clutching the shield like a teddy bear. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Unconscious. <laughs> um, okay, great. So, uh, the day breaks... And uh, you are free to do as you wish. Uh, you do all know that the Kingfisher Fishing Festival competition of angling and fishing uh, is uh, taking place at dawn. So it, ah. it is That's a perfect, time then. to get going. And mm -hmm. if you would like to compete, uh, you do hear the tavern around you come to life as the people who have come for this festival begin to wake and, and begin to you know get out the door. Uh, start putting on their boots, going down, grabbing uh, a fish pie from Yalma, and heading down towards the wharf for the fishing competition. If you'd like to participate in it, I'd love to do that. What would yeah. you like to do? I think um, Bannon and uh, Teller maybe have like coordinated the night before because they're both participating that they'd head over together. I mean, no, um, absolutely. Do you want to maybe go with so me? We, we, <laughs> we, 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 so we kind of gather, I, I imagine, in, in the thing, maybe. And then I'll just head over together. I think, yeah, Baron would get up because Teller, as we said, doesn't need to sleep. We'll have like bought the food and 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 like got the little baggies and like so, coffees and it's just I'm like so prepared. Uh, for yeah, bags. as you come down, it's like ah, darling, hello, there you are. Um, I've already booked us a spot. We have it. A, a, are we like sailing out on like a a boat? Uh, uh, no, it's it's going to be uh, it's on the dock. Yes, you're all Beautiful. on the dock. Yeah. Okay. Um, could Teller have 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 gone and like prepped a spot so they're next to each other? Uh, yes, absolutely. Like put towels down. It's like I've already got us a spot. Um, so both of us can. Uh, it's a, it should be a very nice location. Hopefully, very ripe for the picking with fish, as much as I saw this morning. Um, this is your pie. Here is your drink. Oh. Thank you so much. This is so good. And he's like already shoving in. Yeah. <laughs> I got you two because I thought that would happen. <laughs> um, Halflings, man. <laughs> they really put it definitely, away. Definitely pays to not have to sleep all night. I, it's very good. I've already got my three daily pages done, so that's very good. Exactly. Um, Before dawn. Yeah. Wow. Got up. Uh, I used those four hours. <laughs> Right tight. as much as I can. Just the amount I could yeah. do if I only needed four hours. Oh my really god, started. it's truly the That's dream. That's about what I get. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. As a rampant insomnia. <laughs> <laughs> I, got good, I got a good five hours last night. Proud of you. Nice. I feel good today. I'm like, I'm good. rested. I got five hours of sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't relate. I need eight to nine hours. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> sometimes more. It's like, and I'm the dad. More, no, on. more <laughs> makes me feel sleepy. You say that, but like sometimes you are like, I'm not sleeping. I'm just asleep on the couch. Yeah. yeah. My but eyes that, are closed. But, but that doesn't count as sleep time. No. Anyway, yeah. not important. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so uh, Ban and uh, Teller are up. What are uh, What is Caligero up to this uh, morning? I Also having four hours, actually, um, Cal uh, spent maybe, like, 
uh, an hour extra kind of looming over his little bedside table where he left the scroll from his father. Okay. <laughs> yeah. mm. And he's just kind of like just gripping the edges of the nightstand, like leaning over it, like just studying the scroll and just being like, now with all this new information with the draconic things and people worried about wars and troops everywhere and the sudden letter from his father who he hasn't heard from in years. Um, well, you heard from him a year ago. A year ago, sorry. Yeah, you haven't heard from him since a year the actual destruction of... Sending spell that he sent to you, yes. informing you of Sildenesti's fall. Um, so call it a uh, uh, need to... Kind of out loud to himself, he's just like, God damn it, Dad. Like, he's just like, ah. Oh, there's too much going on. How can I... Uh, Oh, don't hate me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I need to Do you skip need to? ahead and oh, push okay. a little bit. What did you just kick? Uh, it's sealed on the both ends. So it's like oh, it's like a cool scroll. Oh, like crack the scroll. And then oh, wow. Yeah. That's yeah, no, I'm sorry. I just need to. Is, this, this, there's, there's, is that okay? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're absolutely allowed to do this. I just, um, I don't actually know what page this is so, in in the book. That's fine. So I just need to go find it really quick. Just in his mental place right now, too. He's kind of like, um,. I don't know how much the party's gathered, but for himself, if there's a way he can uh, be prepared, you know? Be prepared. <laughs> if Thank you weren't going to do it, I was going <laughs> to. It just sounds better if you, you do Jeremy it. Jeremy Jim Cummings at Irons. Uh, <laughs> both did this song. <laughs> um, but, uh, so he's, yeah, he's just kind of like... Did we get three separate rooms? Or did we have a room we with... Had separate. We had we have separate, separate okay. rooms, yeah. We're not quite there yet. Well, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, thank God, there. otherwise that meeting would have been really awkward. <laughs> 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 I mean, what me? Oh, you were just all you. <laughs> watching the... uh, well, you're like, yeah, oh, cool, bro. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is she doing? The secret handshake is so good. It's yeah. so fluid. <laughs> yeah. That's, a, that's a weird handshake. Um, <laughs> it's just like fish. Like. Yeah, no, I remember now. Sorry. Uh, I it read this a few weeks ago. No, there's okay. nothing on it. It's blank. <gasps> But I mm, fuck you. Um, hold on. <laughs> I, I, I didn't write the module. Yeah. <laughs> but I felt uh, there's nothing I can feel arcana wise when I, I felt mean, that. You thing. can roll an arcana check. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. um, I had this feeling because initially when I first felt it out, it was like something's there, meaning no, someone will know you read it. Mm -hmm. So I know he knows now that it's open. And uh, yeah, that's not bad though. Mine is a, uh, that's a thirteen. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, no, it's not you, phenomenal. The, yeah. it feels like magical, but not on its own. It feels like there may, may or may not have been a spell, or it was like around magic a lot. Yeah. There's just the, you, you're, you're getting the vibes, but you're not. You have no idea what it is. Great, what those vibes. Um, mean. giving into his human instinct, he just like once again holds it to the sun and then goes, oh, "Fuck." Yeah, <laughs> nothing there. Rolls it back and uh, goes like. Dad, and he just he packs it, goes downstairs, mm -hmm. grabs a fish tart, uh, and if he can catch up, he can catch up. He wants to watch the. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Piece. I think you guys are all like getting ready to leave. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Harvest That's sort of all he's gotten up to. Harvest just uh, made sure to refill her flask <laughs> with <laughs> coffee. Get that bean juice. <laughs> yeah. From where? Um, wherever the local uh, store books is. The store books. The store yeah. books. <laughs> Starbucks. Uh, <laughs> Wherever the closest location is. Uh, there, there is one in Vokler. Yeah, uh, they, they have a local. Um, they have a local brewery. Beanery. Not brew, beanery. Um, yeah, the, the the local beanery uh, is is a quaint little. Uh, it's not even really a store. Like you can't go inside. It's a window into like a kitchen. Is it called Timmy's? <laughs> Sure. It's only yeah. a walkthrough. Right. It's Timmy's. Uh, there, there's Timmy and Ho, uh, and they uh, have a little coffee stall out of their house. Um, mm -hmm. They're they're a lovely couple. Mm -hmm. uh, you you go over and you meet them, and I hear they traded their beans for inferior beans. And yeah, yeah. Oh, and now McDonald, uh, <laughs> the one, the farmer. <laughs> this is such deep cut so Canadian, Canadian humor. That will um, sense to Canadian nobody else. It's Canadian lore. This is our oh, yeah. lore. Yeah. It is lore. Tim yeah. Hortons sold the fields where the good beans came from, and now McDonald's has the better coffee. Yeah. Yeah. 
But this a is tragedy. just like a thing that happened, and my grandfather was so upset because he had to start going to McDonald's. Yes, in the morning. guys, none of us are over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's like, like a no, national tragedy. I've lived in this complaints. country for a year, and I've heard it <laughs> so many times. Did you know that it used to be so much better? <laughs> Literally every. I'm just like, do you guys want to go to Tim's? And so many people are like, it used to be so much better. And it's like, I didn't ask <laughs> that. If you, if you go to McDonald's and you get their coffee, it's good. it is the old Tim's coffee. Because it is literally those beans. Yeah. Like, it's this crazy. wild, it's so crazy. It's just so bad. Yeah. yeah. It's so it, No, strange. it's interested. Yeah. 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 And now Burger King's owned by someone in, yeah, yeah. it's like, or, or Burger King owns Tim Hortons. <laughs> yeah. So and it's just got worse. And yeah, doesn't so the Wendy's so. also? Yeah. Because I was, I don't even know. It doesn't uh, matter. So, anyway. Harvest uh, if it refills her <laughs> flask. Yeah, you go to and Timmy and Ho's. Yeah. Tim you know how they give you a discount if you have your own container? Your own flask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so just you do. You just have, like, three silver. P- perfect, um, thank you. And you get a, a, a nice piping hot flask of coffee. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, and then she's gonna make sure that she watches the uh, competition. Okay. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> well, what just happened was Canada. Shin gifted five memberships uh, on YouTube. So thank you for the five members. Thank you so much. Uh, Let's go. Uh, Sex Monkey and uh, Fabu, thank you for becoming the first two subscribers on Twitch now that we're reaffiliated. So oh, thank you for here is, here is, here is. Yeah, it's um, Aww, helping thanks. us uh, survive the onslaught of yum, 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 yum. the coming storm. And coffee <laughs> trades. Oh. Um... <laughs> Do you mean in Canada or as you get down <laughs> to in well, it's literally or? cold. Like you know, yeah, li- we cold. literally have to pay for our heating. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as you get down to uh, the wharf, you see that the town is way more alive than they should be for this time of day. Uh, there are children being like, dr- like pulled by the hand by their parents, <laughs> who are just like, just trying to get the sleep out of their eyes. You know, it's it's very early for a lot of these kids. Crack a dawn. The 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 mood is quiet but excited. Mm-hmm. Um, nobody really seems to want to break the spell of dawn breaking uh, mm-hmm. on such a magical day. And everyone is just sort of looking at each other with that glint in their eye that uh, something really special is about to happen. Uh, and there, there's, there's the excited energy of a population that did not get nearly enough sleep last night. You see a lot of people have Timmy Ho's cups <laughs> with them. Uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of hungover and very tired folk. But um, the the excitement is getting them through their hangover. They're all like, happy fishmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy fishmas. Happy fishmas. Happy fishmas. Um, that's an old man throws over his windows. You boy, what day is yeah. it? <laughs> go by the ring as you goose. <laughs> um, oh my god. Yes, while you are while you were all drinking at the bar last night, uh, Lord Bakker is having a Christmas Carol moment. <laughs> Bannon kind of looks around uh, and just sort of like really taking in, and he kind of like looks up to looks over at Teller, and he just. Um, it's been so long since I've seen a village sort of alive with so much culture. It's so exciting. It's wonderful, isn't it? It really is. It's so no, I I truly I love I love this time of year. Um, Nispin was always like you should come back and could visit, and I do. I love it here at this time. People are always in such good high spirits. How about yourself? How are you doing? Well, I don't know much about fishing, so I'm very nervous. That's exciting. I'm incredibly excited about the battle. It's been oh, nice yes. non stop, and I'm very excited to get show stuck in, as it were. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you get to the town square, and um, this is where I'm going to read from the book. The module. <gasps> the module. Sorry, writers, that I mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> so <Yeah>. venom. <laughs> Colorful banners and paper decorations shaped like kingfishers, a bird, the lucky bird of this town, decorate the village circle. Temporary stalls sell food and colorful crafts, and in the center of the circle, an ancient tree provides shade for happy picnickers. Wow, that is a hard word to say. <laughs> a read. Uh, from a temporary stage, a band of local musicians brings a spirited... But, you know, morning song. It's not too lively for 6 a.m. Mm. Oh, like, oh, like those people at Disney who are like banging yeah. the fucking <laughs> at 9 a.m. We were checking oh, out of our room on Wednesday. <laughs> Or, yeah, oh, no, on Thursday morning. Thursday, yeah, And yeah. we were, like, leaving out the lobby, and there were, like, ten like, Disney employees being like, goodbye, oh goodbye. Just, like, shaking like, tambourines yeah. and banging on the... Oh, oh my God. It was, like, 9 God. a.m. I was like, please it stop. It wasn't even 9 yet. That's also, the worst part. There also weren't people walking through no. them, and they were still doing it. They were just doing it. They were just continuously like, doing yeah, it. It was, it was and, yeah, very anyways. scary. I felt like I was in this so unsettling, actually. Yeah. 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 They were either fans of 
Nerdy Nightly and Roleplay Relay. Yeah. Or yeah, they were yeah, really yeah, happy yeah. you were leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, get the fuck out. And both those didn't two. exist. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Those two drink all of our hot chocolate. Um, <laughs> you see uh, that the, the band slows its tune. Uh, comes to uh, a, a, just like a kind of like underbeat as the mayor uh, mm. steps on to the stage uh, where yesterday she she was dressed in fine uh, a, a nice fine coat and um, had her hair done. Uh, today you see a completely different version of the same woman. Uh, she is wearing no makeup. Uh, she just is dark skin, dark hair up in a cap. Uh, her clothing is very plain, uh, but she's wearing a sort of a leathery um, overall situation uh, that looks very much like she is prepping for her fishing competition. Slung over her shoulder, she has a gorgeous black mm. um, shiny uh, fishing rod that looks very well kept and maintained, like it has been recently polished. Uh, and she has a uh, hip bag uh, that has a clear front that you can see all sorts of colorful lures uh, through. So th this woman is very excited. Uh, she is, wh where yesterday she had the sort of genial uh, atmosphere of just, you know, the leader of the town. Today she shows up with the excitement of a woman who is in her element and is ready to take on all challengers. <laughs> uh, she says, welcome friends. Welcome to the Kingfisher Festival. And cheers and applause fill the circle. The mayor smiles widely. <laughs> Today is a day of not only revelry, but also reflection. We are all here thanks to the courage of heroes who came before us. Let us honor our founders, our family, and all those who can't be here to celebrate today. Enjoy your festival, Vogler, with good times, good spirits, and good friends. And look to the Kingfishers for good luck. An energetic round of cheers follow the mayor's words. With that, the Kingfisher fishing competition is underway. Um, you begin to get organized into fishers and non-fishers. Mm -hmm. uh, you see that the ring of uh, people around this wharf begins to form. Uh, many people are allowing the kids to kind of get to the front so that they can see what's going on. And the mayor says, anyone who would like to participate, step forward. Bannon, like, immediately <laughs> step forward and, like, head held high bright smile. Mm -hmm. He's like wearing like, he doesn't have his armor on right now. It's just like his regular tunic and like, just like sort of like sleeves rolled up legs. His pants are rolled up too. Cause he thinks he's going to have to get into the water. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. I, that's how they do it. Where he's from. They sure. get in the water. Yeah. They fly fish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Teller then joins afterwards. Uh, the day before for this funeral, they were wearing this like this little really nice coat. It's it's like it's so eloquent. Oh, it's it was so beautiful. It's well made, and it's the same today. But everything looks just like a fisherman would wear it. It's, it's like very fa yeah. It's got pockets. <laughs> it's like still gilded and nice. They have like, this really nice big long coat on. Uh, they step forward and then bow, even though everyone's just clapping generally. They still <laughs> bow anyway to everyone else. Uh -huh. Um, okay, uh, so, uh, do either of you have fishing equipment? Nope. Uh, if I woke up early, could I say that I grabbed some for the pair of us, since I organized a spot? I mean, they, they, there is fishing equipment here for... Oh, our, perfect. So, it, it, it's just if you bring your own, yeah. or if you want to use, like, what's available. Uh, yeah, I... Like, I, does, do you, do, I don't think would Teller would own. own yeah. I don't think there's Teller no one, oh, There's no store open at 4 o'clock in the morning to buy <laughs> fishing equipment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, uh... The mayor kind of says, for those of you who don't have the equipment of your own, there is uh, uh, our, our box over here. Uh, please come and acquire your equipment. I'm going to ask both of you to roll survival checks. Love that. Ooh. Love that for, for us. the quality of fishing rod you're able to oh find in this box. What is um, a string? Well, okay. 12. Uh, okay. as, as we are both looking, okay. uh, Tella says to Ban, um, Remember the best, uh, the best thing about a fishing rod to look for. Me and Espen did this years back. The last time I ended up fishing, um, it's actually not the quality of the rod, but the quality of the string is actually more important. A teller will end up telling this like long story, and I will give you bardic inspiration on that, so you get to roll uh, a d6 and add that on nice. to it. Uh, and then I get uh, an Sorry. eight, because by the time Taylor okay. finishes the story, feels very confident, looks back, everything is gone, like, fuck. Ben, yeah. 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 is kind of like testing the strings as he's telling the story, like kind of yeah, like yeah. trying to listen. Uh, I roll a 14. 14. Great. Okay. You got a one? 
No, it's a 12 straight plus oh, 2 plus for the bar. Oh. Uh, and, uh, you have nothing for survival. <laughs> Damn. Straight zero. Uh, all right, so uh, you both you both pull out fine rods. Uh, basically, you're, bo- you're going to have no advantage or disadvantage sure. in the upcoming competition, cool. right? My rod has like really, really nice string, but mm-hmm. it's taped at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The teller was too distracted, and then in saying the string is really important, accidentally got rid of the fact that, I mean, the rod is also an important part yeah. of <laughs> the thing. Of course. Um, okay, so uh, you step forward, uh, and uh, the mayor continues her speech. says, you all know I'm going to be competing, so good luck. You have 30 minutes. You have three fish. The three best fish you can catch in 30 minutes will be weighed, and we will give you all points. We'll have a tally system. If anyone is to catch, what is the fucking fish's name? Benabog the line breaker. <laughs> well, we all know what that means. Well, you don't, do you and you don't. Uh, Benabog is a famous queer ass. A fish of his. <laughs> yes, he's a queer ass. Yes. Queer ass. Yes. Same. Oh. Queer ass carp. He's a, yeah, he's a queer ass carp. Um, I'm also a queer ass. Uh, yes, same. Yeah, same. Yeah. 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 I'm also a queer ass carp. <laughs> we have a room full of queer ass carp. Oh, I love that. Another right. team name has entered the battlefield. <laughs> the queer ass carp. <laughs> Oh my We're god. We're the least serious team member ever. Once, I just know it. once a session, we need a new team name. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But we never end up picking one. Ruffles and Cleavage. Ruffles and Cleavage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Benabog is a local legend. But a legend that is true. This fish is fearsome. He's large. And we call him Linebreaker for a reason. If you do end up with him on the end of your stick, be careful. He'll pull you in. And we might not be able to get you out. S- suddenly intrigued by that, mm-hmm. Cal's like, is it too late to join? <laughs> Absolutely not. The more the merrier. Amazing. Runs to the shed or whatever. The <laughs> <roll is about. laughs> Before Caligari goes, uh, Harvest's like, do you, do you think that means it's a strength competition? It's like, shut up, Harvest. <laughs> oh, I was oh, not for me. For, for me. you. <laughs> Probably. I thought you were making fun of me because the sword thing. I'm sorry. Oh no, that was just funny. Get a rod. Oh, f- team fish, team, team fish. fish. All right. Yes. 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 And you just Wonderful. See whatever rods are left. You, you like, hear all your people like, oh, the big woman's gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she beat that ogre yesterday. That is killer. No, nine, same fish. Yeah. As, okay. Uh, totally normal rod. Yeah. 13. Survival. Yeah. <laughs> That's killer. I thought that was a 15 on the dice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because the zero has the th- line through it, so it, through it, yeah. it does all, yeah. Yeah, you, no. you, you also, you all have totally normal rods. Great. Um, Thank you. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks. <Sorry. laughs> I just mean that nobody rolled great, nobody rolled terribly. It was kind of a, like, 15 above, 5 below situation. You yeah, kind of, yeah, mm. yeah. you all mm-hmm. slid right in the mid. Um, I hope you're all better later. Uh, Same, though. No. <laughs> well, the, look, Ray, the mayor is a prolific fisherwoman, okay? Mm-hmm. She has um, proficiency, expertise, even. So basically, mechanically, how this is going to work is that you are all going to have three rolls. Uh, you basically get a roll every 10 minutes to see if you can get a fish on the line. If you do get a fish on the line, you will have a second roll to see if you're able to successfully reel them in. Uh, the uh, second roll is going to be a uh, wisdom survival check. The second roll is a wisdom survival check. Yes. Oh, first beauty. one is a regular like attack roll, but without a, a plus or anything. Yeah, the, the first D20. one is just a straight d20 to Great. see if something tugs on the line, uh, and then the second one is going to be a wisdom survival like, check. What are my fishing dice? Uh, just just because of so, like the water. Robin, yeah, like, we've never of, really yeah. played together. Yeah. I am very uh, keen. You know this yep. from the Garrick fight. Uh, if you can describe a really uh, cool or interesting way that your character does it, yeah, that yum, would yum, give yum, them yum, an yum. advantage. <laughs> I will I'm give you the not. advantage. Um, <laughs> if only you were a good storyteller. <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, if you can reasonably convince me that your character does something cool, I will give it to you. Cool. Um, 
much like the Garrick fight at the end of Roleplay with That was so fun. Uh, <laughs> and Go if watch you it. fail, if you like crit fail uh, and you have something on your line, uh, the fish can pull you in and you will be immediately disqualified. <gasps> oh, that was oh. And you will die. <laughs> and you will make a new character. Yeah, this, this, this book is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> that is so funny. It's not even the combat that's hard. No, it's no, like, the there's so many the mini games that can just kill your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, oh get added, you get added beats that don't help with it's those. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, let's um, mm. let everyone get set up. Um, right. <laughs> Bannon sort of like stands. He pull. He like takes the uh, rod, shoves it between his legs, and sort of like is standing. It's like, like, so kinda, he's yeah. got like a stance above nice. it, and he's got his hand on the on the reel here. Mm-hmm. Like, but it's between his legs, and he's like trying to like root himself into the ground with all of Great. his strength and might. Yeah, I love that. Uh, all right, so the first... Oh, we had a hype train. What? Hey! Whoa! Thank you for the gifted subs. We, we oh completed a hype train. What a gift. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, all right, so uh, everyone gets into place. Uh, it's the four of you, uh, the mayor. There's a couple of uh, other uh, townsfolk that you've seen. Timmy of Timmy and Ho is uh, competing <laughs> uh, and has a beautiful red rod. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's a you know it's not like a super bright red. It's sort of this um, maple red. Mm. Like you would. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a maple yeah. oak yeah. tree. Yeah. Or, yeah. Does it can to the right a bit? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, and so the mayor says, uh, but perhaps it's inappropriate for me to start us off as a competitor myself. Is there anyone who would like to do the honors? Uh, and Yalma steps forward and is like, Oh well, <laughs> you all know I love y'all so much. But one of you has to win. So, fish. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, uh, let's go around the room uh, and roll our first line check. Don't count. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. fine. We rolled because we thought everyone was rolling together, and both of us rolled not well. So we get to redo it. Yeah, we get to redo it. I will. I will tell you when to roll. Don't worry. I like math rocks. You can roll all around. They don't mean any class. No, no, not as attuned to them. No, yeah, yeah. I've been taking the full hours with them and just talking to them. Okay, Rob, guys. Rob rolled a nine. So very strong. You do have something on your line. I uh, do have something on my line. Oh, I'm going to use this wonderful dice tower for this. Yes! Hey. Hey. Yes! Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh. Um, I have it. I'm blanking on what they're, the person who uh, designed and sent that to us. Wait, no. I, let, give me two seconds because I roll your dice while Roll your dice while we wait. and then. Um, do you want me to hold it while you roll it? No, because you'll can't my dice. I thought it was like lay the line. can't my dice? Yeah. yeah. Is it uh, as opposed to can? <laughs> That's oh five. God. Mm. All right, yeah, you do have something on your uh, rod. Yes, oh, cool. uh, Lay of the Land 3D. Lay of the Land 3D, thank you for the dice thank tower. Thank you so much. We also we have, have another like, one here. Techno Cthulhu and the Unicorn. So cool. We really appreciate that. Yeah, the these are sick. Karus, uh, what, uh, what did you roll? Uh, survival? Uh, oh, yeah, no, just a straight roll. No, this one's a straight roll. The straight roll is seven. Roll. Seven? Kate, okay, you have something on your line. Okay. <laughs> A one. <laughs> so wow. um, you all wow. begin to feel wow. very slight tugs on your rods, okay. uh, and uh, you feel nothing. You're just kind of sitting there. You're kind of taking in. Uh, uh, you have the rod in one hand, and there's no motion to it, so you're kind of scribbling away with your other hand, <laughs> 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 like, like just resting on your thigh, just writing down like the the emotions and the the face everyone else is making. Uh, I need all three of you to make uh, wisdom checks. Uh, you rolled a nine, right? Wisdom. Yeah. Okay. So, saving survival. throws or checks. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter. Sorry, this is a oh, this is a uh, survival check. Oh, oh survival! Yeah. Yes. What a greater story than someone who lost in 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 battle yesterday and catches the legend you today. Bardic inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> did you just roll a net twenty? I rolled a net twenty. Oh, hero! Let's get you. It. You pull out a one foot long eel. Eel. Um, yeah, it is a a tiny river eel. It is one foot long. Uh, <laughs> Yes. It's nice. Nat 20 out of 7. I mean, that doesn't feel very tiny to me, but... <laughs> I'm going to get some glasses or something. All right, uh, what, this, Brian, what did you get? With Bardic. Oh. oh, yeah, you can go. We're going the other way now. Wait, you have Bardic Inspiration? Sur- yeah. Oh. I just no, you only get on one roll. What? 
Oh, well, I right, just right, gave right. him body expression. Because yeah. what a tale it would be. What a tale it would be. The one who lost the sword fight wins the. That's, that's an 18 survival check. Yeah, that's you really also good. pull out a one foot long tiny river eel. For a wisdom save, right? Wisdom check. Wisdom. Uh, you said survival. Wisdom survival check. Wisdom survival check, yes. Survival. Okay, yes, yes. Survival. So it's 18. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's so a, you, that's you also pull out oh, a one, um, one foot long one river eel. One foot long river eel. Um, yikes. That is a <laughs> eight. <laughs> Yum. Thanks. That could have been so much worse. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you you rolled an eight. Yeah. Uh, you barely. Uh, no, actually, you don't. You you okay. you you tug and you tug and you tug <laughs> and you feel that you lost. Uh, uh, you got an eight at, with the bardic inspiration. Don't get me started. <laughs> what is your and a plus what is your one. bonus of survival? Plus one. Wow. I know. <laughs> I'm not. Doing well, man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good take. Um, the yeah. is therapy. Yeah, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Um, um, <laughs> you, uh, you do see uh, the Lord Bacchus is uh, waddling back and forth, kind of watching all the comp- competitors. Uh, he has a flask of his own. Mm. Uh, you can only imagine what's in it. Um, and coffee. Probably not coffee. Uh, and he just he kind of looks over you and is like. <laughs> oh, of course these out-of-towners couldn't keep a fish on the line. Good luck, little magic boy. <laughs> I don't even turn. I'm just staring at the water. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so so round one is over. <laughs> Bannon is I'm, super I'm... excited that he caught something. He's yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Harvest is shocked. She has never held a fishing rod in her life. <laughs> and it's like... This Great. is easy. <laughs> I have got you, food. Bannon's like looking around, showing everyone. He looks at Harvest. He's like, <laughs> "You, we got the same, yeah." <laughs> he's like, he, he goes back to his rod with new resolve. He's like, inspired. Not really. Not mechanically. <laughs> I'm I'm not mechanically. I'm, yes. I'm inspired, and now I have advantage on my next one. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <I know. laughs> Hey, he said if we describe stuff well. Yeah, yeah. Describe the eel. <laughs> <laughs> there once was a ship. <laughs> 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 I was just starts writing a fucking <laughs> sea shanty. I'm trying to remember. This is such a weird thing. I, I'm trying to remember what the point system is, and I can't ah. find it. Would oh, that's that fun. Everything's made up and the points don't matter. No, there is exactly. There, I, I remember Everyone there being wins. a point system, but maybe there isn't. Awards. Yes. <laughs> that's so funny. I, yeah. Mm-hmm. We just have to see who gets the bigger fish. Yeah. Oh, it's the feet. I understand. There's never mind. No, I, I remember feet. now what's. Mm. Never mind. Yeah, so you Toes. both have uh, one, basically one point. Uh, you both have one foot worth of fish. Okay. Uh, let's do round two. Sure. Uh, Sorry, I was like, wait, wait, I thought there was a point system. There's no point system, and I just got myself very confused. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let's all roll for uh, the second. Oh, uh, you do see um, the the mayor does pull out sort of this two foot long carp, uh, and some of the other uh, villagers. A couple of them do pull really? out one foot long fish as well. Uh, and the people are cheering. They're like, "Hi, fish!" <laughs> fish! Fish! Oh god! It's a simple town. <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy, what is okay. with this table? We are I... not doing well. Oh, it's a 19. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got a 1. <laughs> okay. I got a 14. And I 14. got a 15. You mm-hmm. can't say like oh. I got 14 plus 1. Uh, so you got, oh, this is you the got straight. 15. I actually got 15. And what did you get? 14. 14. 14. Okay, uh, so uh, yeah, you both feel uh, stronger tugs on your rod. Uh, you feel nothing. <laughs> And you are you you like you missed that first round, but something is pulling and trying to like pull you into the water. Uh, can, can the harvest? Uh, <laughs> she, <laughs> um, <laughs> if one of you murders the other, I, I yeah. will be very happy. <laughs> you find a ring at the bottom of the lake. Oh my god! Um, do so I so see so any so fish, so even so if I don't well. feel any? No. Okay. Just checking. No, you rolled a one. You don't. <laughs> I'm just checking. It, <laughs> it's not going well for you. <laughs> Put your head in the water. You said if we describe something. No, I just, you know, I was just gonna throw my hands in. If you would like to blindly throw your hands in and try and catch a fish in these ten minutes, I will let you roll for that with disadvantage. 
done. If you fall in, though. Yeah, I can't fall in yeah. if I if I. Fuck Everyone, roll a survival check for me. Um. With disadvantage, well, is it a just a straight roll or? No, it's a survival check. Survival, uh, eight. Okay. I yeah. don't fuck up that bad. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Teller turning to Bannon. Um, now, clearly you're already an incredibly skilled fisherman, but imagine if now we caught the legend and not only did you catch this legend fish, but a legend is born in you, Bardic Inspiration, to you. How many Bardic uh, Inspirations do you get in a day? I have four a day. Okay. And I've used two, and yeah. I will use all four, because even though meta-wise, I know something's going to go wrong. <laughs> it's like, I'm just having fun with the beach! Is, no, 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 it's a mock battle later. It's a mock battle. It's a mock battle. It's a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't happen. matter. Nothing of course. Happen. No, nothing. How disappointed are you going to be if nothing actually happens at the reenactment? That would be very funny. I got a 21 on my survival check. Wow. Nice. Wow, for the okay, 19, okay, yeah, I got yeah. a 21. Uh, Shane, thank you for the gift yeah, sub. Uh, I rolled a 12, but I have this inspiration. Can I save that till next? You can. You, can you, can, you don't have to use it. I'm going to go with the 12. Right. Uh, so the um, yeah. So you you guys uh, are pulling on your fish, and you hear just splashing uh, to the right of you. And you look all up down, and uh, Harvest is like... <laughs> Elbow deep in the water, and she thinks that she's grabbed a fish, so she pulls it out, and she accidentally just splatters herself in the face with some mud. Uh, from and she's just wet now. I'm it's, wet, guys. Yeah, it's 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 not a cute sight. Um, she's like trying to get the mud out of out of her cheek. Um, you both pull up. Uh, sorry, you both rolled 14, uh, 13, 14 the first time, right? Or 14, 15. 15 and 14. You both pull up a mature river eel. Mm. It's uh, a foot and a half long. Very nice. Uh, and uh, it, 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 as you kind of look away from her, you realize you've almost got it. You both yank it at the same time. These like identical eels kind of get pulled up. Uh, and now you have two and a half feet of fish. You have a foot and a half. Uh, and you. I'm getting bigger. <laughs> there's a moment where you Growing feel up. like you're struggling. Uh, and you feel like the, the, the line is going to get away from you, and then you just catch the rhythm of it. And mm. all of a sudden, you just you and this fish are in this battle of mental wits, and you outsmart it, and you pull this final yank, and out comes a five-foot carp. Whoa. This massive fish wow. that's um, that uh, is, is the biggest thing that anyone has pulled out of the river in weeks. <sighs> and a cheer goes up on the crowd when they see this thing. Like The, the, the villagers are shocked. Uh, and there's even some kids are being like, is that Benabog? Oh, is that Benabog the line breaker? And uh, Mary's like, oh, no, no. But well done. And you can see she, she's you, got Dallas. this like three foot carp herself. And she's like looking at you like. That's fantastic. <laughs> Looks like someone's So you tied. and her are tied. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, going Love into round that. three. Nice. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Will everyone please roll their final fishing check? Listen here, you. Ah, fuck. Oh, I didn't even put it in the thing, but it's a 16. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm going to take it. <laughs> you have zero for survival? Nope. I thought this was just this a straight roll. straight roll. Sorry, this is a straight roll, yeah. This is yeah. six. 15. 16. I got an eight, unfortunately. Okay. Um... We combine our... No. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> so, uh, I need everyone to now roll their... You all have a fish on your line. So, oh, everybody shit. roll a uh, survival check for me. Okay. All right. Can, <laughs> can I get very upset in my heart about that magic comment and, like, with the one hand on the line, put the other hand down and That's quietly shake cold. water to make the flow towards me easier? Can you do that again? What, 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 how are you shaking water? Well, no. <laughs> The, so you're tickling uh, the taint of the lake. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> the uh, person who, who won the fight yesterday no bonus also <laughs> pulling up such an incredible fish. I'm going to give you bad inspiration. Oh, oh, oh I see. Hell yeah. yeah. Sure, Wait, you're giving me one? Okay. But I wanted to give it one to Ange. I didn't want to leave anyone out. Six. You rolled that's the six. Right, that's right. That's right. I'm not going to use 16. it yet, because yeah. I think 21 is probably He's just what I'm pissed. Gonna... He's like, I can't believe magic right? six, fucking yeah. use. Yeah, you don't have to use it yet. Natural 20 plus bardic inspiration for a 23. <laughs> Very nice. Why did you use Why the bardic? Why did you use the bardic on a natural 20? Because I had IT fully panicked. No, no, no. no. So nat 20s are like critical successes. Oh, okay, you no, don't... I'll, I'll save the inspiration. No, 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 you rolled it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. So technically, I it does... It do... Technically, oh no, on abilities, oh no, on abilities, it doesn't actually. If we're going by rule, oh, it's no only one. saving throws, right? And it's, uh, it's only yeah, attacks. Fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. It, it's, it, 
It's not a real thing. <laughs> no, but I think that's true, right? It is, it is. In Raw, you can only yeah. crit on attacks, but no one really does that. Yeah, no, oh, you're talking about crits. I thought you were talking about the Bardic Inspiration. Mm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. no. Bardic Inspiration is on ability checks, saving throws. And attack rolls. Mm -hmm. We like nat twenty is a nat twenty. Nat twenty is a nat twenty. We we play with it as a, as with crit success and crit fails. There yeah. are tables though that don't play with. It's not yeah, wrong, but it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> do this anyway. Like like Bannon, like after getting the last fish, the words of Teller have settled in. He's like <laughs> breathed into it. He's got his he's got his rod. It's he cast it. He's planted it, and you can see like the veins in his arms are, are like like. <laughs> They're not popping Just up, but like arms. he's so <laughs> focused that you can see his arms are gripping the rod perfectly. He's got his stance down pat. He's like Let's he looks like he looks like a, like a like a like a experienced pikeman <laughs> ready to fucking ram his pike <laughs> through a fucking beast. Gullet, and he's nice. got the thing, Love and he's that. like almost like imitating the fly fishing from his like from his like hometown. He's got the the like string in his hand, his hand like gripping, like almost weirdly gripping like a server would grip like multiple things, and he's got like the reel, and he's just like nailing it, nailing the form that he's made up. <laughs> so you all successfully that pull out your fish. Up. Oh, you don't even know what I got. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? I think you rolled 21. 21. I did. I didn't know what you heard that. I got excited. I didn't know what you got. Okay, well, I just wanted to describe it. Okay. I know, but it's not combat, so you're going to roll well. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Um, Harvest um, realizes that like maybe uh, her grip strength isn't the greatest, so she actually puts the rod um, in between her uh, thighs like and her quad muscles, and she just like... <laughs> flexes to keep the rod in place. Mm. So she kegels the fish out of the water? Absolutely. Um, and so, uh, yeah, she rolls a 21 to get the fish out of the water. This is why I rolled a 6. I was, I like I was just watching. Rather than rolling cleavage, flexing. you are kegels and cleavage. Kegels and cleavage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you all pull out a fish. Um, you pull out a one-foot fish. Uh, you also pull out a one-foot fish. Yes. You pull out a one and a half foot fish. Mm, okay. Very nice. Congratulations. Uh, and what, did you, what was your first roll that round? Uh, my first roll was an eight, and my second was also so an eight. So you, unfortunately, I don't know. Wait, who rolled above a 16? I got 16. Oh, okay, so you actually pulled out a three foot fish that round. Hell yeah. Uh, and then you pull out a one foot fish. Uh, uh, leaving your final total, you, you rolled, uh, you got a six feet of fish total. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of you are all below that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the, the mayor does pull out one final two foot. Oh. Uh, Gotcha. Uh, and she wins the competition for another year. Uh, you see the, the cheering. Really? It's, it, really? it's sort of an expected um, yeah. Oh, we event. Know what's gonna yeah, everyone Who can like, beat the best? God, yeah. really. and, and even, but even she's kind of like, I was kind of hoping one of you would give me a run for my money. It's one been five did. years I straight did. now. <laughs> yeah, almost, almost. Almost. That was the greatest fun I've ever had. Can we go again? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We could have another competition if you like, but let's give out the presents, uh, the prizes. Of, <laughs> yep, they're, they're both p words. Uh, <laughs> that's how my brain works. Let's give out the prizes for the annual competition first. Uh, in first place is me, <laughs> so I'm gonna get this. Uh, and she, you see, she has this um, uh, fishing fly. It's made from blue feathers, uh, and she opens her box, and it like she hangs it into a spot right next to a green one and a red one and a yellow one. <laughs> 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 one. Uh, There's a pink one and a green one. <laughs> it was green and red Oh, and my yellow. ochre and ochre. Uh, and for the rest of you, you all uh, receive uh, these tiny wooden uh, carvings of the king of kingfishers, of the bird. Oh, um, and so, yeah, you all have a, a tiny wooden charm. Uh, they're kind of like a Pandora necklace bead. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, and so if if you'd like, yeah, you can absolutely. Um, if you'd like to play again, we could do that. Or uh, some people and people start to dis dissipate out into uh, the city uh, to the different stalls. Kids start to go up to some of the games that are there mm -hmm. uh, to play some of the like kids games. How about this? Absolutely. I have, I have a fun idea. What if we treat this since this is a lot of our first time fishing? What if we treat this as a warm up round and then? Us five can compete again later tonight, and we can go for that uh, prize that you just won. And let's say if we lose and you once again win, I I will give you a favor, a job you need doing, something around town, a story you need telling. I will do that. Well, all right. I I can't exactly turn that down. And I can't top it, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At dusk after the after the Battle of High Hill. That sounds glorious. 
Oh, I love the sound of that. Can we get new rods this time? I from the box. Yeah, so you should... could buy them in town. Yeah, there are plenty oh, of people who sell them. Beautiful rods. I feel like we should all have, money. have an even playing field. Yeah. We've had this warm up. We all have the same rod. We go into it and see how it turns out then. Absolutely, I love the idea of that. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Teller. That sounds pleasant. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, the, the the town is yours for a bit. You have a few hours before uh, you're gonna. You have about a half hour walk out to the high hill where you guys are gonna reenact the battle of Salamnic Knights and the Istarian forces. Mm. Uh, is there anything you would like to do with your day before you head out to High Hill? Um, is um, Harvest still covered in mud? <laughs> Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Um, Bannon uh, sort of like, um, sort of like um, rips off a piece of the the sort of like uh, blanket that Teller brought, uh, and sort of like looks at Teller and says, like, "I'll fix it for you later. I promise." It's quite okay. And he goes up to Harvest and he offers it for your face. <laughs> She um, she she uh, Harvest uh, takes the 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 cloth and um, does the like uh, Shrek when he like wipes the soot like off of, like just kind of smears it around mm -hmm. and then is like thank you. I think you might have made it worse. Yeah, well, um, I'll fix it later. Maybe we should just jump in and have a little swim. Ben's already taken his tunic off and jumped into the water. <laughs> Uh, yeah, upon seeing Bannon, uh, you know, the, the, the kids have been a little bit infatuated with this, like, smaller person who's closer to their size, uh, who's sh shown these feats of bravery that I saw last yeah. couple days. Uh, and so a bunch of the kids, uh, just follow you in, they're jumping off the pier, all of them still have their clothes on, and their parents are just like, and, uh, uh, okay. Uh, and so, yeah, you're swimming with, uh, like, the a the, uh, bunch of the local kids. Uh, splashing about, you can kind of feel like the, the the fish all scurrying off into the lake, uh, running away or the river running away from where this like great intrusion into their domain has suddenly occurred. As um, Bannon like before he jumps in, you notice that like for like his size and stature, he's his like torso is actually quite well toned and like there's like these sort of scars. You guys all notice that I'm actually kind of ripped. Yeah. <laughs> you guys notice that like, I'm kind of swollen. Much Kevin Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Kevin. Because I know you're watching. Sorry, Kevin. Kevin, 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 Kevin Hart is a notorious Harry Manley fan. Yeah. 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 I'm just justifying the tough feet. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Ah. Tough. Ah. Scars all like, like sort of like around his body. Uh, but he doesn't seem to have, carry any shame, like to show or like whatever. He just sort of jumps right in. Is he fully nude? No, he's wearing his pants still. Oh, I was like, then what would you be shameful of? Where, the scars. Some people are ashamed of their scars. Oh, his scars. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and he's, I, yeah, no, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, is he dick out? Like, there's no <laughs> shame. Listen, listen, listen. Not here. <laughs> if you want to see a halfling dick out, go to uh, Sam Regal's Twitter. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Posted something spicy last night from that Critical Role Baldur's Gate stream. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Oh, weren't they like uh, testing jiggle yeah. physics and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very funny. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay, so yeah, you're swimming with the kids. What did, what did the rest of you want to do? I call me just swept up in a little giddy inspiration. I'm going to uh, just, yeah, you, you, you'd be like, yeah, you know, what's, what's the harm in getting a little wet, right? Follow suit and take my shirt off, and then kind of, we're on the boat, right? No, you guys are on the pier. On the pier. Yeah. So as I step, I kind of go backwards. I, like, turn to the pier and be like, come on, wash yourself off, and I'll shape water at harvest. So just... <laughs> Come up from both I, sides um, and hit the I, I, I don't really like, um... Too late! And I'm over here. She's just standing there, like, soaking wet. And I don't like, like swords! As I, like, <laughs> as I fall into the water. She, like, gets, like, she's, like, very uncomfortable. Like, you know when you get, like, a cat wet? Yes, and they're yeah. just, like... But you're um, clean now. Thank you. She's like, I, I just like to do it run, swim up to Ben and just, I don't know, <laughs> chucking kids off, like catapulting them, like yeah, having a good, you know, they stand on your shoulders, you go, one, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Play uh, in the you middle. Uh, uh, you the I am child not partaking. <laughs> The merriment brings other we'll, uh, villagers. Supervise. You see, yeah. um, people see people are not jumping in, but wading in. Uh, yeah, some yeah. of them have tankards. There's, you know, people are having a morning ale with their swim. Great. Uh, Timmy and Hose, uh, the, the mobile Timmy Hose cart is coming through, and people are getting iced coffee and. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they seem to have some like magical uh, device mm. that allows them to chill their coffee and uh, serve it iced, mm. uh, which uh, you definitely take notice of. Yeah. 
Um, it's just somebody holding it when casting chill touch. <laughs> no, it the, yeah. the cart itself uh, has some ability to chill things. If I ever, um, whatever, it's air a cart like yeah. that before, just in general? Like, no, it's, no? It's, okay. it's, it seems like a, a cool, unique... Um, oh, it's definitely cool. You understand You understand the spell mechanics of it. It's not terribly complicated. Got it. Um, but it is, uh, it's rare to find a magic item that has that sort of... Um, power to it. Great. Um, there aren't you, you know. This isn't a town with a lot of magic items in it, yeah. and so you're just kind of surprised to see like such a pedestrian magic item in the might, world might in this be, part of the world. Might want to go get, grab myself a little iced coffee in a sec. Um, yeah, but it's, it's it's something that you'd be very familiar with in Sylvanesti, where okay. that kind of magic is um, more readily available. Got a it. lot of people have the sort of pedestrian magical items in their home. That make life a little bit easier, ah, but you don't rich. find that in the human in, in smaller towns in the human kingdoms. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Iced bean juice. It's quite cool. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you holding that dice. I was doing it for like, so long. Were you doing it? Sorry, I'm waiting to make that joke. Because you said it's quite cool, but you didn't reference the. Is there anything you guys would like to participate in, like the merriment of the festival, or would you like to? Uh, fast travel our time to heading to the Battle of High Hill. Is there anything like particularly like interesting that we've heard of in the festival? Like, well, we need rods. Food. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 no, we're, we're going to use the ones that we we're already gonna... had oh, okay, okay, you know, okay, to keep okay. it fair. She, I, I think uh, Ray, the mayor is going to use one of the rods from the box. Yeah, it was yeah. like everyone yeah. even playing fields as well. Is, yeah. is, there, is there anything that we would have heard about like through whispers of like or like like eavesdropping or like just people talking about this is super yeah. exciting. Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> no, it's 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 people are as you walk around kind of uh, you get out of the water, you walk around, you start taking in everything that's going on. It's more that people are just sort of mingling, eating, drinking and talking about the Battle of High Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of excitement. Um, you, you know, that you, you mingle through some conversations where people are discussing the merits of using a sword versus a spear in this fake battle where Both. it doesn't matter. Mm. Um, Fine. That those are the two options. I know. Uh, so <laughs> it's one or the other. Uh, you meet, you just meet people in town just sort of not working today, having the day off. And it, it's more about people coming together than it is... The, 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 the fishing competition and the Battle of High Hill are really the exciting parts of Ooh. this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whilst you two are having fun in the in the pit, uh, <laughs> tell we'll go. Um, it's a shame I didn't win, but I did. Uh, I was distracting myself by uh, drawing this, and then on like the corner of each of the pages of the notebook is a little. Uh, drawing of harvest, like reeling a fish in, and they flick it really. Oh, uh, they uh, you uh, are the writer of animorphs. Yeah. <laughs> um, and why did you the... do that to the hawk? <laughs> why did you do that to him? Listen, war is bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, and the, through through the really quick flick, there is this like gust of wind, and I am going to cast prestidigitation to dry you off. Uh, through that. Um, that's um. Yes. That's. Very clever. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yes, I like it quite a lot. Uh, I'm not. A, I'm you. not an artist, but uh, you're, I'm like sorry. You're not. You're not an artist. I'm not an artist. No, I'm more of a. You know, I like. I. I'm not good with drawing and that and that physical medium. Sculptures are impossible for me. I have tried. Um, actually, you know what? I'm quite a bad bard because I'm not very good with a lot of instruments. I can do the you know violin a little bit, but nothing else. Well, you know, I, I they I've heard that like a lot of people consider um, their voice as an instrument, right? That's like a pretty yes. pretty common. Oh yes, absolutely. That doesn't bard saying. Yes, I didn't mean to, you know, put down my own, uh, you know, volition. Uh, at all in terms of you know no you're stories, just being but, being humble yes and saying what I can't do rather than what I can which is very good of me uh, <laughs> yes well uh, your um, your um, speech um, at the funeral um, was beautiful I've, I've never uh, heard anything like that oh thank you for what it's worth I believe that yours was too um, well, uh, sure thank it's you all, it's all well and good <laughs> Speaking when you have the training and and knowledge of how to do so, it's far more impressive for me having the bravery to speak up, even though you feel like you might not have that voice. And that's what you did. You spoke and, and, and gave a true telling from your heart, even though this is not your vocation. People will be impressed by me, but this is what I get paid to do. Vocation. So. 
<laughs> Write that one. That sounds like a good word. I have a question. Since we're mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. um, now, yesterday, I know that we possibly scared you a little bit by telling stories of the fact that you were going on a date. Um, I don't know what happened there, um, but I'm, you know what? I'm glad that it was short. Hmm. Now, please feel free to throw me to the wolves if this is not something you want to that's uh, what, uh, that's talk an about. expression, right? Yes, an it's an expression. expression. Okay. Please don't Thank actually you. throw me to the wolves. I'm made of paper. I don't have any wolves, so... Um, <laughs> Wonderful. You're, you're that's fine. Good. Yeah. Um, you didn't seem at all comfortable in the ways of... <laughs> speaking to someone else in terms of a, of a romantic setting. Um, and it just Roman. brought a smart... It's brought a slight question to me. Ha have you ever been in love? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> love, love is... Uh, love takes time. That's... Uh, it's not something you feel like you have? No. God, no. <laughs> There's so many other things in life and mm. uh, you know i i i travel a lot so it's of it's it always moving the, the dates and romance and love are just kind mm. of a, a, a distraction from oh of course yeah have you ever loved not even a, a person another sentient being but a vista or a um a family member, a friend. Did you love Windows Vista? Did you love Windows <laughs> Vista? Uh, no, I prefer uh, Windows uh, 10, actually. Uh, mm. <laughs> um, well, no, I... Um, actually, I... Uh, I don't know my parents and my family, so... Um, hmm. No, but I think, like, Ispin was my first friend, and, like, you could consider that, like, love. Beautiful. In a way. I, I hadn't seen him in a while, and... I, I feel like because I regret that that there there was something akin to love there and and I feel sad that that I won't see him again but hmm. it doesn't really feel like it doesn't really feel like real yet I guess because I am um, never spent that much time with him I kind of like keep half expecting him to just uh, pop up and have a new story to tell me. Mm. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to answer the question. Yeah, is this for your um your your book your your writing? No, no, I no. don't like oh. to. I, I, I don't I don't really enjoy writing the more the the inner workings of people that that I feel like there is some there are some stories that the public shouldn't be privy to. This was more just for a curious mind, is all. Do you write your own stories? Like, about you? I don't. I... You divulged. I I, I feel like I should offer the same. Um, divulged. Divulged, <laughs> yes. Yeah, to, yeah and divulged. Yes, really. Tell it tears a piece of paper out of the like book. That's, that's a good word, thank, yeah. thank you. Um, D... E. Oh, fuck. D. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Um, no, I know. She harvests. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Such a good actor that you bought it. Yeah, that's true. That's that's true. Doesn't know how to work. <laughs> Get fucked, apparently. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, fine. Um, <laughs> you can take a 15 What's the percentage? Uh. <laughs> There are some people in the world that if they learnt of my stories that uh, the possibility of them finding me is not one that I am... is not a story that I'm willing to tell yet. So, like, you're like a... you're like a wanted person, almost. Kind of, yes. Not by any form of big official law. Um, but yeah. like some someone out there is like pissed off at you. We, yes. You know you can't really go through life without pissing off someone else. Oh, absolutely. Others, so it, yes. You know. Um, it's unfortunate though. I do try my very best to not be the uh, 
you know, not be someone that ruffles feathers in any way. Um, this is more one that I was born into that I don't have. I didn't really have the chance to get out of. Gotcha. You, mm. you might, you, you might or may not actually be surprised to learn that that storyteller is not my actual name. Oh, I thought it was teller. Teller, storyteller is the name that I go Claire. by. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, some that's, people, that's... some people actually don't pick pick up on that. Yes. Well, you know, I um, did not realize, but um, fascinating. Mm. Some people points to Bannon uh, like like playing a special order. <laughs> Those fucks ben, over there. Is, like has like one of the kids on his shoulders and like yeah. he's like just like helping the kid like like. <laughs> And then, like, like fight, I, like fight another kid when <laughs> yeah, like, 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 you have kids on the shoulders <laughs> and are like, and like trying except, to. Except like I'm, it's like two children because I could not. Oh yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> no, you are. You're doing him. That that you're on the bank so that you're like standing a little bit higher on the ground. Oh, that's it. So yeah. That the gr- as yeah. the ground slopes up, you you I say down a little bit. No, don't do it. It's over again. <laughs> I've got the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> you also have a much taller child than he does. Yes. He can barely. And I'm just he's, like, he's, you can see Cal my like child. struggling to hold this kid. It's like out of breath. The kid on my shoulders is using his head. Like, 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 uh, like trying to kick them over rather than playing fair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the kid's like, ah! And goes underwater he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh this kid is having an awful <laughs> time. No, no. Or the best. Or the best. Or the best. Yeah, because I can't remember the time. If this child had a percentage more anxiety, this kid would be having an awful day. Yeah, 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 but this yeah, kid yeah. is so, like, Fearless. in the throes of being a child. So this is the scene that Derrett uh, and Becklin, uh, Becklin, you noticed Derrett and Becklin were not present this morning. Yeah. Uh, and in mm. fact, you didn't see a lot of the town guard come down for the fishing mm. festival, which uh, surprised... Uh, the mayor, not surprised. Um, it's more that it would have been nice to have them there, mm-hmm. but uh, given everything that you told them yesterday and the additional preparations that Becklin told you that she was going to put in place for the competition for the Battle of High Hill today, you are not su- you are not surprised that they weren't there. The a lot has gone into making sure that this is as safe as possible. But Derek does come down, and you see him. Uh, he sort of waves over at you guys and comes over mm-hmm. and he's like, "Well, hello." Uh, We've got everything prepared over at the Battle of High Hill, and Cudgel has taken some of the Ironclad Regiment out, and they've got a nice perimeter going, so I, I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen today. We're uh, we're Damn excited it. for uh, everything that's going to happen. Becklin's going to come referee everything, mm. but um, unfortunately Cudgel is going to lead the perimeter, so she won't be able to come watch. But uh, she left Gregonis and some of the Ironclad Regiment to play the bad guys, so it's it's going to be a fun day. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, just to rewind, if I if I'm allowed a little bit, just to yeah, close sure, sure. off our little yeah, scene. If you'd like. Um, points to Bannon, sees him having fun. And it's like, uh, but then like with Bannon, all of Bannon's scars that are like very freely showing on their body. Oh. Um, Teller being out of the water is like some people are more willing to show their scars than. I myself am, and then and then they like walk up, um, and he's like, "Hello!" Uh, <laughs> like, "Oh, well, that's wonderful, um, boys!" Yes, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the kid is heads <laughs> under the water. <laughs> Bannon looks over, looks over, uh, smiles, and he just really like, does like a fall back yeah, of the kid, uh, and sort of like makes his way out of the water. Yeah, oh, it looks like they're having fun. Oh, Somehow. yes. Yeah. Uh, had a good, good competition fishing. Uh, Who won? The mayor. The mayor, of course. Of course. But, yeah. Yeah. but we came very close oh, to the point you? where we are we have we are going to have a, a small little personal competition That's tonight, it. just to just to even the odds. A personal uh, a competition rematch. with the mayor. Well, aren't you fancy? Mm-hmm. Uh, did anyone catch Banabog this year? <laughs> not, not no. Yet, but I'm gonna catch him tonight. It's been a decade. But we know he's out there. How, How long, long does fish, fish live? live? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but he's Harvest huge. Like, there's no. F- and we never, we never keep him. Benabog is, uh, you know, if you catch him, you let him go. Uh, it's, uh, it sort of makes you a local legend. But uh, when was the last time he was caught? Ten years. 
Uh, nine, ten, I don't know. Oh, so he's at least ten. Oh, older than a decade. That's fascinating. Yeah. Can I make a nature check to know how, see if I know how long fish live? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like we don't know. Fish. Oh, we do know what type of fish it is, right? And he's a queer-ass carp. Yes, right. that's the one. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm actually really curious. I'm gonna Google how... How long I do queer-ass do, carp I live? I do yeah. think that carps live weirdly long. It's huh, like koi. Right. Don't koi fish live like a long Far time? Final. They can. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, 20 years. Oh, oh nice. there you go. Damn. It's a middle-aged fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting a little sure. bit. It's got a Ferrari. <laughs> uh, the, the, the legend of Benabog goes back further than that, though. So uh, Benabog might be... You, you have no idea? Magical. Mm. We, this is also not the real world. Oh, my what? God. It's what? Like magic I thought, no, hold on. <laughs> magic <It's a> magic <laughs> art. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Yeah, if you get to Route 3, you can buy it for 500 gold. Yeah. Oh if there's a waterfall so nearby, it turns to a Gyarados. It's awful. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I it's love, awful. I love Pokemon Swatch. <laughs> um, uh, our friend has a Pokemon RPG system that he like built. I don't want to play it so bad. Mm. Uh, my my so friend cool. also has one. It's extremely good. Yeah. Is it Chris? Tongue? It's not. Oh, no, like, no, 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 it's like Chris. Friend. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same friend. But oh, yeah. I didn't know that he had a system. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah, he play. He's uh, he plays at cons. He he like has like he runs games at cons of it. It's cool. Um. All right. So uh. Yeah. Derek comes down and sort of is telling you guys about um what's gonna happen. Uh. And he kind of goes around. He's like, "What kind of weapon are you guys going to be using today?" I might be the role of making sure people don't get too much scrapes. Oh, sort of a, you can join uh, Becklin to be a referee. I, I might sit on the outside for absolutely, this. My, absolutely. my talents are, are better with that. I'm assuming I can't um, use my sword. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you get a wooden spear or a wooden sword. Well then, uh, yeah, give me that sword. Would you like a shield? Uh, no, no. Oh, okay. What did Ispin always take into battle? Uh, Ispin was a sword and shield man. Then I'll take a sword. Absolutely, a little wooden sword for you. And he, you know, he's got that. You guys are the, in the town. People are kind of grabbing things. Uh, the mayor is sort of getting ready to give a speech in the middle. And for you, I'm assuming you'd like a sword. You were so good with one yesterday. <laughs> if it sticks near me, a sword would be great. I don't think that's appropriate at this point. Um, I mean, you've got a you've got a wooden stick yeah, already. Well, can you can I just use that. wave this around at people? What what is the tip of your um your Ancestral no, staff. It doesn't really have it. It's just we're more so just carved and shaped. Right. Yeah. Uh, so then, yeah, absolutely. Just, uh, you know, don't uh, don't hurt anyone with it. I don't think I can. It's all a game, I, though. Yeah. People will fall if you play, if hit I them. Th throw my sword. If you get a good <laughs> whack at them, though, yeah. they, they die. Great, yeah. Uh, no, part no. of the game uh, is to die as gloriously and uh, extravagantly as possible. Yeah, Nobody could ever top what Ispin did when he died. Every year he topped himself with something uh, new and elaborate, some new grand f five minute sequence of death that <laughs> wowed and astounded us all. So, uh, frequently when Ispin died, the whole field would come to a stop just to watch. I well, I am um, big shoes that. to fill. Yeah. Uh, so tell me, when someone dies in this, uh, do we just stay on the ground? Ah, uh, you can walk away. Oh, uh, okay. One yeah. of the referees. Uh, there, there, there's a variety. Uh, you'll be joining them with Becklin. Uh, they'll sort of just direct you away. Make sure you don't get hurt. Great. Uh, and if you do, uh, the there is a druid uh, member of the Ironclad Regiment. I believe you met him yesterday. You did. Uh, he was a friend of Gregor Unis's. Uh, he tends to. He'll, he'll probably give some healing if anybody gets too hurt, but nobody ever really does. Yeah, occasionally there's a broken bone is kind of the Good. worst. Uh, maybe a concussion if someone's not paying attention. Got it. But other than that, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's just fun. All right. right. And you guys get to play on the winning side. Isn't that great? I uh, do love to win, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really nice to go into a battle knowing you're going to win too. Oh, I'm, absolutely. Uh, and usually do. I would love to go into battle at all, so... That would be exciting, but... Are you not partaking? I meant a real one. Yes, one day I would love to, you know, I just, I want to be a knight of Salamnia and I, I want to get into a real fight. Mm. It's a dream. The squires not see real battle at all, is that not a thing? I mean, there hasn't been a real battle anywhere near here in... Good point. The, I, the only one has been you guys against whatever it is you fought in the woods two days ago. And I really hope that your first fight's not against them. It's not, not very <laughs> fun. No, I would find, like, you know, a Place to hide. deer or yeah. a... I've never seen acid before. 
Mm. Uh, but it doesn't sound fun. No. Mm. Mm. So be careful that your first fight's not against a chicken. They're surprisingly ruthless. A chicken? Yeah. They band together. And, and if you hit one, they all start coming from every everywhere. Well, if you hit it repeatedly, then eventually it gets upset. Yeah, and the first time. And then it oh, the state. legend of Kakariko. I yes. heard that. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I read that story when I was a child. Brutal, brutal. I think animals. I missed that. One. I wrote that actually. I heard That's it was boring. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that it was a really boring story. I heard it was clunky and didn't. Yeah, like it. didn't I, like really I don't know, make like, any I sense. I feel like you got that far. <laughs> It was much later when you you quit out of that one. I don't I don't remember. You, you Which did... one is this? Is this the one with the musical instrument? It is. No, it's not. It's no? uh it... Well, it depends on which. Wait, they all have musical instruments. And they all have one with the Ocarina of Time. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you, you got you got past. Ocarina. I rage quit that game. You got to adulthood though. I hate it. Though. I, I hate it's you. It's I, it's controversial same for me, but I I'm actually not a fan of Ocarina of Time. I played it very late. They I played, get it. I played, they I played, get I played, it. I played it for the first time when I was like 22. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The, the game is However, not. I can I have replayed Final Fantasy VII about. Okay. Like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played the remake, but Final Fantasy, because oh, I'm worried that I love the original so much that it's like, you know, one of my favorite video games ever, yep. that I'm worried that the remake will <laughs> just, that like I won't be oh. able to give the remake a chance to be good mm. because I will be judging sure. against like the nostalgia of my favorite childhood gaming experience. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because that and Ocarina of Time are like the two for me that when the I was a kid were the most important games of my... Uh, and yeah. Pokemon, obviously, but... Yeah. yeah. Pokemon is more a lifestyle than a game. <laughs> I recently started playing Zelda 2 again, and it, the, nobody has Why? any business playing it. It's nostalgic. Yeah. Well, I remember it was one of the you two liked games being frustrated and not being able to beat the game. Oh, I liked hating everything. You mm-hmm. not linked to the past. No, 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 no. no the, 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 the yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Link to the past is great. Link to the past is out. Uh, that's why I was confused at that sentence. I was yes. like, Link to the past is very good. No, <laughs> Zelda Two is Zelda, uh, my sibling Miller is. It's the flat. Such a big Zelda fan that they learned Japanese so that they could play it in the original that's, language. That's funny. No joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, and even there, like Zelda Two is miserable, and you have to use a guide. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, there's things that there's literally a quest where you have you have to get all of the magic pots, the magic upgrades, to beat the game, and they're all hidden in the world on invisible tiles. Hatred. So you literally, without so a guide, would never. You just have know to, to click. Look. Yeah. You just have to walk over it randomly. Keep breaking the game. So Darren is like, yeah, like this is, this was, these were my favorite stories. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys have joined really the, like, uh, yeah. the haphazard parade of uh, citizens of Vogler as they are, they uh, follow the mayor north. They all have makeshift um, kind of the cosplay version of armor on yeah. uh, in this world. They've all, you know, people <laughs> people go out of their way throughout the year to build elaborate knight suits for the big battle against the Astarian forces. Uh, the, you know, some of the kids are wearing uh, like armor. Snow their, suits. Yeah, armor that their parents <laughs> have shown like, them. Yeah. Yeah. They've got like padded leathers on that yeah. they can't really fully move. Um, and then kind of like clocks these like elaborate armor outfits and he's just like, I've got to go get my armor. Oh god! And so he he like just sort of like ducks underneath some legs, and he like starts sprinting oh, towards, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. towards the towards the go and um, get the shield, the armor, the armor, the shield. Mm-hmm. He, um, but he like just to get it out of the way. When he gets into his room, he grabs all of his stuff, picks up his axe, thinks of like looks at it, puts it down, runs out the door. Mm. Yeah, well, you can't use it anyway. Yeah. Um, Why would I need it? I need a bite. It's a I'll mock battle. It. There's it's nothing's a gonna happen. It's a yeah. reenactment. It's a reenactment. Nothing's gonna happen. I don't need it. We are so suspicious of this fight. <laughs> We're like, suspicious of everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's because you guys have played Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What? I've Sorry. never. <laughs> ne- I've played dra- Dragons and Dungeons. <laughs> I'm the dyslexic one. Please do not take my one thing from me. Okay? <laughs> It is the only thing that makes me interesting is that uh, I am yes. following a book that I can't read properly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like oh my God. I have a book club. I don't know why I chose this life. <laughs> I, that was all of you. Oh, Jahar Narishma. Um, Josh! Josh! God damn it. We were Anyways. doing the first book club. I was like, yeah, so Josh shows up. And people are like, who the fuck is Josh? And I like opened the book and pointed to it. And, and I was like, like Jahar, Jahar Narishma. <laughs> Oh, it's just Josh. Yeah, I don't no. understand what the problem is. Not yeah, not even, not even. Wow, really that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Um, good job. That was pretty great. Yes. So uh, yeah, you uh, you guys mill about. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, what would you guys like to do as you walk? You have about a half hour walk. Is there any? Is there anyone you'd like to talk to? Any any conversation you'd like to have amongst yourselves as you head towards this battle? You have um, for for the sake of this mock battle, uh, you do have different stats uh, with your weapons. So you do not have your weapons with you. Uh, they're left in town. No. Yeah, you can't bring like a metal sword to this. But it's like strapped to my back. Like I'm not gonna. I should just go run. The battle. No, that's all right. Uh, it's it's a it's a reenactment. Everyone, everything's gonna be safe. You you have your wooden sword with you. Okay, I I don't leave it in town. I like bring it with me and like okay. keep it within eyesight at all times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't have mine. I'm, I'm gonna like gonna meet them at the battle though, cause like I love them. Uh, all right. Uh, with the with she the, does not let go of that sword easy. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, with the wooden swords, uh, you're just gonna have like a one d four damage um, when you hit people. Um, it's not going to be like, uh, you, I, you probably don't need to write that down. It's just going to be for this one battle. Yeah, we'll yeah. We'll all remember that. Um, unless you'd like to write it down. I don't know why I'm telling you not to. Do whatever <laughs> the hell you want. It's Dungeons and Dragons. Um, <laughs> bam, 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 it's not bam. like we're going to run out of lead. Uh, <laughs> so so it'll be 1d4 plus my strength modifier, correct? Uh, with this wooden sword, no. The, the, this sword not, will like, break, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're you're not, pulling punches every You're not trying yeah. to kill people right yeah. now. You're just we're going like, a, eh. Yeah. It's more the fun of the reenactment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm just, just, just curious in case I need to hit something hard. <laughs> 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 no, these aren't real weapons. So you don't yeah. get any sort of bonuses with them. Yeah. It's essentially as strong a as stick. an unarmed strike. You yeah. might as well punch people. Okay, yeah. so we'll just call it unarmed strike then, and then. Sure. You take it. your unarmed strike damage, mm. which actually might be more than one d4. It's mm-hmm. four. It's flat. Apparently, according to mine, just as yeah, it's just strength. Well, we'll roll one d four then, and it'll be fun. <laughs> Great. I don't want to take dice rolls out of the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so uh, what are you guys doing as you guys are getting there? What kind of preparations would you like to make? What What are you thinking about? Stuff. D- Darren is with you. Uh, the mayor's there. Uh, you see the, the different people. Yama's coming. Uh, she's pulling a, a, a cart of uh, foods and drinks, uh, and her Yama. daughter's helping behind, like push it with her. I, I think I'm easing Yama's load there. Okay. I'm just carrying as much as I can, and then we're just chatting about, like, nothing. Because mm-hmm. um, she announced the competition, the fishing competition, but she wasn't in it. No, she, uh, the, the Raven, the uh, Mayor Raven uh, was, like, did all the announcements, and then was like, oh, I probably shouldn't start this. And so uh, Yama was like, oh, I'll give the, like, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, and she, you know, with an elaborate, like, ooh, the ruffles and cleavage were, like, jiggling around. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course. <laughs> Yeah, as they do. Yeah, a lot of a lot of boys in town should be going for her daughter, but they're all kind of they got eyes for Yalma. Yeah. 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 What's her daughter's name? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, it was. Didn't we do this last week? We did do this last yeah. week. Yeah. Um, Meredith. Oh, Meredith's I don't think mom. we asked her. You know. I don't think I wrote it down. I said it. Um, yeah. It was someone else's mom has got it going on, right? Mary's that was, that was mom. Darren's mom. Darren's <laughs> mom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Remember. Did I say what? Um, this town is yeah. jam-packed with milk. We'll mills. call her M. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> M's mom <laughs> got it going on. I E M C K. So oh, you okay? God. Yeah. No, you I, was, I was leaving because you started singing. M's oh, you did a whole. You did a, like a grocery run. <laughs> yeah, yeah I did, I did, I did, the show. Did you did you get the broccoli? <laughs> I got the tartar sauce. Uh, we're probably uh, yeah. So uh, what would you? Where would you guys like to? Were, were you, you're just chilling. Then no, nothing specific you guys want to do. Just gossiping yeah. with Yama, shooting the shit. Yeah. All right. Is that gonna turn on? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Oh, are we gonna have battle music for the first time? <gasps> we will. It's just that snail screaming for 18 minutes. We <laughs> 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 just have the Final Fantasy VII battle No, it's the cowboy in, in the sky <laughs> screaming <laughs> thing. I don't even know what that is called. Oh, I hate doing this. I can <laughs> never... <laughs> you guys be funny and entertaining while I try and remember how to fucking... <laughs> funny <laughs> and entertaining. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys be funny. <laughs> So I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> you can't say that to me. <laughs> Start a brawl. <gasps> oh, dear. oh, wow. Incredible. Uh, All right. Before you is uh, the high hill uh, that you guys are going to be holding. That's stunning. Uh, stunning. As you approach, Mayor Ravenhill begins uh, the, the speech. 
Um, you see uh, down the hill uh, on uh, like this way, the north side. Uh, you can see um, the Ironclad Regiment are there. They have their armor on, their green tunics. They're holding uh, wooden spears. Uh, they have like all of their kind of uh, accoutrement of the Ironclad Regiment. Their pack horses and stuff are over mm -hmm. there. They are sitting around a campfire eating, uh, and they look over, and Gregonis kind of waves, uh, and you see their, they, they start to get up and, uh, you know, uh, armor up and get ready to charge at you. Uh, and the villagers. Uh, and Mayor Raven uh, begins with um, uh, this uh, description. Uh, passing through woods and fields, Vogler's parade of militia members and reenactment spectators finally reaches High Hill. The grassy slope is spotted with trees and crumbled stone fencing. Near the base, several dozen soldiers in matching armor stand in even formation. They're getting in even formation. You know, they're not quite there yet. The contrast is striking between these mercenaries of the ironclad regiment and Vogler's militia with their mismatched armor and crooked helmets. But it does nothing to dampen the spirits of those assembled for the Kingfisher Festival's climactic reenactment. Mm. Um... Derek kind of is walking with you guys, and you he catch your attention. He's like, we usually just fight against each other, uh, but because Cudgel was in the area, that we're gonna get to fight against real soldiers this year. I, I, I I'm so excited to see this. Um, you should partake. Yeah, I know that you said that this isn't a real fight, but this is against actual soldiers. It's the best training well, I, you can get. I think that I'm going to be with Becklin. Uh, she's going to mm. be training me on how to referee in case, you know, in the future she gets pulled away for something. Uh, and okay. I need to run this next year. So I think that I'm going to stick with her. All right. Um, uh, Squire's life isn't about what I want. I get to do that when I'm a knight. <laughs> but uh, maybe soon. Uh, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> And uh, so Mayor Raven uh, crests, uh, there, there's sort of a like viewing area staged over down this way uh, to the south of the fight. Uh, and she gathers all of the villagers around uh, and she says, um, the, it is lost to time. When exactly we fought the Astarians here? It's a record that was not kept, but the story was. The Knights of Salamnia, led by Lord Vogler, the man who founded our town, chose this spot to set his final victory against those invading forces. And every year we gather. We gather to thank the kingfishers of the area for leading us to good fish. We gather to thank Lord Vogler for founding a beautiful town with so many beautiful people. And everyone's like, ah, that's us. <laughs> and we gather to remember the victory that was won here. The victory that founded this town and made this the spot that our ancestors chose to bring us together. And we live a beautiful life. We have much to be grateful for. An economy that is doing well. We've had another great year of fish. Another great year of sending our exports out to Kalaman and all the towns nearby who depend on us for food on their tables. It was a good year. We have much to be grateful for. And I hope that you all have fun today with this. I'll be watching as I always am. And I know you're going to make me proud. And uh, Becklin uh, takes the moment to step forward and is like, please remember not to hurt anyone too badly. If you are injured, just throw both hands up in the air and we will know to come to you. Uh, there is a druid with us this year. So uh, some of you might get your injuries healed rather quickly. Uh, and that is quite exciting. Uh, but uh, me, Derrett, uh, some of the other referees will get you out of the fray if anything is going wrong, um, is going too wrong. Uh, please remember that if you hear my voice magically amplified say stop, it means an immediate cessation of everything. Uh, there is no need for anyone to get hurt too bad. Um, but please have fun. <laughs> Please know that the Ironclad Regiment are trained. They can take a little bit more of a blow than you can, uh, and but uh, not too much. I understand that you're fighting real soldiers. It might seem fun to take a go at them. Please don't, uh, just as you would not like to get hurt today. They are here doing us a service and would also like to go home to their families without too many scratches. <laughs> and people kind of grumble, like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and so this is the this is the field. This is where you guys are going to start. Where would you like to arrange yourself, knowing that um, the the forces of the Gorgonus are going to come up from the Hussein? north? Yeah. 
Yeah. Which uh, which direction is the? Um, Let me. Oh, is the map up for you? Great. Which which direction from here is the uh, the inn that we're staying in the uh, the crab? That's about thirty minutes south. South. So I would be running in from the south then. I think I. I you just caught up while they were. Okay. They, they, they were not. The, uh, it wasn't like a brisk pace. Everyone is. It was more of a like. Hey, we're gonna go. Everyone's yeah, just yeah. kind of taking a leisurely yeah, hike, yeah. Up, warming yeah. up their muscles before they get into the fight ahead of them. So I think Ban would be. Um, so he'd be in the front. He's got the shield. Right. He's, he's like kind of like holding it ready. Um, he's got. He's been in his, on his mind. He's like gonna try and do his best um, to honor his. How memory. about we take a moment here to uh, you guys? You guys talk through where, where you gotta be. I'm gonna take a moment to, so that I can show the minis. I have a photo to put into the stream to show the minis to uh, our audience, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'll, when I do that, I'll re uh, reveal your minis to you. Sweet. Unfortunately, <laughs> yours isn't painted yet, but your three minis are painted. Mm -hmm. Give me one second. I think, yeah. I, I'm, although I'm not partaking, please you go. You well, are partaking, I just, I so it's more important. I was just going to say the same thing I just said, so. <laughs> uh, even though I'm not partaking, I would, it would be remiss of me if I didn't support my boys. I think that um, you should referee from... I, I, let's, let's have you on the I'll map. I'll be You'll like from the in middle. the squad. I'm like yeah. the... Yeah. Like the the referee assigned to this team. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. So if they are here um, behind this wall and if we are just start at that curve there, they mm. will have to come through this tree line giving us kind of a hot gates situation where we can Great. pick them off slower or they'll have to jump the wall which will take them time whereas if we started here they could oh. just rush us wonderful is my thoughts. i don't i don't really do like strategy so whatever I'm a fan whatever of it. You, yeah you I, think. I, I yep I that agree. works yeah perfect um you front you after maybe second line because you don't have a shield on you do you and uh, all uh, right the minis are on the uh stream so they can see them so i will now reveal them to you uh let's start with the least surprising one uh because uh these are painted by claris so she oh, has already yeah. seen her mini. she's a much better painter than i am so i, I i'm going to pass these around and you guys can take a look at them and then place them on the please be very careful be careful her sword is very fragile yes they're the the so that is, is the mini brittle. for um harvest, harvest. <laughs> That. Uh, these minis are made on our friend of the show, eldritchfoundry.com. Eldritch Foundry is an incredible site that allows you to customize and uh, make your own minis. You can then have them sent to you, or you can have STL files, uh, downloadable STL files, and resin print them yourself, which is what I did. Uh, Eldritchfoundry.com has an Eldritch oh, Unlimited oh subscription God, service where, where for a monthly so fee, rules. you yeah, can make story. and download so as many STL really files as you like. Cool. So if you have a 3D yeah, printer, Eldritch Foundry, un Eldritch Unlimited truly is the best way to make minis for your D&D game. Uh, so thank you to Eldritch. Uh, they, we uh, kind of started working with them for replay, Roleplay Relay 2, mm -hmm. uh, where they were one of the sponsors for uh, the charity stream. Uh, and now they're a friend of the show. Uh, we love them. I literally, mm -hmm. most of every mini on the field today, except some of the horses were made uh, using uh, Eldritch Foundry. Uh, and I highly recommend um, uh, checking them out in the future. Or right now, you're on the web. You, can <laughs> <laughs> you have the internet. Next up is uh, Caligero Moonfire. Moonfire, Moonfire. Blueberries, blueberries. Look at him. What do you think? That's your boy. Oh, uh, he's he fox. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's up to you. He's your character. No, he looks. He totally can. He looks no. great. Holy shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, guys. Uh, uh, do you want to pass over so you can see him? And then my finally. Boy. <laughs> my boy! My boy! So Wait, on our break, you guys can take a closer look at yeah. that. That is Ban and Leyway. Oh, the little Ban and Leyway. Look at you! Ah! Look at you! I'm very proud of that shield. Oh, you're lefty, eh? Oh my god, he's <laughs> I am so now. much hotter uh, than I am. I'm also a lefty. This is <laughs> Teller. He looks so much hotter than I pictured him. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I pictured him as kind oh. of like a loser, but he <laughs> looks like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> um, as I always do, uh, here is... So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, these are primed, but not shit. painted. These are copies of the minis for you to keep. Yeah, they turn out well. That's so really there cool. is mm -hmm. this painter is that's uh, Clarus. Oh, sure. uh, that is a cal for you. Cal for yeah, I'm very happy with the shield. No, that's really that cool. Is that looks oh. dope. Teller for uh, Robin, and then that is a ban for. There you go. Ban for oh, my <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So the white one there, oh. Robin, that is a primed version for you. For you to, to take. Be. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, so everyone has one for themselves. Oh, that's so cool. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get these minis down. Where would you guys like to be on this battle? We're going to be in that, Shit, like, that curve at the end of the... Um, <laughs> Stone wall. Well, which way are, are all of the? Where are all of the uh, villagers positioned right now? So the now? villagers are going to be down this way, facing up, and up that way, facing up. Uh, there are some going to be in this area here. Okay. Uh, but the, this is sort of your area. Uh, this cart yeah. is. Uh, there is a cart here. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And yeah, where would you guys like to be arranged? If um. By the cart. Yes. Yeah. Um, Bannon, sort of like hearing what Teller was saying. Um, what if we? Um, what if we? You know what? Actually, I'm gonna flip this. Sorry. Uh, retcon. 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 I'm gonna say uh, they're coming this way. Okay. Uh, and so the 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 event the 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 squad is the um, watchers are where I am, mm -hmm. uh, and they're gonna be coming up the hill okay. this way. Mm, okay. Great. And so there are, there are villagers over here, and there are villagers that way, and then the the their team is gonna be riding up the hill towards you guys that way. So why don't I've got, I've got the shield. Mm -hmm. So why don't I lead the first charge, like Teller was suggesting, and we'll go over the hill, and then the second charge, harvest. If you maybe you follow up with the second charge, and then if things go bad, and you can see that, then maybe come around the backside. We'll do a bit of a pincer attack. All right. Uh, you have a spear, correct? Pike. It's a stick. A stick? Really a Good. Quarter staff. <laughs> yeah. Is that. Uh, oh, I. So my apologies. You I all thought have you, sticks. Nobody yeah. has any. Like, not really going to hurt. No, it, no, but. I, I'm also not going to cast. Just it. because. Yeah, that's probably not the best. Here. Uh, that's why I was like, I should maybe referee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, those are good to go over shields. That's true. I was thinking. Well, I Fair. front up behind you. And then we have <laughs> our damage control yeah. here who. Does all the pain. Too hard to go well, you're just referee. Over your shield, right? I, you're not the same. Yeah, damage control here. Oh, yeah, I am refereeing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm assuming the referee, you would be somewhere near sorry, the middle? Sorry, sorry, kind of, the sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, was like, I was thinking, with the how many referees are there? Because I was thinking possibly like each squad has a ref. Yeah, and I was six. the ref of yeah. this squad. And then it You're was in like, the middle, and then there's going to be ones laid out um, between you. Um, Becklin is at the far end. Uh, sure. On, there's a higher hill uh, that there's like sort of a, a terraced hill to uh, off to the right that way. Mm. Uh, she's on that where she can kind of see the whole battlefield. Mm. Um, and then this is this is what is called the high hill. It has a beautiful tree on top with these broken uh, stone Fencing. I guess I'd be around here because this would be where the oh, main you have your clash. Mini, so put your mini where you go, you want him. Oh, true. I believe this, because this would be where the main clash is. Yeah. So I'll be here just to like I'm slightly outside of the fight and I can see that right. stuff as well. Absolutely. Going. Um, I guess I'll. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, my no, arms are not gonna be long. So just, yeah. I'll, I'll do most of the moving. So if you guys just put them on the TV, I'll just tell me where you guys want them. So I'd imagine Dan would be like right there. Uh, I think like, you're going to want to be a little bit further back, because uh, they're going to charge oh, okay. up the hill at you guys. I just didn't want to hope for them. Um, they're starting They're this over way. here. Yeah. So oh. they're going to come this way, and yeah. we are coming this way. OK, yeah. Yeah. Um, are we thinking, whap? Uh, whap? Yeah. Great. That's great. So like, there and there? Yeah. With maybe Bannon in the middle? We're just under the tree? Under yeah, around tree. the base of the tree. Under Love the it. Tree. All right. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. You're kind of in the middle of a tree here. Um, let's pull you back. Let, we'll we'll say that like you're anticipating them coming right there, up yeah. here. Bad yeah. Tree, and tree let's put you here. You're blocking oh, this side of the tree. Great. Oh. And you're binding. And so the majority of the people are on other sides. Um, they're, they're it's mo it's a pretty spread out. You know, people are kind of fighting one on one. The 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 human uh, the the rest of the Vogler citizens. <laughs> Some of the elves and people that you, or not elves, but some of the other um, people that you saw, mostly humans, uh, are just sort of spread out a little bit. They're not super comfortable fighting right up next to somebody. Uh, but, you know, there, there's probably like a hundred people uh, in a line, maybe like two feet uh, down either side between these two larger hills and the what is called High Hill, ironically, because it's actually the lower hill in the middle. Mm. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, you, you get up and you see the, the Gregonis and his forces kind of split up into three groups. Uh, and uh, everyone is getting ready. Is there any final preparations you guys would like to do uh, before you, before the Battle of the High Hill starts? 
No, I, I think don't so. think so. Great. Um, your, how long does your bardic inspiration last? Ten minutes. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, so I don't have that anymore. Yeah, so <laughs> bardic inspiration's that. gone. Um, all right, uh, then the Battle of High Hill begins. You see everyone in a line. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, although the event is just a reenactment, there's a tingle of excitement that fills the field. And somewhere on the line, a reenactor on your side shouts, Let's send those historian rats running! A moment later, a trumpet blast signals the start of the battle from down where Becklin is. For Istar, yells the mercenary's leader. Uh, er, sorry, it's Gorgonus. You see him and he yells, For Istar! And he runs forward with his men. The mounted soldiers uh, among him, uh, they mock Assyrian troops, assault the hill. Around you, the Vogler Marisha charges forward to meet them. Mm. I would like for you to roll a perception check for me. Absolutely. As right. we roll, do you want to put the map back up for the... Oh, yeah, let's get rid of the minis. I got you. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's all, okay. that's all. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. Is there battle music? Not yet. Uh, okay. Uh, perceptive I, only in real life, it seems. Uh, <laughs> That's roll 20. Oh, we love that. Right. Yeah, I got an 8. Okay. Uh, uh, I got a six. Uh, 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 8 as well, actually. Okay. Nice. So, that for us. you are the only one who notices the glint of sunlight off of the tips of the mounted army's weapons <gasps> as you realize that the uh, battle ahead of you has steel tipped spears running forward. And before you can say anything, you look over at Gregonis, and you see from his back, he is pulling out his double-bladed axe that he swung at Harvest. Can I immediately shout to the, the three of them near me? Yeah. Yeah. Real weapons! They've got real weapons! And that's where we're going to take our break. What? Oh, <laughs> oh right. shit. Uh, guys, we're going to take it. 10 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, uh, and then we'll be back for whatever this is going to be. You lied. This is a fight. <laughs> what? You lied to us. Liar. We aren't going to have a reenacted mock battle <laughs> oh in Dungeons and Dragons. Wait, Gregonis told you that he had questionable morals and then turned on you? I literally cannot believe I didn't put two and two together. I'm going to be honest, I thought dragons I would come him. from the tree line. Yeah. Uh, I was just like, yeah, he's just, he's fine. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a few. See you guys in a bit. Dang. Oh! All right. Wow, what a dick. What a dick. I didn't think it was a You left.
<clears throat> and we are back. Great movie. <laughs> A dinosaur story. story. We're back. Oh, uh, very good. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is <laughs> <Very good. laughs> the Battle of High Hill. Now the betrayal of High Hill, as you've learned, Gregonis. Uh, and some of the ironclad regiment have uh, the, turned on you guys. The only person who knows that is Bannon. Uh, Bannon <laughs> is uh, the, the, the only one who rolled high enough on his check to know the truth of the situation. Uh, and so he yelled that out in the moments as the battle... Uh, begins in earnest. You hear uh, the charge and then the scream of both sides. You hear the thudding of horse hooves as uh, some of the members of Gregonis' team are still on horseback, which they're not supposed to be, but again, they're also not supposed to have steel weapons. Uh, from <laughs> the, down the hill in front of you, what you see are three horse riding Woof. spearmen charging at the hill that you are holding. Eat shit. Do you want them there, or do you want... What? Do you want them there, or do you want them further back? No, they're, they're, they're there. Great. Uh, so, uh, just because of the way that Dragonlance works, a lot of the battles within Dragonlance are battles that you will partake in amidst larger conflicts. Thus, uh, the map on the screen has uh, uh, an effect around the edge of it that is called the fray. If you enter the fray, where other combat is happening. There are risks involved. I will roll things. Uh, you could uh, take damage. Uh, there are a variety of effects that can happen to you in the fray mechanically. Mm. Uh, so you understand uh, that. So as long as you stay within Very the boundaries, cool. uh, there are also, uh, the, there is a larger battle around you. Anything can come out of the fray uh, and anything can happen. So uh, enjoy that. That's really cool. I like that. Ah, it's yeah, actually, sure. It's very interesting. Yeah, I, it's a mechanic that they they came up with for this, and I love the idea of D and D within bigger battles, and mm -hmm. it's always so hard to do. I think mm -hmm. that this is much better than the like you're an arm, you're a segment of soldiers, and you can. Use, <laughs> I've never, I've never really vibed with that. It can be really tough. And you are five, <laughs> and together we are ten. I think Crown <laughs> of Candy did it the best, and even that wasn't like my favorite. Mm. So I, I would like for you all to roll initiative. No. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't, don't say it. Okay. I'll give over. Is that an eight or okay. six? Roll bad. What's the opposite oh. of eight? What's on the other side of 18? Traditionally? Two. Um, look. Oh, it is an 18. Great. Okay. That's three. Nice. Yes. Okay. What was that? Sum that we did there. No, no. Why because, did you want to know that? These, as the the meteor dice can be hard to read sometimes, so I wasn't sure if it was a sixteen or. 18. Oh yeah, these ones so are yeah, a little yeah, bit funky. Yeah, uh, all right. So twenty twenty five. Uh, yes, twenty two. Twenty two oh, for Caligero. Mm -hmm. Um, roll a roll a. Trying to think what the right check is for. Is this, this a tie break? No, no, it's a, it's a, for whether or not you are able to process and understand mm. what he is saying. Yeah. So I, you know what, uh, give me an insight check into Bannon. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> now kiss, no. <laughs> uh, that's ten. A, that's a plus three though, 13. Okay, yeah. I'm not gonna the worst. Yeah, I'm going to say that you trust him enough to, to, Get ready for your. Like, run. I hear panic in his voice. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, uh, all right, so uh, 15 to 20. I got that. I got 19. 19? Okay. Um, and then. Uh, then. 14. 14? 14. What? I hate this 14. game. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate this game, so it sucks. What did you roll? Five. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and Gabe, if he's watching. 14. 14. Gabe, if you're watching. Oh, yeah, 14. Gabe, I saw you in the chat. Hi. What's up? Oh, oh, some of your people who knew you were in the I, chat. I, 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 I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> some of your people. All right, some <laughs> of your people. Some of your people. You rolled a 14 then? 14. 14. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> the battle. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. We got a oh, good cool. battle. Cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well then. Let's settle for a second. Because as the battle begins, the soldiers charge forward, as do the Vogler militiamen on either side of you. You hear uh, them, you hear Bannon uh, tell you that uh, they have real weapons on them. 
And this gives you guys pause. You stay where you're standing at the top of the hill, but you do see on either side of you the Vogler militia who are not uh, within uh, hearing range of what Bannon has yelled at the top of this hill. They run forward. And as they run into the line of soldiers, uh, spear tips pointed down, uh, you hear the cries of anguish and pain as oh, Vogler citizens are impaled upon the spears of Holy the Ironclad Regiment. Holy shit. Uh, these three begin charging up the hill at you, uh, but before they can get to you, uh, Caligaro, Moonfire, mm-hmm. you are the first to go. Uh, you are not surprised because of Bannon's natural 20 and Great. your insight check, so you are, uh, yeah, you, you go. Actually, uh, uh, will you both give me an insight check on Bannon? I want to see if you guys roll, uh, trust him enough to not be surprised. Uh, Insight. That's a 20, not that. Yeah, you're good. 12? Yeah, you're good. Cool. Um, so I, it's your turn, Caligaro. I, I'm aware of the environment. I know that like some of us stowed weapons away and things like that. Uh, yeah, your sword is 120 feet off the map this way on the pavilion with the mayor. Um, I'm going to quickly turn to Harvest and just go like, are you going to get your sword or are you staying? She can't answer till her turn. Fuck. I can't? No, you can't, answer you, till, can. you can't answer till your turn. Oh. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can ask her that on your turn, but she can't provide you information to change your... Okay. I've, I've never like, played like that. No, no, no. I, you, <laughs> Neither have I. <laughs> if your band train, I'll allow it, but if you're going to provide information uh, that changes what you're going to do... That's fair. Then you, you can't do that um, till your turn. Then fuck it. Gut feeling, he goes, in case you need it, and he taps your shoulder, and I cast Long Strider. Oh, delicious. Adding 10 feet to your movement. Right, and it lasts. Sick. It lasts for an hour. Um, Thank you. And then I'm actually just. Is that like, what? Is that cantrip? Uh, it is a cantrip. Wow. No. No, it's no, not. No, 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 no. First, First. level. Okay. Yeah. Mark off that spell. Um, and uh, it, okay, cool. Yeah, go. It's it's from my. Initiative, is it concentration? Initiative high sorcery is not concentration. Right, it cool. is just it lasts an hour, uh, similar to whatever. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, that that stupid one that's not blessed, but it's like it. And then anyway. <laughs> Um, and no, I'm actually going to, uh, stick close-ish to Ban. I'm going to get, uh, I'm, I, we have five feet between each other, I think, right? Yeah. I'm actually going to close off that gap and get right up. Get right behind him. Right up behind him, yeah. Okay, absolutely. Mm-hmm. To there. You this, get. The, these four squares are the base of the tree. So, so they you can't, can't cross you, that way, right? Yeah, they can't Perfect. get to your left. So there's a ten feet gap between the tree and the, the wall there? Am I correct in that? Yes, there is a ten foot gap. So, and that's the only way they could get through that. Yeah. Where, where you're standing. And then cool. there's a five foot gap on the other side of the fence. Cool. Uh, it is a low fence, though. It is not very high. Yeah, horses jump up. I played enough Zelda to know um. if, you have, if you use your carrot. <laughs> uh, for those of you guys watching at home while he thinks through his turn, uh, the red ring at the bottom of the base is uh, Caligaro. The uh, green grass with the black ring at the bottom is um, Harvest. And the white ring at the bottom of the base is uh, you, uh, just so that uh, you can tell them apart. Yeah. We'll give you a colored ring at the bottom of your base when we paint your mini. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, great. Yeah, I tried to uh, make it. I'm like, can you can you tell? Yeah, you can. No, okay. That, that's that's it. I think you um, can tell them apart. That's all I got. Um, right. Except I just I'm above you a little bit, so I just kind of whisper over your shoulder like, hold strong, like you did last time, right? <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and with that, uh, is that your, your turn? That's my turn. Uh, that is going to be Bannon's turn. Um, Bannon hears that over his shoulder. He brings the green shield in front of him and sort of like um, braces his feet. And he just sort of says to his companions, stay behind me. <laughs> um, and uh, he sort of shouts out at the, the, the guy right in front of him. Okay. Like this guy the here. The north. Um, uh, he's pretty, probably like gaining, getting close, and he's just, uh, he's just gonna shout up to him. Oh. Hey, you up there! How's the weather? How about you come down here and fight me? Or are you too scared? You need to pick on little civilians in order to feel like a big man. Oh. <laughs> Is that a taunt? Yeah, that's I'm gonna try and taunt him. Okay. <laughs> The one in front of you? The one like that's like this yeah, guy. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, mm-hmm. cool. I'm sorry, but your taunt is a dad joke of how's the weather up there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'll figure out better taunt as we go. <laughs> how's the weather? Uh, <laughs> is that your turn? Uh, well, he's got to make a wisdom save. 
Okay. Uh, to or be, else be taunted and have disadvantage. It. What's the wisdom save? Fourteen. 14. Uh, he rolled. Oh, yeah. He rolled a sixteen. Fuck. Oof. Sorry. Damn it! Because my taunt wasn't good enough. I gotta get better. At it. <laughs> <laughs> get good. Uh, all right. Uh, so that, that, that is going to be the first of the three warhorse astrided uh, soldiers' turns. This guy is going to come. Yeah, he can easily make that up to uh, you, uh, and he is going to attack you with. He's going to charge up you and attack you with his spear, which is going to be a nineteen to hit. Yeah. Uh, and he is going, oh, okay. Um, that is going to be, fuck, seven points of damage. Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Whoa. Jesus Christ, okay. Uh, as he charges up the hill and, uh, you know, he doesn't want to run right through you because the wall and the tree are there, so he's being a little bit careful. He kind of, like, h- halts up his, uh, uh, pony as he gets close and he just lunges with his spear over at the side and, uh, stabs down at you and just glances off your shoulder. Fuck. I'm so sorry. I meant to say when I braced myself that I was taking the dodge action. Yeah, that's I think I actually said that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, yeah, so he just comes over and he just bops down at you. Uh, and it is now your turn. What would you like to do? I'm just going to like look at Cal and be like, uh, appreciate it, but then... Um... You're kind of stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to like gesture and be like... It's all right. It's all right. Um... And you still have it. Yes. Yeah, you can still. Oh, for your, your sure. Ability is better. I think it will definitely come in handy. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, would you consider trying to take his staff, uh, his spear, <laughs> um, as a grappling action? Yes. Okay, so it would be like opposing strengths. Um, I would say that if you wanted to, like. It would you would have to grapple him and then pull his spear away. So it'd be like two actions. Uh, yes. You couldn't like you couldn't okay. grapple the spear and yank it out of his hand in the same turn. But if you have him grappled, he would have to roll on his. You could you could essentially stop him from attacking on his turn if he fails to like get out of your grasp. Because I think it's I think it is an action to break a grapple, right? Uh, on his side. Yeah. yeah. He, has to, he has to roll to to break. Yeah. yeah. Okie dokie. Well, then... <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, because then I think once grappled, then you can choose an action, but it has to take a whole phase. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, strike when they're down, or... I will try and grapple the man on the horse. Great, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, to stop him from using his weapon, I guess. Sure, yeah. Uh, strength save or strength... Ch- oh, it doesn't matter. They're the same. Uh, it's just going to be a post strength here. 16. Uh, and he rolled a 13. So he Very nice. is... I, we're going nice. to consider him grappled. You've reached up and you've, like, grabbed his spear. Uh, he, like, as he sliced down at you, you, it catches you in the shoulder, and it, it damages your shoulder quite a bit, but you are able to grab it as he's pulling back, and you're kind of holding one of his hands on the spear, and you guys are in this tug of war now at the top of this hill on the other side of this tree. So I have a question. If I use my bonus action Misty Step, does the spear come with me? <laughs> oh, interesting. That's, 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 <laughs> That's tough. I don't know. Because he won't come with me, but the uh, like you know my clothes don't fall off. So I think that there's a chance. I'm gonna roll. Uh, here's here's how I would play it. Uh, if you want to try that, mm-hmm. I will roll for whether or not he is surprised by it. And if he is surprised, and let's go. The weapon will go with you. And if he's not surprised, he will keep his weapon, and you will miss his step away without it. So there's a chance that it will work, but it is it's not a yes or a no. Okay. So you are you are banking on whether or not you think that he, he will be surprised or not by the action of it. I mean, I definitely don't look like a caster. I think my odds that he are going he's going to be surprised yeah. at that kind of action are are probably mm-hmm. in my favor. So no, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, if you can describe a cool reason why something will happen, I'll work. I will do what I can to help you out. So uh, Harvest uh, grabs uh, the weapon and grapples with him and like. Um, Realizes that she's not getting it out of his grasp as quickly as she wanted. Um, um, so she's... 
She's just gonna be like, boo, and disappear. <laughs> All right, we're gonna roll for surprise. Roll for surprise. I'm gonna call this Toledo a Toledo surprise. <laughs> She's not charismatic. I, lo I love it. I love it. <laughs> Roll an intimidation check for me, actually. Intimidation? Yeah, we okay. We now have the DC that you have to beat for this to work. Intimidation. Rather oh, than God. me just trying to Come decide on. what the DC is, I've set the DC with the dice. You are, you... Oh, my intimidation is terrible. Wait, really? Yeah, That's it's a minus surprising. one, because I my charisma is not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Intimidation not being based on strength, but being based on charisma is one of the weirdest things about this Silly. game. Silly. Yeah. Nine minus one is eight. You uh, bamf away, and you do not take the spear with you. Where would you like to go? Fuck. Um, I'm going to uh, roll five, 10, 15, 25, 30. Um, I'm going to... I am going to... You probably let me use the same mechanic twice, but I'm going to like literally bop right beside this guy. This one down here? Yeah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, th this side of him, because I don't even know if I can actually. There? N this side. There? Like right there. Okay. Um, and I maybe hope that I can like spook the horse. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you easy? Are uh, no, I'm gonna say that because you try to action, run so. away with the spear, you don't get an action on the other side. Fair. All right, All right thank you. That's your turn. <laughs> Boo to the horse! Uh, <laughs> now it is going to be uh, these guards' turns. Um, I'm gonna actually see if he notices you do that. He does not. He doesn't even notice you appear behind him uh, as he's so focused up this hill. So these two are both going to charge. Uh, does Missy Seb make noise? I don't imagine. I think it's like a pop, like a. It, and then I, 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 well, with that perception check, he wouldn't have noticed it anyway. Okay. Uh, so this, these. I guy, think once the like El Eladrin um, season factor comes in, maybe, but with the fire, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this guy's going to charge up to here, up to you, Bannon. Uh, he is going to do the same thing that happened to uh, Harvest. He's going to swing at you with his spear. He has disadvantage because of the dodge. The dodge. Action. He mm -hmm. does. Uh, it doesn't matter. He would Ugh. have missed either way. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, and 11 doesn't hit, right? Yeah, actually, it does. <laughs> no, it <doesn't. laughs> With your fucking 20 AC. The, the video uh, from before is wrong. We haven't updated it yet. Cause yeah, because he got a shield. shield it's in the module. Uh, so, yeah, he's going to charge up and he's going to take a spear at you. You just <laughs> bop oh, it. Oh, left handed now. So I got the shield on the right. You bop it up. Uh, and then this guy is going to come charging up at you as well. And he's going to come to here. You get an you opportunity to attack. You can take an yeah. opportunity attack if you'd like. Yeah, for sure. With um, your wooden sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Punch. here's the thing is my. Stick better than my unarmed strike. No. no. <laughs> that's, just, that's just five damage yeah. always. Yeah. You and I get plus six. damage unarmed? Yeah. That's, pretty, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna um, just punch him in the kneecap. Great. Oh. As he rides by. Oh. <laughs> 11 plus six. 17. Nice. Yeah, that absolutely That's hits. Good. Great. So five bludgeoning damage. I just, boom. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, she's left handed. Amazing. He's <laughs> just like, ah, oh, my knee. Yeah. <laughs> you see, uh, the, it, it fucks him up pretty good. Uh, he, like, takes that blow and is, A, shocked by it, but B, there's a woman. You watch, <laughs> you watch as his knee kind of crumples in towards the horse a little bit. Ooh. as You just, like, pop him right in the joint. Maybe Ooh. he won't be able to hold on to the horse as well now. Maybe. Mm. Oh, I uh, feel that. That sucks. <laughs> he is going to get to the top of the hill, and he's going to take a swing at you as well. Uh, dodge action still in effect, right? Yep. So, uh, and so that, oh, yeah. <laughs> A two and a four. I think he misses. Nice. Your yeah. natural 20 AC. Uh, um, not natural 20. Your dirty 20. Your enhanced your dirty, 20. Your dirty, 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 dirty little 20. The dodge <laughs> action is... Uh, and so, yeah, that's going to be his turn. It is uh, now Teller. You are up. Uh, this guy is in your face in melee range of you. Yeah. So, you know that. Um, <laughs> Just a horse's body. <laughs> a war horse. Yeah, right yeah. up there. Oh. Okay. Um, can I do this without You hitting? are not in frame at all, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> can I do this without hitting Ban? I don't think so. Um, I am gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to hit you. I, uh, uh, so, uh, Teller who has, like, just like a normal, like, notebook mm -hmm. uh, on them that they're just using to jot things down, as soon as you know, it. They start 
uh, attacking, they drop the note. They they just like let go of it. Yeah. Uh, put their hand in their coat and they pull out this like well loved like almost grimoire tome that uh, they also let go but when they let go of that one it like opens and then the pages like and then start like floating around them slightly um uh they are going to say the church glass exploded and as it fell toward them they wish they prayed to another god and i'm gonna cast shatter as all the pages like tear into little uh pieces and then like form into this like church glass mirror that explodes out and then falls toward them so it's gonna shatter on these two and you both of you uh, all three of them need to make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, can I borrow two d8? Absolutely. Um, here. Just... What's your uh, spell save? Uh, Fourteen. Uh, yeah. So uh, one passes and one fails. Perfect. Ooh. Uh, what was it again? Fourteen. Uh, okay, I fail. Okay. Um, so fail. you take damage no matter what. It's full and it's half. Yeah. You succeeded. Uh, that is. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, please be a seven and not a one. That is a seven. That's a seven. Yeah. Fine yep. through it. Yeah. Uh, that is 17 damage halved Bloody. to eight. Amazing. So uh, <laughs> eight damage to the people who did not make it and uh, Sorry, 17 to the, to the guy who... Um, oh, Bannon takes the fucking like, looks up, <laughs> takes the shatter as he's like the the spear still in his shield, and he just gets pelted in the back by shards of glass. <laughs> <laughs> he just like God lets damn. out a yelp. Um, you do this. Stop, stop it! I'm just trying to be comfortable. Okay, now how are you playing with spells? Um, I have what a bonus mean? action spell that I could do. Are you? You can cantrip as a bonus action, but you can't level spells as bonus there you action. Go. Um, uh, just before you get into that, uh, as you shatter down upon them, you take a significant point. Uh, seventeen, you said. Seventeen. Uh, and then eight was the half. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, you see uh, this happen beautifully described, uh, and as these uh, as this shatter happens, uh, it comes down from above. Unfortunately, um, actually, give me I one. can I can hit, I think I can hit. Not you. It's too late. I think I can actually. I just didn't think of it at the time. I mean, you, yeah, so everyone Bannon, is perfectly in the way. Yeah. Um, you you do a significant amount of damage to these two. Uh, this guy is bleeding profusely from his shoulders. Uh, mm-hmm. The back of the neck of his warhorse is pretty messed up, and this guy is uh, dead. And his warhorse charges and bolts forward and begins to run away. Uh, horses don't horse... take damage in this. <laughs> horses yeah. don't take damage. No, they do. Oh! <laughs> yeah, the, the horses can be damaged. They're war horses. They're here to fight. Uh, they're and... resistant to glass. <laughs> no. And, uh, uh... Oh, actually, I should roll for the horses. Yeah, roll for horse. Roll for horse. Ooh, natural one. That's not good. Uh, and yeah, uh, actually, this guy, yeah, so this this horse bolts off uh, being significantly damaged, uh, and that uh, horse has taken a significant amount of damage as well. Mm-hmm. So uh, the, the rider in the middle there, uh, he is still up. Uh, his horse is still up, but they're, they're looking not off. looking very good uh, at all. What is the weapon that the guy dropped? Uh, a spear. A spear? Um, it's uh, just a, a normal, wooden, uh, a normal uh, metal tip spear. One down, spear for the taking. Uh, and then Terry's going to move back, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm gonna go. Great. Uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, what does a two mean? Oh, God. Uh, Clarus, I need uh, you to roll a DC 14 dexterity check. What the fuck? You're the closest one to the fray, so it makes sense for you to take this. Man, you know what? Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have used all of my uh, bardic inspirations on fishing. No, that was appropriate use of bardic inspiration. No. You, were, you were correct <laughs> no. to do that. No. Uh, so, Clarus, uh, as you stand on the edge of the fray with all of the battle and whatnot behind you, uh, suddenly uh, two uh, horses, terrified, come galloping out of the fray, uh, having been uh, the riders unseated, uh, and they come through and crash into you, knocking you prone. Woof. 
Uh, okay. And so you are now, uh, you are there, but you are now prone. You are on your back. Harvest, okay. stop horsing around. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you all made right. a joke! Uh, a time like this! <clears throat> as as you, this battle continues, uh, from the corner of your eye, you can see um, the, the, soul, the, 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 the people are fighting back as best they can. Mm-hmm. Um, Becklin, uh, off in the distance, is uh, wrestling with somebody, uh, wrestling someone down off of their horse. Uh, and uh, many of the citizens of Vogler are fleeing behind you back towards the city as quickly as they can, uh, being cut down by horses. Uh, and the unhors, uh, the unhorsed, uh, or the, uh, the the soldiers lacking in horses, rather, uh, are starting to make their way up to the line, and those fighting are, are beginning to be overwhelmed um, as uh, Gorgonus and his men uh, get closer into this battle. Uh, you can see him distantly off that way, um, and he's taking his mighty axe and cleaving through um, the citizens of Vogler. It is back to the top of the initiative. Calgaro, it is your turn. <laughs> he just kind of giggles and goes... <laughs> Horsing around. Now you're making jokes. <laughs> and I run around. He's <laughs> 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 like fucking like trapped, busiest. He's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Helps with the pain. <laughs> so I'll just dart to the right of you and go right up to the horse <clears throat> and the uh, the warrior on there. And you said they are absolutely wearing metal armor. No. Uh yes, they are. Amazing. <laughs> I would love to just be like. Oh, buddy boy. And gra- is that the one that got punched in the knee? Uh, no, no, no he's oh, dead. Damn. No, I was like, no. oh, let's double down. Does. No, I'm just going to actually, Cal uh, is like, <laughs> just for some reason humorous with the no horsing around jokes like, <laughs> and I just shock and grasp his toe. Great. With the metal move, <laughs> but it's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's at advantage because uh, he's wearing metal. Yep, it is. Oh, we love that. That's uh, a great shout. <laughs> Okay, sick. With the plus six, it's a 21 to hit. <laughs> Whoa. Can you imagine if I was like, no. no. <laughs> yeah, you miss his AC, so sorry. I'd be like, that is You're that, level is that two. you? <laughs> Fucking. I'm funny. throwing like a 25. What is this, Pathfinder with like 25 ACs? Oh my god, it. yeah, it's literally. Absolutely. It's the reason I can't like think of streaming it is because it's too much math. <sighs> oh, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Pathfinder <laughs> 2 is my fave. Max damage is eight. Uh, yeah, no, uh, you shock him, uh, and, uh, the, the horse, uh, is also, there's so much metal connection yeah. between the two of them. You shock them both, and you just, this horrifying whinny is the horse, Whoa, like, buddy. heals up and back, uh, and it falls back on him, and they tumble down the hill, uh, as they're both now dead. They nice. tumble. Well done. Um, so this guy tumbles tumble on down the harvest. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. I would <laughs> like. Oh. Um, um, as 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 the body is uh, going past me before it can go any further, um, uh, fuck! I don't have my sword. Harvest um takes uh. Is like, and bites in her hand and tears out a chunk of flesh and sprays her blood on the body that's going past her okay. to use her um, oh. uh, crimson right. Um, so when a creature uh, within thirty feet drops to zero HP, you can use a reaction to have that creature make one weapon attack against the target of your choice within its range. Um, however, if I amplify that, I can give them a movement up to half its speed and grant a plus one bonus to the attack. So because it's going past, it it can't hit that guy without me amplifying it. Correct. Wait, what? So this is you're making you're forcing. The I'm dead making body the dead body attack. attack his friend. <laughs> yeah. What? So with I my blood. I don't. I don't. They're, they're not within range. But if I amplify it, they have their movement speed up to half of their usual movement speed. And but they're a, dead. Yeah. That is the thing. They're a dead body. It's like they're when animated. a creature hits zero HP, I can literally make them attack their friends. Oh, I understand. So you're giving them movement speed. Yes. Yeah. As a reaction. She's yes. bloodbending. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Literally. That's literally. literally. So, so, then, then, so then I just yeah. roll the attack as normal then. Um, and because I amplify it, it's a plus one to the attack. But I still have to roll to hit, right? It's like yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah, uh, that's he, fucking sick. That's, I didn't uh, know that could be a thing. Amazing. That's so cool. So, so, <laughs> that's the blood curse of the the fallen puppet. The fallen puppet. Whoa. So, like, that's wild. That's level two. So, so cool. what you see is this horse rears up, uh, and it's shocked and it dies and it falls back and it falls on him. You hear this sickening crunch and. Um, you uh, are seeing this, uh, you bite your hand, and you throw your blood up the hill at him. And as the as the horse begins to like tumble back and pull it with him, the blood hits the cheek of this fallen soldier, uh, and he stands up at an awkward gait because his spine is just snapped, Ugh. and his legs shuffle over, and he takes one s- spear stab up at the back of his friend, 
Um, and he is going to attack him with a, you said a plus one? Yeah. Uh, so whatever he normally would get, I believe, with a plus one. Yeah. Unfortunately, he rolled a nine. So he Whoa. fucking clangs off his armor, and that is his death throws as he clangs off the back of the guy's armor and falls, uh, which means that his oh, spear is now on the ground. He has no regular bonus to his swing, his attack. I gave him plus three, plus oh. one, and he rolled a five, so that's a nine. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you did. Nine oh, of the dice. yeah, like, yeah. No, 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 like, he rolled a five. Well, okay. and his, the, the guard's AC is not. not yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's they're fair. In, they're, they're in armor. armor. He's dead. He's tired. Okay, well, I tried. Really, really cool. That's... I did That's not so understand cool. at all what you were saying. I was like, you can't move. He's a dead corpse. Like, I don't understand what you mean. But you're basically magicking him to... Yeah. So, so a fucking we, cool we got a front row ticket to that. To so we saw that all of this. And I'm just... There's like blood at her mouth. I thought I was like, fucking cool, like, making lightning out of my hand. But I'm just <laughs> not, like... And I, I, like, my lightning's red. Sure, that's cool. But, like... I just, my, like she my, looks like feral because uh, yeah, she's no, got my, blood, la, bloody hand, bloody mouth. Like. Jaw floor. I have nothing. I'm silent. Bannon is like shocked. <laughs> yeah. Genuinely. Yeah. Who uh, the so fuck that was are really you? Cool. That was that really, really Thanks. Cool. That was my reaction. That's dope. Actually, no, none of that happens. Because you were. We no. started a new round. Yeah. I made sure. When, when was your turn? My, huh? Did you have a reaction it before was, or after? It your was turn? last because it was the person coming to me. I yeah, took no, so the no, you act, yeah, no, no, it's no, you per turn. Your no, turn. it's a new it's turn. New it's a new round. Turn. You said I new did round. The kill. I did the no, kill. but it's your turn, not the not the like initiative turn. So you you only get one reaction between your turns. Oh, I thought it you was. Can't use it at the, and you can't use a reaction at the end of initiative and then at the beginning of initiative, right? So that oh. none of that happens. You didn't see it. Never mind. It's such a cool <laughs> beat and it didn't happen because uh, you did already use your reaction this turn. Okay. Right, crack the knee. <laughs> you don't get two reactions. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it's, I thought it was per round. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I'm. I, yeah. I don't know if it's at the round or at the characters. It's at your turn. Because otherwise, cool. you could have two reactions back to back if the yeah. initiative yeah, flips over. Yeah. Round, yeah. 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 And then, try, and honestly, trying to keep track of when initiative ends is really complicated. Mm. Cool. So it's it's you get your reaction back on your turn. I sure. think that's actually the rule. It's, well, it's about, you know, no, that's fine. That, that, I think that, that is the rule. Typically. You didn't yeah. see anything. Yeah. My hand is intact. My jaw is not on the floor. Yeah. You also have, <laughs> you're also bleeding from your shoulder, so you could just like. <laughs> My shock uh, goes like uh, this. I wrote it down, so I've just put a little bracket over it. It's like, not yet. Yeah, you can't take another reaction until the start of your next turn. No. Yeah, that's, I, I Dang. did not. I so I just want to make sure that, that yeah. I just want to make sure we start by getting that right and in session two and yeah. not, you know. No, we set the precedent. That is Wait, old, so totally fine. Wait, so if I can on your ass three times. This is the thing I want to fucking avoid. It's your bullshit, Rob. You made the rules lawyer this game harder. I hope you know that. It's your fault. I just want to do damage one turn. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, so you still have your blood curse, though, for... Yeah, yeah, so none of that happened. This fight is not yet over. Yeah. Um, all right, Did you so... take damage from your Amplify? Um, no, that's only Crimson Right. Oh, oh, right. You, I just can Amplify well, it once. I believe you still have to pay HP to Amplify. There's a cost associated but with none of it. Doing. It says if I... Uh, the only time it says I take damage is if I'm using the Crimson Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I believe. We'll look into that later. Yeah. For now, yeah. it is Bannon's turn. Okay. Um, question. Um, to pick up a spear, is that gonna, is that an action or is that a free action? Um, it's a bonus, I believe. I, I, I'm gonna say that it's a bonus action if right. it's just on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Bannon, sort of like, you're not pulling it out of anything. You're just picking yeah. it up. Bannon, kind of like feeling that glass in his shoulder, sort of like hmm. it's in his shield arm. Uh, but he's he's holding firm. He's still still there. It's just there's a lot of pain for him yeah. to move. But the adrenaline's sort of pumping through. So he like he sees this horse sort of like go down in front of him uh, as a result of the shocking grasp, and um, he reaches down and he picks up that spear and he turns his head and looks over at the other guy. And I'm gonna run around the tree okay. and Ben's gonna basically attempt to like jump and thrust the steep spear into his back. I'm gonna we roll do have for to that. Jump. You are quite small. Uh, so let's begin to make an attack. Yeah, make an attack with the spear. Uh, the spear is, uh, just so you know, the spear is... Uh, are you, you, you're you using it one-handed, so it's 1d6 plus 1 damage. Okay. Um, what did you roll? Uh, that's a 10, so it's 15 to hit. You just miss. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, please, the mics. Careful. Um, um, yeah, yeah, you just miss. So I just miss and sort of fall back and then... Yeah, uh, it, like, it like clangs off of the, like, uh, the metal on his, uh... Uh, pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not greaves. Greaves are lower. What's what's the thigh part called? 
Whatever. Not greaves, it's greaves. No, the greaves are on the calf, aren't they? Oh, thigh, I don't know. I don't know yeah. Anyway, the thigh has yeah. is covered in metal because he's in armor, and uh, it just you just watch your spear, you jump up and clangs off. The Ooh. angle just wasn't great. Yeah. Um, Van sort of like falls down to the ground and sort of like turns and just like stands firm behind him. Um, right. That's my turn. Kill! Uh, that is going to be his turn. Uh, he feels you, um, he feels you do that, uh, and so he is going to, uh, 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 whip the reins of his horse, uh, and his horse is going to rear back, and he's going to kick back at you behind him. Oh, oh I knew the war horse kick was coming. Watch that back kick. Mm. I'm watching. Uh, that is going to be a, uh, 24 to hit. That'll hit. <gasps> That's a war That'll horse. Hit. Wow. Uh, Silver Mars! Oh shit. Can you still Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, roll yeah. a disadvantage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Silver barbs is something you can see. The I, tree is in the way. The, no, it, look look at the trunk. No, look at the little foliage is not in the way. Yeah, no, no, but, you but, said the trunk was those I said, four. I said it was these four squares. Yeah, I can see this. I can I can see. You can see man and you can see man you cannot see the horse. <laughs> You're talking about a 20 foot trunk. <laughs> It's a big fucking tree. <laughs> it's a historic tree. Never mind. <laughs> you save your spell. You save your spell. I want to save my friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much that does. Uh, that is going to be nine points of bludgeoning Holy damage. Holy shit! Oh, and these two hooves oh, wow. just come back and kick you in the chest. Wow. Um, I need you to uh, roll a <laughs> strength saving throw for me. Yeah, you're going to be getting fucking thrown, bud. Thirteen. Uh, 13, um, you, you just fail. Uh, and so you are going no. to fall back five feet and you are knocked prone. Oh Bannon my god. Um, Bannon, uh, you just see Bannon fall back, blood, like, coming out of his mouth. He does not look fucking good. Yeah. Uh, it's oh. alright, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> you are actually also still prone. The, uh, the piece of glass flies out of his, his shoulder <laughs> as he it. falls back, and he just starts gushing blood out of his, mm. out of his, uh, sort of oh, neck there. Oh, boy. Uh, and Jesus. so with, uh, this guy's turn, he is going to then canter his horse around to here by this log, uh, and he's gonna hold there. That is going to be... Um, Fuck. Also, you were right, the Amplify. I do need to add the... So, thank you. Mm -hmm. Only know that because I've done yeah, it yeah. plenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, that is then going to be... Let the hair be best. Like no one ever was. Uh, that is Hardest Turn. It is, okay. Um, it is half or full movement to stand up? Half movement. Oh, great. Okay. Um... Well, I'll stand up. And with long strider, that's <laughs> a little better. Oh yeah, I still have long strider. You should you have do. four uh, forty feet of movement right now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, so I still 20. have twenty. Yeah. So fine, twenty. Okay, I still can't. That's fine. There um, is a spear on the ground right here, twenty feet away from you. So if you'd like to go grab a spear, you can. Does a spear have the thrown property? It's so mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. I know a javelin does, but a spear does not. Okay. You can throw it. Though. You can throw it, but it doesn't have like javelins have like a a, a, a thrown. You would be basically throwing it without proficiency. Cause I don't think you're proficient in on our in like improvised weaponry, right? I am proficient in martial and simple weapons. Yeah, I think that if you're gonna throw something that doesn't have a throwing property, it is at disadvantage. It would be disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cause you're also not like you're not a spears woman. You know? No, 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 for sure, for sure. <sighs> so it's, it's it's up to you. You can absolutely throw a spear, but you also then would not. You don't have a weapon right now. I have a wooden sword. That does less damage than your hands. Than my hands. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I throw the sword on the ground. Great. <laughs> Fuck <Fuckers>. this. <laughs> <laughs> I also and she's like. <laughs> no, 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 no. You realize you realize that you punched with your hand and you didn't need it, and you're like, oh, yeah. You punched it, and the sword just breaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so spears, spears, spears do have thrown. Oh, wait, okay. Uh, sorry, thrown no, thrown the, the one that this guard has doesn't have a. Oh my god, it does. I just can't read. Twenty. No, you're right. <laughs> no, he's right. I'm an idiot. He's right here. <laughs> this is why we check it's, things, it's in the, and it's, it's in the fun. language that I have pulled up for this exact encounter. Um, so yeah, you have to twenty to sixty. Uh, you throw at disadvantage up to sixty feet. You can throw at normally at twenty. Okay. Well, then I'm uh, Harvest is gonna go grab that spear. Right. So I, my arms are fucking short. One, two, three, four. So you're now standing there over Bands' uh, prone body. 
<laughs> the light is leaving his eyes. Jesus oh Christ. He's not making death saves, but he's like a bit out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like not all right. Um, oh, so that would be though. five, ten, fifty. That's twenty feet. Sorry, it's 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 for, to throw. I mean, you know, that is five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30 feet to the horse. So you'd be you rolling with disadvantage, but you can do it. Did you, did you not? You know what? I'll pick up the spear that was beside me before the. It, that the, one didn't. Oh, there was wait. one. Wait, where no, the no, no, horse no, no, ran no, away. No, because this horse never booped over there. So this yeah. is actually still a spear. No, there, the spear came to you yes. because your blood malady never happened. Yes. Yeah, so actually, Sorry you just about pick that. up the spear. Rewind. And you, four, and you have 20 feet of movement. Oh, wonderful. Okay, then I'm going to move in uh, forward in a diagonal so that I'm in between Bannon and the horse, um, but within one, 20 feet. Two, three, four to there. Yeah, because that's 5, 10, 15. Great. Um, so, can you pull up the spear again? I have it. Oh, you have it. Oh, of course, you have it. Um, you just have a plus three to hit. A uh, plus three is. No, they would have a plus three. If I'm proficient in it, is a spear strength or is it uh, dexterity? Throw, I believe. Because I would add my bonuses. I believe thrown is strength. So yeah. you would get a plus six altogether, but I yeah. am going to. Yeah, yeah, that's what you Great. So. <sighs> Yeah, I think it's just the same as an attack roll. It just doesn't count as melee. Uh, so it's the same rules. Mm -hmm. 19 plus 6. Yeah, you hit. We love okay. that. What Good is job. the uh, damage that I get to roll for that? Uh, you roll 1d6 plus 1. Well, 1d6 plus 3. Sorry, 1d6, yeah, yeah. Plus, your plus 3. That's a 6, yeah. I can. Uh, 5 plus 3. Nice. nice. That's really nice. good. All right, yeah. So uh, this guard uh, kicks Bannon and then kind of runs away. Uh, from him only for you to like charge over, reach down, pick up the spear, or maybe pick up the spear, charge down, and as you crest in front of Bannon, you whip the spear oh. around the tree, <laughs> and it flies back and catches in between the shoulder blades. Nice. Uh, and it doesn't dig all the way in because of his armor, mm -hmm. um, but uh, he's pretty fucked up. Uh, you do I love damage. that. Hell yeah, that's really good. Uh, and then that is going to be Teller's turn. Now. Uh, if I were to cast a cantrip that costs an action, can I then cost a bonus action spell? Uh, level spell, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, In my rules, I don't know. That's Yeah, it's one per turn bonus. Some people don't allow two spells. In a, you know, some people won't even allow you to do a cantrip if you do a level, level spell. I, think I like, I, I, yeah. I think, I think yeah, that rolling yeah, Different people have different rules. I just, yeah. I, I'm down for whatever version of it you want to do, as mm -hmm. long as only one level spell. Yeah. Those who um, can cast a reaction as a level spell. Mm -hmm. yes. True, yeah. yes. Hmm. How, how, if, if you if have war, how's he, how's he looking? Yeah. He's fucked. He's like, he like, is like, uh, he's trying to like hold his horse with his legs because his upper body is like kind of spasming from where getting just like cracked Love right that. on the spine. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, fuck it. Um, Grabbing uh, another page that's floating around them and then like uh, tearing it up into a ball uh, says the dragon doesn't need its full breath to kill you whelp and then let's go and then the the, the paper turns into a small dragon that shoots this tiny uh, firebolt out. Yeah. Uh, fireworks, Gandalf! Yeah. Fireworks! <laughs> Add that to the Lord of the Rings tally. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we just need a counter on screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a that's a slutty little twenty. Slutty <laughs> little twenty, absolutely. Yes. Um, right What's this spell called? This is firebolt. Oh, okay. it's that's just a counter. flavor. I was like, Dr my Ignis. Yeah, it's a Ignis. Oh, it's ten. Ten damage. Yeah, he, he he's Hell like yeah. spasming forward from getting cracked, and then he just takes the like fireball. His helmet covers his full face, and you just see this fire uh, creep up into the front of his helmet and up into his face as you hear this like very like loud kind of uh, as he dies and falls off the back of his horse, uh, and his that. horse uh, just kind of like whinnies, uh, and it's still there. Uh, his horse doesn't know what to do. It's kind of like just standing <gasps> here. Um, oh, this changes my whole plan. I was go I was going to uh, get yeah. Bannon up, but imagine if I had a horse instead. Uh, <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to go to here at the back of the horse. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to... Oh, beans, where is it? There we go. Um, whew. 
just as the hungry sailor looked on the horizon and his hunger was no more, I wish the same for, for you and your pain, my friend. And then I'm going to cast, I'm going to upcast uh, healing word to second level right. uh, on you, which is yeah. oh, uh, six plus four, ten. ten, ten healing to you. Amazing. Um, and that's all my second levels, so uh, the I'm world, becoming a little less useful. But um, <laughs> well, you did use all of your bardic inspirations. <laughs> oh, I'm fishing. Uh, Worth it. Worth <laughs> it. I mean, we love we love not metagaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I can't do anything else. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> Okay, I, I do want to make sure the horse doesn't run away, though. Because although I don't think Teller wants to get on it, um, there is people with spears who, riding on the backs of horses, would probably be very good. So I'm going to try to make sure this horse is, like, calm. I'm going to say that you've you've used your action and your bonus action, so you don't have any... Um... Way to do it. It's yeah. just... You can tell that's what Teller's going to do. Sure. Like, tell, Teller casts the healing word with his hand on the, like, on the back sure. of the horse. Um, that is that is me, though. That's me. Roll an animal handling check for me. Oh, I'd love to do that. Um, Just to see what happens. Teller kicks you in the face. <laughs> um, I, I love Teller uh, 17. Amazing. Okay, I was going to have him kick you in the face because you <laughs> threw a fireball at the person at on it. him <laughs> and then ran behind him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, with a 17, you, your hand on his ass is so comforting. Uh, <laughs> and I think that it like feels that it like here's the healing word and it's not healed by it. But the horse is like, oh, that's good. That's like it, that's oh. like inherent goodness. I'm not going to kick this guy. <laughs> um, it passes the vibe check. Uh, so we are going to pass to uh, the end of initiative, which means it's time for a lair action. Fuck. Uh, that is a Man, one. I, I love that there is me. nothing on the board, but we're still in combat. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of combat going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a wagon. Ooh, okay. Uh, so we're going to go one, <laughs> two, three, four. We're going to roll to see who this hits. Who dies? That's exciting. This is a four. So this is coming. Teller, um, a volley of arrows falls on a random oh. player character's what position. What That character and each character within 10 feet of them must succeed a DC the 12 dexterity saving throw. Best to be me, though. Yeah, but the horror. The ho- no, that the is horse. unfortunate for the horse. The horse passes. Great. So the horse, oh. the horse takes no damage. The horse like. No. What'd you take? Uh, I got a six. All right. Uh, you are going to take six. Wow, I rolled a six on a d6. I'm so sorry. Six <laughs> piercing damage as you throw this healing bolt, and then this arrow just comes through and just grazes along the back of your neck and like slices Woof. open the back of your neck and shoulder. Yep. Uh, that is going to come back around to uh, the top of the turn, uh, and you yes. have seen. Cal, I don't believe Cal went in that round. I am top of turn. He's oh, the eating edition. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed yeah, the guy with the shotgun. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have uh, yet to the last round. You saw uh, Gar- Gra- 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 uh, uh Yeah, prick. Coming. Uh, he was fighting over here. Uh, he enters this battle. Thank God. Oh, fuck this fucker. Uh, this guy comes running this way. Woof. Um, <laughs> He does have orange mutton chops. He's got a fucking chops. buster sword on his back? No, it's a shield. No, he's got a From shield. this angle. <laughs> uh, and he has his regiment, his guards with him. Damn it, if I still had a shatter. God, good lord. Uh, and they're going to come running up this way. Uh, and as Gregonis enters the battlefield, you hear him, uh, and he kind of points at you and is like... <laughs> You should have joined us, <laughs> but it's going to be fun for a rematch. That was the worst date I'd ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious mockery. <Okay. laughs> he, he looks like visibly confused. <laughs> Roll for confusion. <laughs> okay, uh, give me one second to just fix the, uh, to just add this initiative here. Does anyone know what the bonuses to being m- mounted are? Are there any? You, you look really cool. Okay. Yeah, it's like your movement speed goes ma- crazy. Um, but there's no, unless you have a feat that the says so, that, I think so, there's no yeah, actual yeah, bonuses. Yeah, okay, okay. Aside from the fact that you can like go in, hit, and then leave. It is, um, mm. in my opinion, not good. You, you are correct. It's, I, I yeah. don't, I don't, in my opinion, the, the rules for how fighting on horseback work are... Uh, they, they they don't really make it worthwhile to be on a horse at all and so they're just it's one of those things where it's like unfortunate because you, so you have to you have to use your action to command your horse to do anything so a war horse which should be able to attack in on its turn or on your initiative should have a separate action from you but within Dungeons and Dragons it doesn't mm. a horse is just a thing that you're on and it's like and it can't it take damage for you uh, uh, 
I think with mountain combatant you can do that, but um, yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's so, not. There's not a lot. Not good. And being on horseback just doesn't really mean much. It's why like the horse. It was either the horse or the spear, but not both. Yeah, yeah. It's arguably better for us to as spellcasters because yeah. we can just kind of dance around the battlefield yeah, a little yeah. better. Mm-hmm. What if they're on horseback? But I think that then if it's the fifth day. Oh my god. <laughs> I do think it's kind of broken yeah. if it has a separate action from you because you could disengage every single turn. Hmm. You could basically like disengage with your horse every turn and be able to run away every turn without yeah. taking any. Uh, I guess that's why I never see D&D games where they're like, we gotta get horses. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what they I mean? Yeah. Always, Otherwise, they'd be a horse horses commodity. for transport, but no one ever uses them in combat. Cause Interesting. There's, there's not really. There's just, it's tough. There's not really a reason to. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame. There's a. Is there um, a trample mechanic? Sorry. Can, can yeah, there is a trample mechanic. Okay. Mm. Can you pull it? There's a there's a there's a, a fighter class which oh, is called Lancer mm-hmm. and I think it's like it sounds like it should be on the back of the horse and has very slight back of the horse is cool mechanics. It is way better if you're just on the ground with no horse. Wow. <laughs> it's wild. That's sad. It's like such a good class if you mm-hmm. don't have a horse, even though its naming convention is uh, have a horse. I wonder if there is like someone I'm sure someone has probably like homebrewed a class. That so, is like you know a mounted yeah. combatant. But that, but then again, like that's tough for Dungeons and Dragons because how much open field combat are you really in yeah, in a true. game that is about dungeons? Yep, yeah, yeah that's so and fair. And dragon keeps, you know what I mean? It's, it's not exactly like. <laughs> also, dragons like can't level up, so they they're, dragons they're not... or horses. horses. Sorry, sorry, horses can't level up. So horses beyond a certain level aren't very helpful because they die in one hit by almost anything you're fighting past like yeah. level ten. It's a really. Uh, frustrating thing about Beastmaster Rangers yes. as well, mm. whereas you, the, they just kind of, after level five, your beast is useless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, it's such a shame. It's, it's a fun such early a cool game mechanic idea. that like, yeah. falls off. Yeah, Rangers are kind of underserved. <laughs> anyway, uh, despite Gorgonus entering the field uh, he, it, and uh, having so a threatening thing towards you, challenge. the closest person who's standing up to him, um, it is Caligero's turn, so... Uh-oh. No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure you can just hey, you can uh, leave. run. No, like, hey, no, no, oh, no, no, You no. can flee. <laughs> no, we can't. Um, I don't recommend it. Yeah, no, no, bad idea. He's what? <laughs> uh, five, I actually, ten, I'll tell you what. 15, yeah. 20, 25, 30. I don't know if it's worth. 25, 40-ish feet from me. Mm-hmm. I can, like, give myself extra damage on a weapon, but I have to give myself... Damage and then like, mm-hmm. Yeah, he's 50 feet. Yeah. Well, I got, I got, um, I got some I'm really proud of his mutton chops. Okay. He looks great. <laughs> he's not done. Um, I, I only got to paint him a little bit, but I wanted a little bit of color on him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be there. <clears throat> run Is forward once past for the fight. Bannon yeah, and lasts. go 30 I'm feet totally forward just sure as an impulse. I'm like, I gotta buy them time. Yeah. Okay. And I will, he just I will runs up towards up that them. <laughs> <Right? laughs> so Caligero goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, like there? Oh, or like cool. there? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you want to be? Uh, I want to be, be I want to, in a 15 foot cone, I want to be able to hit Gregonis. Ooh, okay, yeah. Um, Ooh, yeah, I think you're going to have to go there. Yep, that's fine. Nice. I, I, I can hit him and one person in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna. This is just gonna be a full flat fucking attempt. Okay. Yep. Um, I love to... when sorcerers run in front of the people with high. I love it. Yeah. I gotta try. I have to try it. Do I it. Yeah, it. Go for it. You got 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 it. Um, You're, you, how much health do you have, Banner? Currently eleven. Great. You had one health, and then I healed you one. I feel less. I feel. I was like, this dang. Year, I wish I said I shatter. Really I feel less hard. bad about it now. I was looking at this fight. I was like, do I need to give these guys more health? It seems like they're going to die really fast. And I was like, I don't know that I do. No. Yeah. <laughs> My players don't have weapons. Sorry, you still don't have a weapon. I'm gonna. You have a spear. Mm. I'm gonna roll three d10 twice. Do you know where I'm going with this? No, I don't. What are you casting? Color spray. Oh, Ooh, yeah, okay. nice. That's uh, six. No, this is gonna. This is not. This is not gonna work out. Uh, it might actually. Uh, 14, 20, No. Uh, do any of them have twenty or less health? Yes. Uh, great. Those people, um, for a moment, look up to this like dainty sorcerer that does not look as buff as his friends. <laughs> bolt up to them, mutter like shit, I gotta buy time under his breath, and then as he looks like he's aiming the staff, he actually changes direction and from all of his fingers, bright colors and lights Great. spray out and blind whoever has that health. Uh, yeah, the guy to the right, right okay. the guy 10 feet from you, is, is considered blinded. Great, but nothing to Gregonis, obviously. 
No, Gorgonus has more than 20 health. Yeah, no mm-hmm, shit. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. That's fine. One person is blinded. It's more than 20 um, health. That's, I, that's good. That's and not I bad. used my movement, so that is my turn. Absolutely. <laughs> that's alright. That's not a. That's, don't think badly of that. That's very good. Uh, no. Great. Uh, that is now going to be Bannon's turn. Okay, so Bannon, like with that, fucking stands up uh, and sort of like. Immediately, kind of like like once the healing word hits him, he kind of like comes back to the battle. Um, yeah, and he sees Gregonis and he runs up next to. Um, um, I don't know that you're gonna have enough movement. Uh, you're 15, yeah. so you yeah. are going to get up there, and I'm gonna go right next to one, two, three, the next blind to uh, blind between like between yeah, wrap back one, I think. There. Yeah, um, and I'm gonna look right at Gregonis. Okay, and Bannon just shouts, so. You lose to my friend Harvest, and you come armed to a battle against villagers. Sounds like you're looking for an easy fight. What easier fight than me? Uh, and we're gonna try and taunt again. Let's right? do it. <laughs> Damn it. This guy's my hero, <laughs> man. The 14. He seems wise. Uh... Oh, no, that's a 30. Yeah, he rolled a 12. Yes! 13? <laughs> 13 minus 1. Okay, so as that he, happens, you finally taunted somebody. Yeah, as, as that happens, like Bannon says this with such gusto and strength and courage mm-hmm. to like stand up and do that. Bloody um, courage. That from underneath his 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 like armor, a faint white glow starts to sort of like emanate out <sighs> um, from something that's around his neck. Absolutely. Um, and his wounds that have already sort of started to seal from the healing word. Close up even more mm-hmm. as he spits blood out after the uh, after the uh, saying that to to uh, Gregory. Um, <laughs> Gregory and Gregory. I use all of my lay of hands pool it's to actually Gregor heal Clegane. an additional ten. Let's go. Hey, okay. uh, nice. Bannon does not notice this glowing. I'm just playing. He's kind of just staring yeah. down uh, Gregonus. Cool. I love that. So you're at twenty one now. I'm at twenty one. What's your max HP? 27. Oh, wow, yeah. That's uh, okay. good. Damn. Well, yeah. Nice one. He's a tanky boy. I do most For a level two. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the tank. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is now the horse's turn. Uh, and it kind of like whinnies around and looks at you and uh, is just like very like um, curious. Um, Dad? Do, 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 do. It does, uh, it, it's not going to do anything else. Uh, it just is looking at you as if it uh, uh, is actually, like curious what you do, wanted do, do. to do. <laughs> With a 17, it, it, it's like well, I don't have a. There, there's the, the rider's like dead on the ground. There's like a spear at your feet, mm. uh, and there's just this horse kind of like looking at you, um, and that's gonna be its turn. <laughs> uh, one, the other side of the map. Yeah, it's kind of like. <laughs> uh, nothing horses, to see here. Horses are so like that, though. Yeah. They just will like walk up to you and just stare at you, and then they just won't do anything, and you're the like. Long eye contact. If and you yeah. walk away, and they'll just kind of like follow you around and like. Yeah. Anyway, um, just put its lead down, and it's like uh, this is where I stay. Yeah. <laughs> well, its lead is still on the back, so it doesn't even know. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, Gregonis is going to go um, next in initiative, uh, and he is just going to kind of chuckle um, at you, um, but uh, he uh, does not care about you at all. Uh, and so he just kind of goes, <laughs> and he's going to pull a javelin off of the back, off of his back, and he's going to toss a javelin at you. Well, we'll have disadvantage on that because yeah. he's taunted. Can I grab it? <laughs> I'm like, oh what do God. I roll do you to have a, Do you have gloves of missile serine or? No, 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 so no. 20 no. Oh, okay. Can you I forgot that there was a mechanic in D&D. There is a mechanic for it, so I can't, like, that. you know what I mean? Totally, totally. I, I feel like if you take away from, like, something that a, an item can do, what's the point of that item? 100%. Thing? Uh, oh my god, uh, he rolls a 10 to hit. Nope. Yeah, so he just like launches this javelin at you. And I'm like... Uh, and you just like watch as it like sails past you and like in the tree beside you. Um, <laughs> That's good. Uh, okay. And so he's like, fuck. Uh, or, Come on, fuck. you can do better than that. <laughs> now he feels taunted. Um, <laughs> and uh, he is going to not move. He's going to stay where he is and kind of see what his men are going to do. That is going to be your turn. Oh, you need all those people to back you up just to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Okay, um, well. <sighs> One, two, three, four. Oh, and I'm still long stridered. 
so mm -hmm. I can get there for sure. Because the guy is blind there, he can't opportunity attack, right? Uh, no. Yeah, right, I can okay. walk past him. You also don't need to. If you're not going up to him, you don't need to even get in his melee range. If I'm not going... If you're not going up to him, you can just walk straight to Gorgonus if that's what you're thinking. You don't have a weapon right now. Yeah, I was going to just try, take the could, javelin yeah. out of the tree. Um, um, yeah, we take a bonus action. Oh. Well, then I'm just going to pick up the spear that was on the ground beside Bannon. There's no spear on the ground beside Bannon. Bannon but, had a spear. Oh, I thought there was... One by me that I picked up, there was one by Bannon. No, the one, and that, there was, was the one. one that was by you was the one that was by Bannon when you were corpse pushing, but the corpse push didn't happen, so the spear didn't go over there, the spear rolled to you. So, so there's, there's so no there spear are, on the ground, there's there only are, a javelin beside also, you. Mm, no. And it would take a bonus action to take out. Yeah, you would have to like pull it out. It's like stuck yeah. in the tree, so you'd have, to, you'd have to take it out of the tree. Okay. But you, you would still have 30 feet of movement. Like, if you wanted to take it out of the tree, walk up to him and stab him with it, you would have enough movement to do that. Yeah, no, that's not. I, um... Did he miss? Yeah. He missed, yeah. yeah. So, so there was just like... Are there <laughs> two spears next to me? Because he was... The guy was hit by one and he was holding one. Um... There's one in his back. And then he was holding one from you throwing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's, so there's, there's two spears, two spears, next spears on the ground. One of them is in the back of the corpse, and, and the other is on the ground next to you. Yeah. So there are two spears over. So if I were to walk there, that's 10 feet of movement to grab a spear. And then I would still um, have my normal 30 feet, right? One, two. Yeah, you could grab a spear from here. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to. But I think I said that it was a bonus action to pick it up off the ground, right? No. Didn't I make that in that first time? It was for yeah. It was for a bonus me. Action. It yeah. wasn't, but no. I said that it was a bonus action to pick up the spear off the ground. Yeah. Oh. You, you did say that. Yes. That's. Oh, I guess I just didn't try to use a bonus action. No, no, you didn't. You didn't do that. It was Bannon used a bonus action to pick up a spear. Okay. Um. If because I have a proficiency with martial weapons, uh, can you just tell me what is better, the spear or the javelin, in terms of a weapon? The spear, the spear is, is much better, but yeah. you can't throw it as far. The spear is better, but I can't throw it as far. So, um, okay. uh, the the javelin. So, so basically, the javelin is going to be. Um, the javelin is. Well, actually, no. Oh. No, the the javelin is significantly better. Sick. Yeah, the javelin is two d six. Nice. Plus your thing. Yeah. Uh, plus your oh, wow. bonus, and the spear is one d six or one d eight if you're using it two handed. Great. Oh, then sure. I'm not gonna walk over. I'm gonna. Can I do two bonus actions instead of an action? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Always. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure. Um, so I'm going yeah, I, to. Yeah, I, I don't. I I know Baldur's Gate three makes you separate them, but uh, I think a bonus action can always be an action. Yeah, because it takes the same amount of time. Yeah. Um, it takes less time technically. Mm. Great. So you can make I'm. The argument that you could do three bonus actions in a turn, but it doesn't matter. What? Um, I'm going to uh, <laughs> pull the javelin uh, out. Uh, yeah, Harvest is first going me. to yes, pull the javelin out. Not twenty. <laughs> oh, yeah. let's get it, hero! Oh. Come on, you, man. You pull it. You you don't even like notice that you pulled it out. Um, you just kind of like touch it, and it just feels like it just is like. Smooth it just slides out. There's yeah. no effort. I'm locked eye contact with Gregonis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, uh, so I like slowly like pull the javelin out okay. of the tree and without breaking eye contact um, she takes uh, some of the blood from where the, her shoulder wherever she got hit um, and she's going to just like caress it onto the tip of the javelin okay. <laughs> and uh, that's going to be my crimson right which imbues a, a weapon with an extra 1d4 damage of your chosen type which will be fire in okay. case that matters to you um, I have to give myself 1d4 damage okay. to do so is that a bonus action? it is a bonus action that's okay. why I asked if I could do two bonus actions okay. um, three damage to myself okay um, and so okay um, and she's just going to, um, uh, uh, walk, uh, uh, 10 feet back in front of the tree, um, and just be like, come and fight me, you coward. You have, uh, 20 more feet of movement if you'd like to use it. Yes, but I can't attack and then they can get me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Um, 
Cool. Then that is going to be your turn. Uh, the first of um, the uh, color spike blind blindness. Is there a save for that? I think it was just the health, but let me. No, but like, when does it go away? How long are they? I guess. Great them. question. Um, <laughs> starting with the lose health, uh, they're blinded until the start of my next turn. Oh, just sorry, until, until the end of my next turn. Yeah. yeah that's nice. Um, all right. Yeah. So uh, that guy is blind. I think that he is just going to um, like hold up his shield and like kind of like. <laughs> yeah, he's just, kind of like trying, like, he's just kind of like looking around over his shield with his spear, yeah. just trying to like defend himself from the direction he knows you guys were in. Great. Uh, that is going to be his turn. Uh, this motherfucker right here is going to this one, two, three, <laughs> four. Yeah, he's going to come up to you there, uh, and he is going to roll a spear attack at you. Mm-hmm. Um, that is a four plus. What is the guard okay, spear so bonus? Okay. Uh, that's a four plus three. That's a no. So he rolls a seven. He misses. Interesting. Oh, 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 it's fine. Like, um, it's minus oh, one d four. That just can't. Oh. That means I can't. And he just is like for Grogonis. So I can do the heal. Um, or I do this. So then, uh, tell her so it is now your turn. Yeah. I mean, I look hey, fine. You I look fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, all right then. <clears throat> yeah, I, don't, uh, I, I look a little, you know, I definitely took like a hit, but I don't look like I am dying in this moment. Yeah, in this <laughs> moment, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. Okay. yeah. Not um, dead. Not dead. Or session zero. All right, I am gonna... <laughs> Not calling anyone a commie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah, god. I don't... That was a great, that was a great moment. Uh, mm. Can I go... <laughs> Here, please. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to use um, like an extra five feet of movement to get over the fence. That's that's fine. To if, here? if I'm yeah, if I can still go there with absolutely my one thirty. Um, uh, all right. Um, surprising to me, my friend, that. Even though we won the previous battle against you and your friends have not fared very well, that you still decide to fight us. And I'm going to cast a Bane on Oof. the man and the two guys who are attacking our pals here. So these three. The blind guy, the, the one uh, next to Cal and Gorgonis. Yeah. So right. they all get Baned. Uh, what's the save for that? Uh, it is Charisma 14. Okay, Gorgonis. Uh... Very charismatic. I would be shocked. <laughs> no, uh, Gregonis got 13. It was, it was at 14. <gasps> yes. Gregonis failed. Great. Nice. Uh, blind guard failed. Nice. Come on. And uh, the other guard is also a failure. Nice. So failed. Well done. What? Uh, Love that's it. just disadvantage. So they get a no, minus, minus four. They get a minus D4. Yeah. Um, every attack or saving throw. As long as I'm concentrating on it. Right. Um, nice. Amazing. So as long as I'm staying back, they should they mm-hmm. should be missing slightly more. Anti bless. Uh, yeah. Anti bless. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anti bless. <laughs> no bless. Any unused spell in Baldur's Gate three. Bless? Um, no. Oh, bang. Bang. People, use it. People always yeah. go for bless. Yeah. Yeah. Bang. And like, <laughs> yeah. doing more damage is great, and but hitting them up is bad, but not taking damage is better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do, 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 do. That is truly, that's a dang shame. Uh, would you mind if we rewound slightly and I use my bonus action to pick up one of the spears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say that you have one of the spears. You grabbed it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, I mean, technically, Teller can use it. It's just not their forte and is more like. I spear, think everyone can spear, technically spear, use anyone? a spear, right? Uh, wizards and stuff can't really because it's. Uh, is it a simple or is it a martial weapon? I don't know. It's I a simple. It's, simple, it's a simple. Yeah. yeah. I think that everyone can use a spear. I think that's why it's in the guard stat block. Is simple, that? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, like a thing. It's like an every man's. <laughs> who, you, who can't use this? Yeah. <laughs> um, um, all right. Is that gonna be your whole turn? How much movement did it take for me to get there? Uh, that was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I would like to move a five foot. Just kidding. Five foot back. You have the stone wall at your back. Yeah, nice. that's that's that feels healthy. Um, to the horse, 
I think is uh, if I can free action just like kind of hit it like a get out of here. We're oh, not sure, using sure. you. Um, yeah, it'll take off. Then. <laughs> Do you want it? No, I just no? I I get because I'm a knight of Slamia, I It's only five feet of movement to like mount it. Yeah. So it's like oh that's sure. fun, but like if it doesn't really like give anything. I don't. Sorry, I, the I, wheels are like direct. There we go. There we that, go. There yeah. we go. There yeah, we, go. we figured Honestly, it out. Honestly, the horse is probably the thing on the field that does the most damage, other than maybe the wheels on your mind. Because they're. Yeah. Attack is, <laughs> no, no, no. Their hoof attack is two d six plus four. Woof. Yeah, but you sacrifice your attack and use your action to direct the horse, right? Sure, but the horse has a plus six to hit, which is as much as so like as much as me. Yeah. Bam. Now yeah, war horses are apparently great. That's Love that. All right. Well, I hit bandit with because it was uh, eighteen or sixteen plus six. Yeah. Well, it's gone Whatever. now. So <laughs> it, it might be the only thing that it's hits free. in this fight. <laughs> um, well, that and glass. You can, yeah. yeah. The <laughs> only things that have hurt you are. The horse allies. and the allies. <laughs> yeah. The horse and a friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the horse and a friend. The horse and a friend. The Bannon Leowind. That's it. Sex tape. Um, <laughs> I'd watch it. Uh, just, to, it. just for curiosity. Just to see how the double. horse gets involved. <laughs> oh, damn it. Um, it's not legal in most many anywhere. Places. Yeah. There was a point, yeah, I think it was, I, I remember, it was like 2009, I think. Oh it was uh, that uh, there was a point where bestiality was legal in more states than gay marriage. And I was like, that is an Jesus insane Lord. statistic. That's a very um, terrible, terrible, terrible thing. <laughs> All right. Um, what just happened? Uh, I cast Bane on three of them. Yes. I stepped so back. And then the I ran away. Two, <laughs> the I ran two away. that are not bane This guy's going to come one, two, three, four, five. He's going to come sneak in here. Um, sneaking. sneaking. And he is going to, uh, I think he saw the dazzling colored lights from the caster that is Caligaro. He's going to stab at him. Bring it. Um, that is going to be a nine, uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that just... Just hits? No, it hits quite well. <laughs> and I think it's 1d6, right? Yes. Uh, that is going to be five points of piercing damage. Wow. Uh, and this guy is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and he's going to come up behind Caligaro. He's going to be flanking. Sorcerer no! tank. Uh, so no. flanking, he does get advantage on the attack. Amazing. Yeah, no. Uh, that is going to be a uh, fifteen to hit. I'm going to shield that and be fine. Oh, oh that's absolutely very nice. good. Uh, yeah. So uh, you see, uh, I have this, one for free as well too. This so. one, uh, this first guy runs up and he stabs at your midsection. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually go to shield the first one, and you're just not quite quick enough, and so it gets you just in the thing. Okay, like, but your spell is ah. still going, so you don't even notice the guy <laughs> behind you. Okay. But the shield, this magical shield, flares to life around you, and you feel the arcane energy impact as this spear thrust mm -hmm. into the back of your head mm -hmm. just glances off, and you can. See the spear thrust beside you, and if that shield hadn't popped off, you don't know what would have happened. Uh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Monkey's like, not calligraphy Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Leave calligraphy Jones alone. Leave calligraphy. Okay, uh, that's very funny. Uh, that is going to be the top of initiative again, which means we are going to roll for a lair action. God damn it. Okay. That's a three. We haven't had a three yet. What is a three? We have not had a repeat yet. Um. Uh, you see uh, on the ground um, uh, a member of the Vogler militia uh, comes crawling into view. He does not look good. Oh, no. um, and he uh, he does have a spear, though. Um, and he's he looks pretty fucked up. But he is angry, and he's just kind of like limps into the battlefield and stands up to his full height, holding the spear to the, his right hand. Uh, his initiative is going to be... Uh, um... Ally Vogler. Yes, Vogler. Mm -hmm. He's on yeah, your side. yeah. Okay, good. I um, thought so, but then he does not look good. I was like, that's either it doesn't look good, or it doesn't <laughs> look good he's dying. dying. He's he's like bleeding. Yeah. Um, but there's blood on the tip of his spear, and so you're like, this guy might have might have done some stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say that this is Timmy. Uh, Timmy uh, is. Uh, Where's Hose? Uh, Timmy, uh, Hose is. Uh, Hose is his dead. wife is not participating in the battle. Uh -huh. He's back with the mayor. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but fair enough. Timmy, Timmy did want to partake today, uh, and so uh, just like totally juvenated. I'm assuming juvenated is a word, if rejuvenated is a word. So juvenated by his own caffeine, he has uh, found that he actually has some uh, impressive skills when it comes to battlefield mm. expertise. Uh, and he has Got slain a, a few of the uh, Ironclad Regiment. Um, that is going to be the top of initiative again, which means that, Cal, it is your mm -hmm. turn. 
I was just gonna say this out loud. I need to remember it just in case things do hit me. Did you bane any of those attacks? Uh, uh, those two, those two are the only oh, they were, one. Yeah, not they were the new Thank God. Yeah. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, so Gregonis. Yes. Uh, the guy on uh, the, the guy to the, the south of you and the blind guy are Perfect. banned. The two, um, the two on normies. east and west of you are not banned. Okay. Normal, yeah. normal, non. No, I didn't think about that. Thank God. My, my, I was like, oh, I have so much health to spare. <laughs> oh, scratches! Um, Please remember that um, the amount of money that we paid for your character art was a lot for <laughs> your brother. So if you could not die, yeah. I would appreciate it because I will have to buy art for yeah. your next character. Here's the, yeah. here's the fun thing though if I leave now, that's three opportunity attacks. So uh, yep. I, I, I could just get If you have. I mean, automatic again. If you have an. <laughs> uh, a. AOE saving throw, they also get Bane on saves. I, 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 I mm. do not. Yeah. My only AOE was what you saw. Gotcha. Um, It'd be a good time for a bardic inspiration. <laughs> Shut up. Hold on, I'm just going to stop here to go fish for a sec. Maybe I'll get some fucking bardic inspiration. <laughs> Let me just pull out that fishing you know rod that I We're going to roll up to this post-competition. I'm going to be like, can we just get the fly fishing thing, please? The reward from the mayor. Um, <laughs> I have just fought in battle. <laughs> For you. I don't know if we're fishing. If we had only I like really want the, the right thing, here. though. I want the prize. No, I don't know what yeah. it is. <laughs> I don't care about this fight. I want the prize. <laughs> I think it might be worth it to try and just. Because now I can. I think I can hit four people in the 15 foot cone. Let's do it. Yeah. That's the risk. I can hit three the and then. And, and, yeah. Dragonis. and they get the bane on that. So there's yeah, a thing. No, no, it's, it's based on their health. What cone oh, is it this time? Of course it uh, is. What cone? Are you going to try to call it again? Yeah, because then if, uh, you know, I, will... I rolled 20 on very shitty rolls. It's 60 10. So yeah. if I can get 20, I can get three people blinded. If I get maybe, hopefully, a good thing above I, it, I can get. I will blind. say, I believe the 20 is a pool. It's not people with that yeah. health. It's a 20, uh, and then it goes so down, the and then it would go. Yeah. So if you roll... You're correct. Yeah. Third. It's not as good as I thought it was. It's, it's like the sleep spell where, yeah. yeah. It, oh, yeah. so I'd, I'd have to roll like a 60 to get three of them. Yeah, if you roll... Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. We, well, oh, well, we, we don't have, have to roll a health. 33 to get the three cards. Got it, got it, got it. Got Great, it. love that. Um, I mean, you've killed enough of them now that... We know what their health is, but I don't know if that's... I'm not going to tell you what Gregonis' health is, but... No, no. They're wearing metal. They're wearing metal, they're baned on attacks, but also... You, roll, you have to roll slightly above uh, half yeah. in order to yeah, get yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They haven't taken but any also, damage yet, though. Yeah, and the, the thing that upsets me about the metal is my fucking shock and grass damage is really bad. It's not mm. good. Oh. They don't have a lot of health, to be that's fair. That's true, that's true. Um... I'm gonna try something else that might be stupid. Oh, wait, character art. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we love strong choices. Oh, yeah, no, fuck it. These guys, strong no, choices. These guys That's are, what this is these about. These guys are cannon fodder. Um, I'm going to go uh, straight out and make a spell attack on Gregonis. I'm going to go right through them. Okay, let's go. I'm going to hit Captain. I'm, I'm going to hit him with a ray of sickness. Okay. Interesting. Uh, oh. You are going to roll disadvantage because you are for spell attack? Threatened. Oh, I am threatened. You're, you're, it, it, that's not a thing in D and D. That's only Baldur's it, it, Gate. It is. A no, it is. You can't cast a spell. Yeah. You can't cast a spell while you're um, a ranged spell at someone else while you have someone. Else. Oh, it's a ranged. Oh, then, oh, oh yeah. I had no idea. I, I, I thought that. that was a stupid Baldur's I, Gate you know thing. What? I didn't know yeah, that, but it's I called it. But it is real. No, know. it's real. You like be, you you take this advantage because you're casting while you're being attacked. Uh, there's a feat called Warcaster. Yeah, yeah. 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 Then you can take that. Yeah, which is why I'm gonna hold to this because he might take Warcaster. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I just had never. Which is why. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I called it. I called it. Great. Rolling at disadvantage. God. Come on, buddy. What's the range on rave sickness? A sixty. Great. Uh, they're both shit. No, even with the even with the high thing, it would have been a. Uh, it's my no, my spell attack is plus six. It's a ten. Nope. Yeah, oh, you, you shoot fuck. this yeah. like green ray through. Um, but between the shields oh, and the spears yeah, that are yeah, like yeah, yeah, pointing yeah. in at you, you just kind of whiff off of his left shoulder. You actually hit the guy in front of you instead. <laughs> And he just kind of like. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I tried. Yeah. I tried. Mm -hmm. That's it for me. I think. No bonus action. No movement. No. No fucking movement. movement. <laughs> there's I don't think there's a single movement you can make. That no. 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 Yeah. I think my you sorcerer. My sorcerer gets a little bit better past the point that I'm probably gonna die. So. Yeah. He, he'd, get, he'd, get, he'd get better a little bit later. Well, you don't know you're gonna die yet. That's true. Yet. Um. 
You are good. Uh, that is going to be Bannon's turn. Okay. And the person that is to the right of Bannon is now not blind. Yeah. yeah. yeah End of my turn. Oh boy. What oh, the oh boy. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's going on there, Bannon? Um, <laughs> it's very bad. <laughs> Monkey says no free feet. No, uh, they did get a free feet at level one, but the free feats in uh, the the free feats at level one are limited to a few things. Yeah, this, I think Monkey, um, Monkey just meant in photos. <laughs> no free feet. Bannon, what are you doing? <laughs> um, thinking. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh no, no. No think, just act. Okay, okay. Can um, hit anything? <laughs> Bannon kind of. Um, he looks, he sees Calgaro in the middle of this, and he's like, the fuck are you doing? Um, trying to save your ass, you fucking... <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now you are. And uh, he's going to take, try and do what he can do, and he's going to raise his, the spear in his hand, and he's going to make an attack against this, try and thrust it into this guy in front of him. The guy directly in front of you? Yeah. Absolutely, roll an attack for me. <sighs> Nice. Uh, 18 plus. Yeah, you nice. fucking <laughs> Brilliant. go for it. Uh, seeing uh, Cal Garo in this position Cal's and like fine. just Cal. seeing Cal like in this position, <laughs> like Bannon just kind of like wheels back and just sort of shoves the spear into the guy. Yeah, we're not gonna flavor this on anything. This is yeah, he same. shoves yeah. up into him. Oh, how much damage you do? Uh, it's what is it? One d six. You're holding shield. Yeah, so it's gonna be one d six plus your proficiency. Bonus. Proficiency and strength? Yeah. Nice. That's a nine. Nine damage. Oh, okay. nice damage. All right. Oh, right. Uh, great, yeah. You, you like, pierce up under a rib, uh, and you, like, see, like, the, 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 you just find that, like, one spot Ooh. under his armor where you get up and you pierce up under his, because it, it's down to his waist, you're piercing up, and you feel that thing slide up into him, um, and Ooh. as you pull it out, there's just blood all over your spear, and Blood just starts pooling down his leg uh, as you get him really fucking good. Um, and kind of like takes a moment, like takes in the blood. Yeah. Uh, looks at the spear and he just sort of like. He looks a little shaken, but he's like holding firm and he's ready mm-hmm. to like. Not stirred. Ready to, uh, to, to do Are what you he can. Are still doing no, no, no lethal damage? Um. We'll get there. For <laughs> 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 now, you. Um. Well, no. All of the fu- all of his attacks are going to be meant to not kill okay. um, at this point because this is a situation we don't know what's going on. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, all right, that is now going to be the horse who uh, finally runs away, uh, and then that is going to be Gragonus's turn. Uh, Gragonus is going coward. to coward. Um, is it you, coward? <laughs> From like far away. <laughs> One, two, three. Four, five, burn, burn, six. Nah, 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 Power no more. <laughs> uh, he is going to walk up to uh, you, Clarus. Uh, he's still vain, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he is going to roll. Uh, he's going to come running up and swing his battle axe at you. Deja vu. Uh, that is going to be... Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's D4 it's minus. Yeah, no, I rolled wrong. So I'm just going to re-roll everything. Uh, that is a 10. Nope. Oh, come on. Great. Uh, that on. does not hit. Uh, and so he like uh, he just like misjudges the distance because he's running up a hill and he just kind of cleaves right in front of you. So you feel it like come up and suddenly this like eight and a half foot tall uh, half ogre is just leering down at you as he's just missed with his axe. Great. Uh, and it is going to be your turn. Is Are you beside him or is there five feet? There's five feet. Do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I can flank him, but I can't. Um, oh, I understand what you're trying yeah, to do. Yeah, trying I to understand, advantage. I understand. Well, then I won't. Don't need to do anything. I'm just going to like... just going to be like, like, si- kind of like sidestep the thing and like spit in his face. Right. As I take this javelin. Um, this what? Javelin? There you go. What? You said javelin. No, I didn't. <laughs> you did. <laughs> did. I am sorry. I will. <laughs> As I take this javelin. <laughs> And I, I named my javelin Javelin, okay? <laughs> it's Javelin the Javelin. 
the javelin you keep till the end of the campaign yes. now that it's named. It's I never javelin. use it, but it's sentimental. It's you actually find out that it is a magical, magical. javelin named Javelin. <laughs> okay, what do I get? <laughs> it just speaks to you. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I'm worried about it. Yeah. Oh, that I'm does traveling. not sound I'm good. Traveling. Hey, folks, I'm traveling. <laughs> hey, where are we traveling? I'm traveling. Don't forget to bring your javelin. <laughs> traveling with Traveling the Javelin. Coming to PBS. Oh, God. I hate it. Okay. I like when you put me in the guts of your enemies, kids. <laughs> no, no, no. It's guts, like an guts, evil guts. weapon that's trying to corrupt you, but with yeah. like a Funny Saturday morning yeah. cartoon vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh like my god. Construction project. All right. Like, I hate don't forget that. to put Are the you, javelin. Um, <laughs> you're traveling the javelin into his. Into his. Yes. Attack him. Jugular. No. Sure. Go for um, it. Uh, I'm going to precise strike. Great. Um, so I'm going to give myself advantage. Um. Uh, so if the attack hits, you roll. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna see if it hits. Give myself advantage. And this, you you did maledict this weapon, so it, it has fire damage. It has a D4 an, fire an extra damage. D four okay. of fire damage. Damn. That is correct. Yeah. Um, oh, let's. Get Nineteen that. plus six. I think that hits. Oh wow, yeah. that's really good. Um, so then I'm going to do. You said two D six, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's 2d6 plus your strength proficiency plus a d4 plus, plus... a d8. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Let's kill this guy right now. One hit. Mm. Oh no. Gemstones? Yeah. Yeah, some of our nice dice don't roll well together. You gotta be careful. The, this one got like a little bit chipped, and because it got a little bit chipped, yes, it's, it's just. Um, anyways, chipping. it's fine. Uh, okay, six. Wow, I rolled two ones. That's really unfortunate. You rolled two ones and a two there. Yeah, okay, six, eight, ten. What? Plus, that's just plus, the dice plus what? Uh, six. Because 16, it's. 16. Oh, wait, right. it's javelin strength. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think they all are, unless they are versatile. <laughs> or finesse. For, or sorry, finesse, that's the yeah. word, yeah. yeah. Okay, so 16 damage Great. to Gorgonus. That's, 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 really good. that's yeah. really good. Uh, no, that's awesome at this level. That's yeah. incredible yeah. at level I two. will absolutely take that. Um, I spat in his face. I <laughs> pissed him off. Two -handed, right? Yeah, I'm going to say um, yeah. you, uh, so you, you look up at him, and he's just swung. Uh, he's he swung two-handed, uh, and so you see this, like, opportunity, and you strike out, uh, and you, because he swung out, you see the, like, hole in his shoulder. Like, and right you drive in here? Your, you drive the spear through that hole, and it, you drive the fiery spear tip of your javelin, javelin across his <laughs> chest, and you are just <laughs> driving this fire across the scar you left on him earlier. That like nice. mirrored the yeah, one that I did before. As, as you pull the spear back from your attack, um, you just see this lance of blood shoot out um, onto the ground. Luckily also caught <laughs> out in the wound. Uh, he <laughs> sees you like catch your, his blood and lick it, and he gets a little turned on. You like see in his eyes, he's just a little turned on by that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He wants you dead, but he's like, Fuck, she's he's, wearing plate, <laughs> he's wearing plate armor? Uh, no, he just has, uh, he has this like- uh, No, I mean like legs area. No, you, you can't see his erection. Oh, okay. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't see <laughs> What is he have? He has sort of like a, like... Can you hear the... Oh, yeah. Ding. No, it's like, like a... Ding. Ding. Yeah. Amazing. Can you hear... 69 is huge. Um, you hear really the leather really of really his good. britches go... It's the same it as uh, the same as Misty Step. <laughs> His yeah, yeah, is just yeah. like, This is now going to be this card's so, so turn. Sorry. He's going to come around <laughs> and flank Bannon. Oof. Um, and he is going to stab down at... Now, this guy... Isn't Bane? This guy is Bane. No. Is Bane. Oh, is Bane. Yeah. Uh, that is guy Bane. and the guy there are Bane's, and these two aren't. Okay. I, yeah. No, 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 I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Uh, oh, and minus four. Wait, no, minus it's flanking, D4. so he's at advantage. Uh, minus a D4 is going to be uh, 11, which I believe misses your AC. I, I believe it misses, I yeah. Misses I'm pretty sure. So yeah, no, this is mine. <laughs> you, you kind of see him running around you to try and flank you, and as he, he does that, you kind of swing your, your shield around and you block it. Nice. Um, going to where he's going. Uh, then the guy to the left of Calagero, he's mm -hmm. just going to attack. He's not flanking, so he doesn't yep. get the advantage. Uh, that is, he's also baned. Hmm. So that is going to be a 15 to hit. You're saying he's not flanking? Uh, this one is not. The one the, uh, in front of you. The one currently attacking is not. The other two are. Uh, it's a 15. So I can't, I can do something about it, but do I want to do one thing or the other? That's up to you. I'm thinking the other if you're, because you're, you're thinking of shielding, right? Uh, shield is play it safe. Silver barbs is re-roll, but like, what if he worse. could still get worse? Oh. So it's like I could, I could guarantee. Oh. 
I thought or the other was a... save a spell slot, which is what I'm shooting. I think, I think high damage is because I'm not going. I'm not doing damages on my turns. My mm. turns are support. Mm. Bane is not to damage rolls, right? Uh, no, I, no, attack. just attacking. No, but I mean the only thing that that would really like do damage is. I mean, really shielding is the sure fire if you don't want to take them. for anything. Oh, yeah. right. I don't, I don't have anything. All my all, all my damage spells are, are cantrips, and they're weak. You can change the moon, I believe, every day, right? Uh, yeah. This is that day. Oh. Hmm. Well. I would say... Are you reacting or not? Yeah. Take a quick call here. Um, fuck. You know what? Uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna react. I'm okay. gonna, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try Sylvia Barbs though instead. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I'm not gonna re-roll the... What? What? I... Shield stays on for the full round. Does and you're gonna really? have more attacks. Yeah. No, it does. Oh, it yeah, does. one round. Yeah. yeah. Do shield. Yeah. Up to yeah. AC by, yeah. Yeah. Up to yeah. by no, five for the full. Yeah. They're right, they're right, they're right. They're so right, AC right, plus right, shield right. is... Wait, wait, wait. When did you use your last shield? That was last turn. That was last That was last turn. Um, but you shielded the second one, so that's why it only got one. Yes. Okay. Um, and no, the other it. the other one was above my shield AC anyway. My shield, yeah, my yeah. AC was shield oh, was, only, yeah. was only eighteen, and you yeah. rolled right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, remember the shield uh, is for the four round. That's good to know. So that's uh, my first shield is free because of the good lunar. Uh, so that one's my last spell slot though. Great. All right. You know what? I think I, worth it. I don't like intruding on other people's turns, but I was like, we are in a bad way. This module yeah. is very hard. Yeah. Um, because yeah. I was thinking, like, would Bannon benefit from an advantage? Would Harvest benefit from an advantage? Of I'm bars, But would they benefit if I'm dead? <laughs> yeah. So shield is great. 18 is blocked. Right. Yeah. Um, so then I'm going to say that that is... That misses, Thank which you. means it is now... Um, it is now. Sorry, where am I? Oh, it's this guy's turn. Uh, Timmy comes running into the. <laughs> oh, come on, buddy. Let's Timmy. get it, dude. Uh, Flanking. He's going to come up behind this guy, uh, and he is going to thrust at him with a spear. This guy's going to change the whole game. This is him. Uh, no, he definitely misses. He <laughs> is too big. It's flanking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's flanking. <laughs> he's flanking. Please. Come on, my guy. Uh, no, but he rolled a three oh, and a six. Damn uh, it. So, yeah, he, like, tries. He, he doesn't really know how the spear works, so he swings it, and it just, it, it like, clangs off it's of his shoulder plate. It's still just a wooden one, no tip. No, like. he's got a spear. No, he's got a real spear with him. He's taking it. Uh, but, you yeah, know, he's, he's weak, and he just kind of misjudges it. That's fair. Do, he, he was trying to, like, clank the guy on the head, and he missed. Uh, so then that is going to be Teller's turn. Okay. Um... Uh, just, just because we haven't used this mechanic, we haven't had a reason to. The wall can be used for cover. Just saying. I, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> my turn is I go behind the wall yeah, yeah. and I am. Okay. So I thought you might just because I don't have wall pieces to put down. I didn't have time to print them. Mm -hmm. I, I'll give you that. And you're in uh, half cover. Baned, baned. Correct. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And Gorgonus is also baned. E yes. Uh, this guy. Yeah. Um, I am going to. Uh, Wow, this many people around you and you still can't hit them. Uh, I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery on that guy. Yeah, awesome. Um, wisdom save for, uh, 14. He rolled a th 13. I can't imagine his wisdom is plus one. 14. Nope. 13. Nope. Okay. Um, he takes three damage and he has disadvantage on his next attack roll. Great. Um, because I'm making sure nobody can hit. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> That's yes, yes. Um, right. Duck behind the thing. You're looking fine now. Looking good. How's Cal looking? Cal's been hit yet? He's okay. He's, I'm he's gonna... been hit, but he's... Uh... he's <laughs> I mean, he's looks like he's dead when he's at full health, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to know the truth. Uh, I just, I'm just suit. malnourished. Like, I, I'm not doing you well. You don't go outside and see I don't see go the outside. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, looks to harvest uh, the second verse, same as the first, uh, and is gonna four health healing word you. Right. Um, that's a level one healing word. That's a level one healing word. Or I rolled. Or I rolled a one, which oh, is a one. plus yeah. three, which is unfortunate. Uh, Thank you. I oh, appreciate so it. Hmm? It is. Uh, 
you actually get five, I believe. One I plus one. See, it'd be so yeah. nice yeah. if when you get sorcery's points. Gotcha. So there you go. It's a little more. I'll take um, it. I'll take it. But okay, so healing word, level. vicious mockery yeah, on him, so he takes level. disadvantage no, on yeah. his next attack, and I think ducked behind yeah, the wall. Yeah, yeah, just... That's me. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I love so it. now it is going to be those two guys' balls? turns. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys. Bonus action. Sorry. And, sorry, just too many people talking. Um, I, so the two on the other side of you are going to both attack you. Mm-hmm. Uh, one is going to, I'm going to roll the disadvantage first. Uh, that is going to be a uh, 13. But you have an 18 right now? I have an 18 right now. Uh, so disadvantage, he misses. Uh, the other guy is going to roll a natural one. Oh, uh, and so they both hits. miss. Oh, okay. Um, and actually, uh, they, the first guy is actually going to almost hit you, but the second guy, uh, he swings his spear over, and as this guy's trying to lance his spear down, the other guy swings up over your shoulder, and he actually blocks the other spear from hitting you. <laughs> so these two spears Sorry. meet in the air, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck, uh, you would have had him, but I... I, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to be a bitch, but don't they have advantage because they're flanking? Yeah. The disadvantage guy doesn't, because that's a straight roll now, because dis and advantage. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to roll them both. Um, again. But one of the one on the is any of these ones? No, these no. are both unbaked. Yeah, those are the two that are not. Yeah, so one guy just rolls straight, the other guy does roll. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen hits. Even with your shield. I'm at eighteen. Gotcha. We all need to. It's all fair. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I appreciate that. Uh, so you get hit by one spear. One of them. Okay. He actually misses, uh, and he knocks the spear in into your you. Head. Uh, so <laughs> it's gonna catch you in the Good ear. Good correction. It's like do sorry. Yeah. <laughs> It seems. It actually seems like he did block it away, but the, it makes the guy go off balance. So he swings yeah, back, yeah. and the, the it actually black confused, blade. It confused yeah. my block. I'm like, I thought it was going one way. <laughs> uh, so then that is going to be a beer. I thought um, I said a beer. I was like, I love one. Yeah. Yeah. Traveling in a beer. Uh, that is, oh my god! I only roll sixes on d6s. That's going to be seven points of piercing damage. Wow. Uh, we're actually going to call it bludgeoning because the flat of the blade is going to catch yeah. you in here. Uh, you have a like slight right. ringing in your left ear now. You might have if to I re- even have an ear after that one. Yeah. Um, I just bludgeoning. It just... Oh, okay. You might have to restart the playlist. I don't know how many songs are. Yeah. Oh, thank you. As you hear like I don't that, know if the music was ever. You just hear like I'm oh, still standing. <laughs> like wait, it wasn't playing this whole game. Jelton Young starts know. playing. Jelton Young is barred from uh, Sylvan Esty. <laughs> well, I had music in post. Sylvan Esty doesn't have bards. We don't sing. We're guys. We're. I'm, I'm. There's a lot of things I'm running. I'll figure it out as we go. You're perfect. Um, I also didn't go to the other thing, but that's fine. We'll, we'll add Beautiful. that in for a future fight. Um, all right. So that is going to be their turns, which means it is now the end of initiative, I believe. Uh, yes, it's the end of initiative. We're gonna roll a d4 and see what's going on in the fray. Oh boy. Okay. That's a four. Wow. We're going up. We've we done all of them. of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh no. All right. So we've had two negative. Okay. That doesn't scream good. To pick, me. The, uh, <laughs> pick the lowest health sorcerer. So and now, uh, roll three, roll walking three. out of the fray is another one of Jesus Christ. Walking out of the fray is another one of Gregonus's guards. Uh, <gasps> initiative is okay. Oh no. One. As the fray spawns a monster, I just say, where did I go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that is going to be another guard on the fray. There are now five of them, and uh, there's five of you, so it's like a fair fight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, there's six of them and five of you. Uh, so almost fair. Uh, all right, that is going to be the fray's turn. Um, he does look hurt, though. He's not, he's, you know, he's been wounded in his previous sure. fights. Right. Let's go to Caligaro. Come on, Cal. Uh, I need to end this flank. Uh, I'm going to uh, immediately just turn around. Which one hit me with the spear? Uh, the one uh, this way. Oh, this way? So let's just say the hit actually sends me reeling. Mm-hmm. And instead of grabbing him as my target, it goes to the one in front of Bannon to just fucking kill him because he looks hurt. What is? The one in front of Bannon that he hit with the spear. You're doing shock and grasp. Yes. So, yeah, oh, you're doing shock and grasp. Yeah. <laughs> so the one in front of Bannon. They're wearing metal, right? Uh, right? Yes. 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 <laughs> Let's get it here. They're all wearing, Come on. They're all wearing <laughs> We got this shit, buddy. Roll. Oh, no, it's uh, 17. I'm a plus six. Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Good, 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 Is that a one? 50. It's a natural one. <laughs> yeah, it's a one damage. Oh. Wait, it, oh, there's no plus? 
Cantrips. Uh, yeah. No, it's a cantrip. Be- yeah. Though I roll at advantage because of amazing shit, I hate Dungeons Don't and Dragons. <laughs> add your spellcasting modifier to the damage, though. Isn't nope. It just as one d8 lightning. It's a. It's, uh, oh, wow. That is a. That is a. That is a thing that evocation wizards get. That's uh, not a general thing. Yeah. And we are just lazy fucking wizards, aren't we? So that's why I don't. You make bonus. bad choices. I was excited. I wasn't. I was excited for you. Yeah, me too. Because he has two health, but Fuck he now has one me health. Running. Oh my god. All right. All right, team. He is so fucked. Um, I'm going so to use my bonus action to uh, crush Slap my him. two sorcery points and give myself a fucking spell slot back. Great. Oh, nice. oh it's so good, sorceress. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. Fuck you. One spell slot. <laughs> yeah. What did I do? Yeah. I didn't roll my shit. <laughs> no, you're that guy. That's I didn't so do good. anything. That's so yeah, good. Yeah, but on your day, I need a module. Ugh. We're going to get you new dice. I need to read Can sorry, you, writer. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Just go through the list every time we're upset. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's Cal's turn. You did one damage. Congratulations. Uh, Bannon. Damn, uh, that's that's a that's a shame, buddy. The guy in front of you is like. Rex says you cut his, his health eyes. in half. You did. You cut hey, his health in half. Fifty percent damage. Right. I did. Yeah, that yeah. was fifty percent. That's huge. Yeah. Bannon, you um. Huge. Wow. Huge. You. Huge. <laughs> you watch the guy in front of you bleed out of his eyes uh, as he is electrocuted. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um. Fuck. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. No, Cal, Cal's like. Guys, I'm having so much. This is like the best way to spend a day. I, yeah, right? <laughs> I just want to have seven campaigns where I have one campaign every day. Yeah, yeah, right? It's really the best. The yes, end, I'm go. having so much fun. Great. It's simply the best. <laughs> I was worried this fight was going to be. I, I Shorter? Reading it, I was like, I don't really know how this is going to go. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's gone better than I could have possibly imagined. The okay. fray is an interesting And mechanic. nobody's like fucking dead yet, so. Yeah, I am going really to. Oh. I like lair actions at low levels because they're not crazy. You should. Uh, there should I always like be it. lair actions. Yeah. In if you're in like a war, yeah, like yeah. They, they make it really fun. Or in a lair, and like something like horses come by and knock you prone if you fail a dexterity check. So it doesn't like. It's not like you. It's a not meteor game crashes. Breaking. You know, it's yeah. something like <laughs> just meteors. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna make an attack on that guy in front of me. Great. Let's see him. Um, nice. 18. That's gonna be plus five. 23. Uh, so Bannon sort yeah. of like <laughs> sees this guy yeah, yeah, like going after yeah. Cal and it's like just and sees Cal try to like do this thing and the guy's still standing but like dazed so Bannon takes the opportunity and like kind of like Brandon I told Brandon to let himself in. Someone's in her house. You, you're the like, fear. babe. <laughs> Someone just broke into the house mid D&D. We're alive, yeah. The speed of swords are upstairs. We have to grab the axe. The axe is under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we so do the axe. Bannon uh, just kind of like Holy takes shit. a step up onto his spear, which drops down, mm-hmm. and jumps into his face with his shield and brings his head down Ooh. into the ground. Ooh. That's right. Um, knocking that. him unconscious and out of the fight. Right? Wait. Z- Non-lethal. Unconscious? Non-lethal. Yeah, unconscious. But health is still zero. But that still health is still zero. Yeah, yeah. health is still zero. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, damn. That's true. He doesn't have to be dead. The health just has to be zero. Just health hits zero yeah. is what the is wording. Called? It is called uh, Blood Curse of the Fallen Puppet. I love the fallen puppet. When a creature you can see within 30 feet drops to zero HP, you can use a reaction yeah. to have that creature make Absolute one weapon yeah. attack against a target of your choice. So, it doesn't say there's a dead no. zombie. Wow. No, 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 no. It's, it's great. It's no, I, dead. It's, I, it's the funny. language is specific, and the language is right. You get to uh, make him make an attack on something. She spits that blood out that she, like, g- like <laughs> grabbed from before in, the, in like, a fine mist as she watches this person fall. Mm-hmm. Um, and they... Uh, they... They kind of like get back up and like swing at, at the person directly beside them. <laughs> uh, the one between the Bogor militia and it's the only one he can hit. Yeah. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he has half of his movement, so he can move fifty. No, feet. I'm not amplifying it. Great. Uh, so then, uh, do I? Uh, you roll the attack. Why, why, I, I'm not gonna roll these attacks. You roll the attack. Okay. Just picture you having like a me. blow dart of blood. Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what is his usual? I'll tell you. Wow, that's a three. Damn. Yeah, it doesn't hit. I'm yeah, so that's sorry. Fair. So he like Puffins crumples, suck. pops back up, swings, misses, and then crumples back down. Great, right, love it. I like the whole time Ben like rides this because he like breaks the yeah, shield. Whoa! <laughs> it, it kind of it, 
<laughs> it kind of looks like when you crash in video games that have bugs, and the character just kind of goes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 No one even yeah. knows that a spell happened because there's just the, the imagery of this man crumpling is yeah. so strange to see. Yeah, so uh, can I take him off the board? Uh, yes, I'll grab. So Bannon. This since... man is unconscious. So you guys do have an unconscious soldier in front. Of you. So since Bannon like brought down his shield down on top of him, he's just sort of like standing on his body uh, now and flanking. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you're here. Not well, no, I'm gonna say you're staying in the same spot, or else so you get an attack opportunity. opportunity. I am going to move anyway, though. Okay, where um, are you moving to? Uh, I will move to the other side of Cal to give flank to get flanking on that other dude. This guy. Ooh. Actually, wait. No, if you move one square, no. you can flank. I'm going to stay exactly where I am. <laughs> right. Bannon like reels around. Looks at the guy in in front of him and says, "You're next." Great. I loosened that last one for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ben. Ben looks back. He's like, "You tried." <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Uh, so that is then going to be um, the be like, new guard's like turn. So this guy's gonna run oh, over oh, here. Boy. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. He's gonna step into that spot. <laughs> He's doing the same thing. Motherfucker. The Ironclad Iron Regiment are trained. Like, I'm, I'm trying to play them as if they are no, trying good. to kill everybody here. Uh, so he is going to attack Bannon. Ba you, he just saw you kill a friend of his, so he's going to attack you with uh, with flying. He'll so knock out friend of his. Mm -hmm. He dead. can't tell the difference. <laughs> um, you just rode his head into the ground, so he does not know that that man is still alive. Um, with advantage, uh, he rolled what uh, a double twelve. So no, he misses. Hell yeah. Which means, uh, yeah, so he just runs around and he's like kind of still distracted by the fact that his dead friend is beneath his feet as he swings his thing down at you and ping it off of your shield as you're bringing it up. Uh, this is now going to be Gregonus's turn and Gregonus just looks you in the eyes and he's like, mm, that was a good hit, but I've been looking forward to this. And he's going to just double up, bring his ax down straight on top of you. Um, but uh, he's still banged. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is going to be. It's either a nat 20 or a nat 1. Right. It's a natural 1. So <laughs> yes. as he, as he brings his bonus. sword up, or as he brings his axe up, he does not uh, take notice of the uh, the tree leaves above him. And as he brings it up, he's going to drive it backwards, because it's a double sided axe, yeah. into the thick branch above his head. Uh, he's going to use his bonus action to try and dislodge his axe. <laughs> From the tree above him. Oh god! Uh, which he does. Which he, he does. Uh, oh no! Wait! No! Bane. Wait! That's how does he do that though? Is that an attack roll that he's using to try and get it out? Is that a saving throw he's using to try and get it? I'm gonna say it's a saving throw. That's a so minus d4 to that. There then. you go. 15. I'm gonna say I'm gonna set this spell DC at 12. So if I roll a four on the bane dice, the the, the axe is stuck for a turn and he has to roll to get it out next turn. Incredible. <laughs> Roll one. No, oh, he does get yeah. it out. Okay. That was fun. Yeah, my sheet doesn't tell me how many. Is it two sorcery points per one spell slot, right? Yep. It's always a two for one so, trade. Yeah. yeah. It, it just doesn't tell it me. It might be in your feet. Um, I need to play a sorcerer because I've actually I don't know sorcerers very well. Oh, they're so delicious. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wild Magic Sorcerer is my favorite the class for a very, very long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love that. Oh, chaos. right. So, yeah, chaos, uh, 100%. After he missed again trying to hit you, this guy is not having a good time being your nemesis. Uh, he is holding his arms up, he's bleeding out of his right shoulder, and it is your turn. What would you like to do, Harvest? Fantastic. Um, I am going to use my second uh, precise strike. I get two of them, and right. And this feels Hero. important, you know. Um, so, um, so uh, Harvest is uh, yeah going to go for another attack, yeah, like absolutely. right in the belly. Now he's very compromised. Is this an advantage because his axe is stuck and I his just gave arms myself no, advantage. advantage. So, yeah, but I'm thank you. Yeah, I, know, I was thinking about that. You can't have double advantage. <laughs> I know. I wish. Right. Just trying to get all the help. Three D twenty. No, but also you would rather have the precise strike because he added. <laughs> That's one of your rolls. Ooh, that that roughs. That that roughs. <laughs> um. Okay. That would be a nine to hit. Yeah, you go for the belly, not realizing that you're just striking right into his armor, and this javelin that you're holding isn't. Uh, it, it's stronger because of your fire, but it isn't quite. Uh, you don't have the strength to pierce that metal. Uh, and so it just kind of like slides across his middle. At least I don't use my precise strike. It says that it's only expended if it hits. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So I still have that. Okay. Uh, any bonus action or uh, movement you want to use? Um, 
Mm. No, I, I, yeah. I, I, you know what, I have a decent amount of bonus actions, but none of them, yeah, I'm good. Great. Then we're going to come around that, to, that was a um, that was a yeah. good time. Uh, guard one and guard yeah. two, which are, or sorry, no, this is guard one and guard three. I'm trying to keep track of everybody's number so I can keep mm-hmm. their health right. Mm-hmm. So guard one is behind Bannon. He is going to uh, take that advantage. He's going to stab at Bannon, try and get you from behind there. Uh, oh my god. Fuck okay. me. He's Bane, remember. It doesn't matter. He rolled a two and a four. Good, 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 uh, good, good. So good. he doesn't hit, uh, but Hell he's yeah. just going to stay there and Bane's keep his shield up. Just a Everyone's shield whiffing answer. it. Uh, yeah. And the guard in front of uh, Caligaro is also going to... Uh, oh, no, I'm going to take that again because he does not get advantage. Um, he's not flanking. That is going to be uh, 15. He's also Bane. Mm-hmm. He's Bane, yes. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have any spe- Do you have a spell slot for a shield? I, I do, but... Didn't you use it already? I got sorcery points for a spell slot back. Yeah, but I thought you had plus five to your AC for the whole... Went, it kay. went a full way around, and then I rolled a one damage. Cool, yeah, just checking. So, what is your AC? <laughs> Uh, it currently is 13. Okay, so yeah, no, he goes to attack, and with the Bane, he rolled a 12, got a plus 3, got a minus 3 from the Bane, and gets a 12. Oh, so, uh, yeah, come on, man. Do not take well the No, you're grand. <laughs> Incredible. We're all team, team here. Uh, that, uh, yeah, wow. This is one of the most stressful things <laughs> I've like, ever I been know, in. Holy crap. Uh, and so, I thought, God. I have never appreciated a support caster before. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, the way you're playing the bard is really fun. Especially I love because it. Because you're not a musician bard, I feel like the way that this is working is really mm-hmm. working out. We would also be fucked if it was just the three of us. <laughs> I would have. You would have Derek. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Or, yeah. or or some. We, I would have given you someone else. We are not fucked. We have Dravelin. There's a version of this where like Cudgel could have been with you, or Becklin could have been with you, sure. or the mayor. Like fair. I, I wouldn't have let you go in just the three of you. That would have been rough. Yeah. You would have been so outnumbered. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, here we go. Uh, so the Vogler guy, uh, Timmy, is going to attack from behind. Come on, buddy. Uh, with advantage, he is going to roll a uh, a 15. He just misses. No. Uh, so he, like, Dumb. clangs the back of this guy's shield. And the, the guy just brings his shield back and blocks it. He's trying to bring his uh, javelin, his spear, in to attack. Uh, which is going to then bring the uh, initiative to you. Uh, Teller, what are you doing? Um... We need a. We need you to have a sidekick named Pen, who doesn't speak. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll uh, get there. We'll get I wanna, there. I, he has a next pen. Next time we go to Vegas, I want to see them live. Like, there's. I've never. That would be live. mad. I know. That would be mm-hmm. really cool. They have something at the Aria, I think. They've or, been there for yeah. years. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna. Uh, Ignis on this guy. Here. Um, nice, nice. On the person who just came in, because that's the only one yeah. who is not taking any form of negative to. And yeah, that also was removed two different flanks. <clears throat> You're so smart. That's the way better shout <laughs> than for what I'm doing, yeah? No, no, it's all valid. Uh, 19. <laughs> yeah, that fucking hits. Um, this, like, uh, dra- this page turns into a small dragon and shoots across. You see it like light up everything around this group as uh, it strikes the guy in the middle there. Six damage. Uh, okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, oh, that guy. Uh, yeah, you do six damage, uh, and you see uh, he uh, turns as he sees this light coming towards him, and the, once again that fire fills up the uh, inside of his helmet, uh, and you hear the shrieking uh, as he burns to death, and he crumples down on top of his unconscious friend. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Oh, Good. Now hurt. there's two yeah. bodies on top of one another. He came in with six health, according to Hell the yeah. lair action. Yeah. All we feel in pain, but... Um, so yeah, this guy, uh, this guy dies. Love it. Yep. For the stories your father wishes you would tell, uh, and I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on you. Oh, thank God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, six, six health you hit. Amazing. That's it's better than what you have. Better than two. This fight is going on much longer than moving. I thought it was going to be. This is fun. Uh, Battles always do. I, I'm. This is my perfect D and D fight where it's like ev- every role is so integral to yes. us, to us <laughs> living in this. Yeah. It's fun when you're low level and like you don't have a lot of health, and so mm-hmm. each point I, yeah. does matter. Yeah. Uh, all right. That is going to be uh, the two. That is going to be guard. What that's gonna be, went. <laughs> wait. 
Oh, that's because that guy's dead. Or unconscious. Mm -hmm. So this guy's unconscious. That's why I'm confused by my notes. All right, so that is going to be this guy here, who is... Um, the He's just going to attack. The silver? The one closest to me. Cool. Uh, he is still under vicious mockery, so he gets disadvantage. Yeah, he gets on this. disadvantage on this roll, and there's no um, person on the other Still side. Still flank. Now, wait, vicious mockery until Shit. your turn. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. Nope. He just gets to roll. Yeah, it was, his, it was his next turn. Was fuck. That's going to be a dirty twenty to hit you. Just great. Um. Uh huh. I feel like it'd be silly not to do silvery barbs at this because point. Because he has to do roll the again. disadvantage roll. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think I'm going to, even if you roll higher. Oh, no, it's not disadvantage roll. My apologies. Sorry. I'm... No, he just re roll He one just day. has to re roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, but yeah. I, I have to do it because I'm not fucking doing well health wise. So, yeah. Great. Nice. Um, that is going to be a six to hit. This is not oh. a hit. <laughs> so, which I can advantage to. Um, I'm actually. Uh, you're fine, you're fine. I'm going, uh, Bannon, I think you're going to take advantage. Hell right. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never used sil silvery barbs. Is that what you do? You take, you give you someone this and you give someone else advantage? Yes. Yeah, it's amazing. You re-roll and then you give and someone then, yeah. advantage. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. How fun. It's handy. Um, <laughs> yeah. now I am officially out of sorcery points and spell slots. Well, I think that that might have saved your life, so. I, yep. I, 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 I would think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, so then, uh, it is the end of initiative, which means we get to pull Fuck. something from the frame. No. If, we three. Three. if we get a three, three. if we get a three. Three. It is a four! Oh, oh, no! Oh, God here damn it. Comes another one of uh here comes the brush. <laughs> um, he you know he has six health points, but um he has entered the fray. Or he has exited the fray actually into the fray. Out of the frying pan into the air fryer. Yes. <laughs> He's gonna cook a lot quicker now. Um yeah, that is going to be the top of that. Uh, let's roll initiative for him to see when he goes. Damn. Cool. Mm. Cool, 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 cool. Rumble, that rumble, is going rumble, to be rumble, Caligero's rumble. turn. Is it? Is it? I've got nothing clever That's to say. Alive, I'm amazing. just still alive. <laughs> what is oh. this, the end of Portal 2? <laughs> I mean, the best. Go to the moon! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to assist our... our wonderfully attempting but missing with his spear all the time friend and attack the person in front of me with your quarter staff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, shot. Your ass. Ass. Yeah. Do it. My quarter staff is about as useful as my rolling. So no, <laughs> uh, I will not attack with my quarter staff. Um, I'm advantage flank or armor doesn't matter. So let's mm -hmm. uh -huh. The guy in front of you has nice. not yet taken it. Wow. Good. Well, I can't roll like that. 18 and 17 plus 6. Yeah, you love that. Definitely get. Love that. Love oh, that. Love that. Yeah. Like that love all that. the time. Now, now we need one of those to I need this to carry over. Out. It's just one. That's out of the box. <laughs> no, it counts. It's a two. <laughs> wow, what the right. fuck? That's, that's all right, chip pretty. damage. Oh my god. Hey, I don't feel time, pretty right now. It's the first time this guy's been hit by anything. That's true. So at least you did some damage. Damage is damage is damage. You yeah. cussed him true, and you true, got true. Static, right? Um, Shocked, though, officially, though, so cannot react or take... Uh, mm -hmm. right? yep. No reactions. No reactions, yeah. yeah. Great. So if you wanted to move, you could maybe... No, there's one there. No, there's still I'm one more. only taking one. No, I'm hungry. I'm hungry That's going to be Bannon. What's your turn? Okay, so uh, how does uh, Gregor Gregorian, Gregoris, Gregonin look? Gregonis? Uh, he is. Um, he's fine. He's, he's fine. Yeah. He's still going. He's taking some damage, but he's not, like, dying. Okay. He's breathing heavy. He's trying to get his fucking axe out of the tree above <laughs> No, him. he did. He did. Uh, yeah. Bannon is Maybe. going to. I still. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. It's still up there because of the bane. Bannon is going to move right behind Gregonis. Okay. Uh, taking probably an attack of opportunity. Oh, from wow. The guy okay. There. Okay. So you're going to move to there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I'm going to move in flanking with Cal, so oh, I'll, I'll take an opportunity to attack from Gregonis yeah. anyway, regardless. Do you want to move over? Um, no, no, actually, you won't. His, um, His axe is stuck. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll... You would get, you'll, he'll, he'll strike at you with an unarmed, so you won't take an axe hit, but... I will kick, kick you. Yeah. I will move then to, yeah, to flanking with um, Cal. Oh, All right, so first is the spear... Uh, that's going to be a nine. That's okay. gonna hit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> surprise uh, Gregonis. That is going to be a twenty-one. That'll hit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so he's going to swing back with his meaty paw. 
really good. How do you, I don't think he has an... How do you calculate what arm, unarmed strike damage is? I think it's just strength. It's, it's just your straight just strength. strength. Yeah. Did he roll with Bane on that? Oh, no. No, um, he's still... Fuck, yeah, he's still Bane. Yeah, so roll, as long uh, as he gets two or more... That is a four. No, he misses. Nice. <laughs> he like swats down you, but you're too low. He's, he's the like short. height. It's just not there. Ben and Ben's just like, oh, so now you're interested. Really. <laughs> <laughs> um. Thank you. That's so then, yeah, it's your turn. Uh, you you have not taken any hits, and you're behind the guy. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to. How long does that advantage last? From uh, it, if. You, until your next use, I'm pretty sure. But uh, um, you don't have to use it if you're flanking. Uh, you already have advantage. It, it, I, I don't think it goes away, but I'm gonna say it goes away at the end of the fight. So if you're gonna, you have yeah, to yeah, 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 that, that okay. absolutely. I, then... I don't know what the rules are around it. What what what, what, what are we talking about? Silver barbs. I don't know. Wait, do you have to use that on your next roll? I don't know that you do. It it it's advantage on your next thing that you. Oh, so do, you but if he already gets advantage for flanking, does it negate that, and does it keep no, it? No, I would say you keep it. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's <laughs> the top thing. Is Silvery Barb's too powerful? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. But um, it's only really if you have multiple people. Next attack roll. I don't mind Silvery Barb's uh, if one person has it, but if everyone next in your attack party roll has it, it's tough. Saving throw within one minute. Within one, no, but it's still the next attack yeah. roll within. Yeah, but we're saying we're negating it because you're having advantage on this attack. Yeah, I'll let you from keep flank. it. If, if you have advantage from something else, I'll let you keep it. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. So you'll keep it until you can't get without advantage. An advantage yeah. I, I don't want to waste it for... Right. Yeah. Bless. Yeah. Bless. <laughs> um, we're going to make an uh, advantage attack against the guy next to Cal. Let's do it. Oh, that's uh, 15 yeah. plus 5, so it's 20, dirty. Yeah, that hits. It was a 2 on the other day. Oh my so god. No <laughs> You're welcome. What can I say? Well, it wasn't uh, mine. But. So that's 1d6 <laughs> plus my modifier, which is 3. Please don't be a 1. That's 2. It's not that's a 5 right. damage. Incredible. Um, seeing Cal, though, in this position, and sort of like that slight banter with um, uh, Gregory, Cal, as he sort of like, he, like he says, um, um, so he like as Gregory swings back, Gregona swings back, and he had to have that moment. Uh, Cal looks back at him. He says, um, "Cal looks no, back." He says, him? "Not really." He says, "Well, you're gonna." And as he does that, he turns, and as he's driving the spear mm-hmm. towards. Oh wait, can I do this still? I think I can do this still. Hold on, I want to read it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to call it first. Where the fuck is it? DS, you have to call it. Um, it says when I oh, hit when you with hit. a melee yeah, attack. Yeah, no, it's when you hit. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I do thought it. it was I'm called. Oh, as, shit. He, as he pulls the spear back to strike this guy, um, and my five damage that I rolled, uh, the tip of the spear, his necklace sort of like ignites out of his Absolutely. armor, and the spear <laughs> starts glowing with this sort of like white silver flame oh. as he drives it in to the back of this guy. Nice. Um, that's gonna add. 2d8 extra damage. <laughs> um, <Too weak. laughs> yeah, yes. right? Just terrible. Yeah. Just unfortunate. So, for you. 5 plus. Um, nice. 5 plus 9 is. 14. 14. 14. <laughs> Absolute 14. overkill. Uh, as you uh, drive this straight uh, non lethal damage? Yeah. Uh, so, basically, like. As the, like well, it's, it's up to you. Like, yeah. He, he like, sort of, like. Um, is his eye, he's down, right? Yeah. So, Bannon, like, kind of, like, drives the spear into his lower back mm-hmm. to, like, try not to grab anything, and, like, flips up with the power and sort of brings it down on the top of his head. Great, yeah, absolutely. You crack this guy in the back of the head. Uh, yeah. He crumples to the ground uh, as the Divine Smite um, rings through his helmet, uh, and uh, he is unconscious, um, and he's pretty fucked. Um, do Mentally. I still have any movement left? Uh, He's a concussion. Five, <laughs> yeah. five feet. Bannon sort of like stunned, looks at the spear, looks at Cal, looks at Gregonus, and takes a step towards Gregonus. Yeah, yeah, boy, let's um, do it. Causing advantage on the flank. Great. Right. That was awesome. Let's go, dude. That was sick. Uh, big, big turn. Big turn. Nice. Your I, first divine smite. I did it. And hey. you beat someone to death with it. <laughs> yeah. To zero. You got someone to zero. Um, can you use your thing again or no? My. Your you have to puppet. Swing at zero. My puppet. No. Okay. No. Just wanted to see. Uh, that is going to be Not new boy's six. turn. 
Uh, new boy is going to come up behind Timmy Ho. Oh, Timmy! No! Oh, Timmy, Ho. Timmy did nothing and then died. Uh, <laughs> Timmy uh, is going to take uh, nothing. He's going to take nothing uh, because Incredible. this guy does not hit him. Uh, and so, yeah, nothing happens. Uh, he just comes yeah, up and he, I like, tries to stab through, uh, n- thinking that the, this is just a normal villager, not right. realizing that Ho had made uh, Timmy an incredible oh. um, cosplay armor set from uh, real metal. Um, wow. And uh, so he nice. has, uh, he like, it pierces through the cape that he's wearing uh, and strikes at the metal armor on his back. Uh, and it just pings off harmlessly, uh, and Timmy is now uh, flanked, but he's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm all right. That is going to be Gregonus' turn. Uh, Gregonus is uh, going to roll uh, with Bane to see if he can unstick his axe. So he's going to use his bonus action to unstick his axe. That is a 13. So, oh, wait, I said that the you DC said 15. was... No, the DC was 13. No, it was 13. Oh, it was, was it? Because he rolled 15 he rolled originally. 15. Yeah, you said 13. Yep. No, the DC was 12. So if you... you if pass. I roll, it doesn't matter. No, no, because if I... Uh, so with Bane, um, if I roll a 1, he gets his axe unstuck. If not, he's going to swing at you unarmed. Gotcha. Uh, he rolled a 3. So his axe is stuck. He leaves it up there. He's frustrated. <laughs> uh, he, he, and he's going to, uh, like, bring his fists together and up above him and smack down and try and crank you with both fists in the face. What crank? Um, and so he's going to roll his attack. This is also with Bane, remember? Uh, it does not matter. He rolled a three. Let's see if he can get into the negative. <gasps> a one. He rolls a dirty one as he just like <laughs> misjudges. He, he, he's trying to swing at you unarmed. It's just not going to do much. Um, and poor Gorgonis, uh has not hit anything. No. Truly uh, embarrassing for him. The no. big bad of this fight that I was hoping would at least knock one of you to death saves uh, wow. has not once That's hit amazing. a mm-hmm. fucking thing. We mm-hmm. haven't death saved. I'm too that distracting. That makes me feel a little bit better. It's because your yeah. AC is crazy, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. hitting a 20 is really hard. It mm-hmm. is, yeah. Um, for plus three guards. Gorgonis is going to look more than a plus three. Um, that is going to be his turn, then. He's just sweating bullets now. He's hurt. Um, m- multiple of his men are dead or unconscious. He thinks they're all dead. Uh, but he he's kind of like, you know, he, he, he sees some of his men are still joining the fray, so he feels okay for now. But he you can see, like, uh, the, the confident ogre that has sat across from you drinking uh, is gone, and he is now just um, looking more like a frightened animal, which might make him scarier. You don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is going to be his turn, which means it is actually your turn. Great. Fucking kill this guy. Wipe the smile. Off just face. feel like I like you know dodge and I just I start laughing like it's like kind of quiet like mm-hmm. under the breath. It's like a chuckle like oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> pathetic. A little bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm going to. I know I already get advantage from flanking, but I'm still going to precise strike in case I get that um, D8 of yeah, damage. Um, I feel like that is worth it. So, attack with advantage. I'm going to take these two dice this time. Let's see how these guys go for me. Flanking. Flanking. Yeah. Flanking. All right, Dravelin. Nat 20. Woo! <laughs> All right. You roll a nat 20. Uh, wow, okay. Roll damage for me as you are bringing so, this javelin up towards so his face. So that is 4d6, 2d8. Oh, yeah. oh, the d8 and two is d4. doubled. That's... And 2d4. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's you would double mad. all dice, right? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, it's, it's double dice. So critting on the precise strike is amazing. Just and don't, don't be careful that, rolling so. those together because the metal is going to chip. This the... metal is not the... Um, this... I, just be careful. I, you know, you have nice dice. Yeah, I just don't have. Just be careful. You're Can I bar. use a, a D six, please? Thank this you very is much. This a dirty combination of feats and yeah. abilities. Yeah, this Holy is this and is that twenty, right? Good. Well, I guess well, that, that's your feat from being a uh, 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 Knights of Slamia, right? The precise. The strike. precise strike. Oh. Yes. I think don't jangle them. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, so we've got uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29 damage. Uh, plus your thing. Plus, um... Six, Plus right? six. <laughs> 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 Get him out of here! 35 you, damage. You actually... No, no. It is the first time of this campaign that I get to say this. You kill him, make it cannon. Yeah. 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, so uh, Gregonis uh, keeps missing because I'm, I don't know, just very attractive. And um, uh, I, I chuckle under my breath and I laugh at him. And I, I take the javelin and I get, he's like swung like this. And so I lean in face to face, like inches within him and take the javelin and shove it under his gullet, right up through his skull and like mount his head on a spike as it like rips away from his body. That's a moral Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You now have Dravelin the Javelin with Gregonus' head sitting atop it uh, as the, the flames that lick off your javelin sever his spinal They're cord like and it all just rips away. Around. Uh, his body collapses um, in like a final humiliating moment. It's like shoulder catches on the his own mm-hmm. axe as it falls and so he just kind of like tumbles awkwardly and roll his body rolls down the hill i would also like to if possible just like raise the head on a spike and kind of like bellow out yeah, so that absolutely. people can see roll, what roll just an happened intimidation check for me. okay i still have minus one to that with advantage you are holding his head on a spike <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, it's a little scary Intimidation, okay, with advantage is 17. That's pretty No, strong. sorry, 15. Um, okay, one, so the, one. the three remaining guards are going to turn tail and begin to run into the fray. Uh, Cal uh, and, <laughs> so um, the, and Timmy are both going to get, uh, uh, mm-hmm. what is the word? Opportunity, then, uh, attack. Opportunity, opportunity attack. Opportunity uh, you attack. Can, you can sub. Is it a feat that you have to? You can sub shock and grasp as an opportunity attack, or that's just a real thing for casters. What? Uh, that's uh, a, uh, that's as a reaction for casters. casters. So you can so swing your staff. I'll swing my staff. Okay. Uh, swing your staff. Timmy's gonna swing his spear. <laughs> what a shitty ass fucking. Oh my god! Timmy rolls a natural twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. That's the uh, real I inspired him. Yeah. <laughs> so Timmy, uh, as this guy begins to run away, Timmy heals him flee behind, okay. uh, mm-hmm. and he uh, spins the spear around, driving it behind him. And as this guy turns to flee, he catches him in the middle, and he's gutted. Uh, and this guard, Timmy, kills this guard, spilling his entrails across the battlefield. Let's fucking get it. Uh, yeah, he rolled double sixes. Nice. Oh, what, yeah, a damage, hero. Really what a hero. What a hero. Cal just Truly. incredibly intently watches him run away as he, <laughs> as he rolls a three. <laughs> and he's just like, he's yeah, like, you oh, better run. run. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the, wow, none of you got knocked down. I'm shocked. We, we, yeah. we, well, you got a support healer. No. Uh, yeah. You that turn helps. and you, you see um, stunned in the, 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 in the melee around you. Uh, the the guards of the Ironclad Regiment, uh, the turncoats, uh, they turn and they begin to flee uh, as you wield Gorgonus' head. Uh, the carnage around you is absolutely devastating. Uh, and you see cresting the hill behind you, Mayor Raven uh, begins to run up the hill towards you. Uh, and you turn to her and tears in her eyes. She's panting. She's just been t- trucking to get here. Um, uh, she just turns to you all and says, how could this possibly have happened? And that's where we're going to end today. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> um, can I put one thing in? Because I will forget next time. Yeah. No. Um, no. In yeah, that so. sort of like inter time, once after the. Uh, I want. Uh, <laughs> can Bannon have like uh, bound the hands of the two people he didn't kill? Not yet. We'll get, yeah. we'll get to okay. all that stuff next week. Great. I will yeah. make a note in my notes. So, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah. There's there's going to be time to deal with all. We're going to come back to this exact moment next week. Great. Uh, and so there's going to be. We're not going to touch anything. Uh, we're going to leave everything as is. Um, we're going to come back to this exact moment. It is just past. It's almost 5 30. So uh-huh. we've got a little bit over our usual time. Uh, and I think that that's a good place to end. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. 100%. And mm-hmm. this is great for me because I get to prep all of this stuff for next week. Yeah, so. no, no. Hell yeah. I can't wait, yeah, guys. Uh, for our first combat of the actual campaign, mm-hmm. not the prelude. That was pretty fun. That, that was, that was, was a lot of fun. I'm so that was killing. Yeah. You all. I'm gonna have to come up with ways to deal with you, because yeah. uh, Racy's too much. And That's I my thing. Better, but... That's my thing. Yeah. 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 Wild, wild. So much fun. That Thank was you so wild. much for watching. This was an absolute blast. Uh, we're gonna go around quickly and say where you can follow us. Uh, I'm at Nerdy. You can follow me at Nerdy Nightly everywhere on the internet. Uh, do you want to jump in? Yeah, Rob Russo. Dot music anywhere and everywhere. The Brian Kling, most places. Kalaris Polaris. 
Your boy. Captain Crail <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I'm assuming you're going to be with us next week. I would love to be our, here next week. Our guest player for who knows how long. Uh, the we're going to be uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep going here. Can you though? Uh, <laughs> right? I mean, who knows at this point. Uh, Y'all, uh, because we finished the battle at High Hill, the betrayal, uh, our players are going to level up. Fuck yeah! yeah. So Let's go! If you want to tune into the Roleplay Relay YouTube channel uh, later this week, and there will be a level up video where they will explain what they're taking at level three, level three, level three, and level four for our oh, yeah. uh, slightly ahead uh, <laughs> friend from uh, of Teller. That is going to be it. Uh, if you like this podcast uh, or show, depending on how you watch it, go over to MissingMemGaming.com. They support the show by being our amazing sponsor, mm -hmm. uh, and they have a 15% off code for you, Nerdy Nightly 15. Nerdy Nightly 15. That'll give you 15% off your order over at MissingMemGaming.com, where you can acquire the accoutrement necessary to have great dice rolls in the future. Uh, they can also give you other things. There's so many stuff. There's so <laughs> much on the site. It's crazy. Go use our code, because that is how we pay these three boys. Um, Hell yeah. Straight up. Uh, thank you so much, everyone. If you like this video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave me in comments down below, because the algorithm goddess is hungry, and we must feed her. This episode, the algorithm goddess is Harvest, because uh, she actually rolled well in combat, yeah. which oh, she told me she never would, oh. and she's a liar, so I have to divorce her. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. If I didn't have those advantages, this would have gone much different different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you so much to our mods uh, for watching over the chat, making sure that everything stays safe for our community. And as always, do something nerdy tonight, y'all. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Man, that was fun.